Hey, hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Herder here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Harold Halibut. This was developed and published by Slowbros and is usually available for £29.24 slash $34.99 but is included with the Xbox Game Pass right meow. So we play as Harold Halibums, which by the way, this game is a handmade narrative piece of art. As we, being a scientist assistant, go on an adventure he never thought he would after a weird encounter with a fish thing. Yeah, you'll see. Anyway, we need to get out from under Rapture into the skis. I, I mean skies. Uh, anyway, as for achievement, you can get all in one playthrough, but you have to be pretty careful as there is a lot of sort of going back and forth and checking on certain areas a lot. Plus, there are 71 notebook drawings that we have to do, play the game for more than 15 hours, plus the usual sort of easier miscellaneous stuff. Timestamps, though, will be around anyway with everything included. Now, without the 15-hour achievement, if you just nip in through the dialogue, this will still take you around seven and a half hours or so to do. So, with that being said, then, let's do it! Now, we are obviously going to click new game, we're going to go from there, and life is going to be good. So, in terms of cutscenes, cutscenes, you cannot skip. A lot of dialogue, you can just press the A button and it'll sort of fast forward it slightly. But not for all dialogue in the game, which, I mean, sort of towards the end can get a bit tiresome as well. Um, but obviously that's what we'll be doing. Uh, we'll be trying to just skip the, uh, skip the dialogue sort of as much as we can. I mean, obviously, it's a great story. Like I said, this game is, is generally a quite a hidden indie gem, as a lot of them are. Um, but obviously, just in terms of video length, we're just going to try and get through the game as quick as possible. So, for now, uh, enjoy the Bioshock like, nothing like Bioshock at all, of course. Um, underwater beginning scene, where we see a lot of the main players and characters. So yes, there is a whole lot going on, and we've got, what have we got, about seven and a half hours, uh, well, no, about less than seven and a half hours now, but seven hours, 29 minutes left. So this is what I mean with uh, a lot of the dialogue in the game, you just keep pressing the A button with each dialogue option, and it sort of fast forward, skips forward a little bit. Again, if you want to, you can just do the same as me here, if not, you can uh, go ahead and have a look at the uh, little bit of dialogue. Sound good, sound good. Now, it's ironic that we're called Harold Halley Butt, because there seems to be something stuck up the Major's butt right there, the main police officer guy. Anyway, we're going to be getting our first notebook drawing and our first achievement straight away here. So, don't speak to anyone. Immediately head to the left to try and get out of the door, and we're going to do that three times. And the secretary is going to be like, Oh no, what are you doing? In his posh English voice. Please do behave. For a pop of cap in your ass, boy. Anyway, do uh, try and leave the door three times to get the rebel achievement. Now go ahead, speak to young Felix there on the right-hand side. 
And again, uh, like I said, every time we speak to someone, there's a lot of dialogue in this game. We will just be pressing the A button to smash through the dialogue. So get get through it. What? Oh, I'm just... Aren't you a little... What? It was a... Oh. Yeah. Could you let me wait? Oh, sure. A landmark customer poll. Felix? Hi, Ma. Uh, whatever your excuse is... Mr. Secretary? Of course, Mrs. Van Der Vaart. Freedom! We reluctantly interrupt your daily business for an important... <laughs> for some important information for all inhabitants of the Fedora One. Oh yes, and in case you hadn't noticed, some people have unbelievable haircuts. We've got um, the double dildo head right here. Um, I'll, I'll call him something else, so double devil horn head. Uh, it's not as funny, but uh, double devil head. Double devil horn? The devil horns. Yeah, whatever. I'll think of something cleverer. Anyway, here is our scientist. We are the assistant. She is the scientist. Although, again, uh, what is funny is... Obviously, if Harold, everyone's been living underwater for this long, why is it only now that everyone's starting to go like, oh, yes, Harold, I know you, and Harold only starts knowing people now. Yeah, well, anyway. So you go ahead, you speak to Mr. Secretary, I think you do it automatically, and then you can head to the left, and basically you're going to follow your professor, Professor Moreau. I can't handle... I know... This must have an underlying cause. Hmm. I remember when you were still in school and your teacher telling me about how you would just stare out of the window, oblivious to her even shouting at you. It's like you've never snapped out of that day. I was never in a date. Harold, the idea of... Now, of course, as the game goes on, you're going to get very, very, very used to all of these hallways and where we've got to go and how we get around. Now, we get around by being greened on. So basically, like um, some giant alien form has just released a ton of buggers on you. You go in, we're going to click where we need to go. This time, where we need to go is the central station at the very top because this is the only other place that we can go. So... Again, you will get used to these very, very quickly because we'll have to go, as I said earlier, we'll have to do a lot of back and forth in terms of for story, for achievements, for everything. So, yeah. So, you'll get an achievement there, Tubular, for using a tube for the first time. So, go ahead, follow the professor again into the left-hand side, Tube. And you think they're all tubes, you can just stay in one and then, you know, you can go other places, but it doesn't work out like that. Head down to the lab district, then the third option down. The lab. Enjoy the view. But Harold, I'm tired of Hang on. a butterfly. They had beautiful patterns on their wings and drank pollen from flowers. I suppose you could say they often appeared in, uh, extra natural moments in life. On the other hand, they were terribly inefficient, flighty, overly trusting and delicate. Ergo, you never take responsibility, and I never know where to find you next. I know I drift off a bit sometimes, but... All water raised. This time it re plus there. Quiet, Harry. We don't have time for your. Oh yeah. Have you checked the block? And did you need to feed the fit? Ah uh, yes. I'm on the case. <sighs> oh. You seem to have. It really is a wonder you. Ah, thanks. Strangely enough, and I don't want to. Oh, thanks. It'll come back to me. Just go to the four select. Okay. The upper right of the pad! Ah, yeah. So now we can open up our PDA. No, not our public display of affection, but rather our little uh, Pokedex, we'll call it, with a notebook in it. So you press the Y button to open it up. Uh, basically, the game basically tells you sort of what to do anyway, but you press the Y button to open it up. Obviously, you go down, hit the A button in order to get out your messages and to-do menus. If you got a to-do, to-do it today. To-do. To-do list today. Yeah, just do it. 
Anyway, um, and again, there's not really a lot of many places to go. So again, it's just one of those that you will get very, very quickly used to, which is all good. Um, but anyway, you can press the B button to back out if you want. Um, now, I don't, like, I'll obviously be telling you exactly what to do and where to go and where we're going to get our notebook drawings. Plus, again, they're in the timestamps below. So I won't be getting the notebook out a lot, but it is always worth just double checking um, just to make sure that you are on the same path as me. So there we go. Obviously, we've only got one drawing at the minute because we've only got one notebook in. Okay, right, so what we're going to do now, we are going to go to the back of the fish, or the back of the room here, just next to the stairs, interact with it, and that will feed the fish, but of course it's out of food. How does that happen? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. So, now we're actually going to go ahead and get our second notebook. So, we're going to head out of the door here to the left, and then we are going to reach a gap where it says the lounge to the right, or level one. Here it is. We're going to go to the right go into the lounge, and we're going to go ahead and speak to Chris. Now, this athletic, bountiful bosom kind of man, he is he is the man that, uh, well, every man and woman dream of, probably. I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I mean, everyone's got a different type these days, 2024, bro. People are very... Uh, people can get really turned on by frying pans and stuff these days, so... Hey... It's the year of opportunity, is it not? The decade of opportunity, the era of opportunity, as you call it. A strange. Yep. But if it goes on, won't they do their homework? Maybe. The whole so. Is that why you're hanging out here? Mm. I anyway. Bye, Chris. See you later, Harold. <laughs> So normally, after every interaction we have with a new notebook piece, it'll normally come up, come up in the top right-hand corner. Notebook added, blah, blah, blah. So this is the, the second one that it should be on, talking to Chris. So now, after this one, I actually tried to watch TV for 10 minutes here, but it didn't actually work. So head straight left, go down, and then down these steps again. And then from here, we're going to take a left. And then we're going to go ahead and, uh, so if you go all the way to the left, you're going to see Cyrus, who is another main player. I mean, they're all pretty much main players in their own way. Aren't we all main players in somebody else's story? Huh? You're just driving along and somebody may be looking happy or peed off and think they've got some weird story going on right now. Anyway, it's not about that. We're going to speak to Cyrus. Now, speaking of Cyrus is actually going to get us the third notebook called The Light Keepers. That sounds very interesting. Hmm? Oh. <sighs> you make the fish food? Oh, I do, and I'm working on a new. But I mean, can. It's not just about. You want their gills to. And their pigment. Sigh, sigh. Well, I'll get right on it. Yeah, I. Well, you should try some. Uh, I'll let you know what. Oh. Was that fit? Well, I'm not. I mean, even a. Yeah. Mm, I kind of look... Me too. Do you remember? Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, on all those little... What did that... Hmm. Didn't it... Ooh. Maybe they think the ocean... So, once you are done with the Light Keepers, and you've spoken to Cyrus, head to the right, and continue on heading all the way to the right. To the filtration pump, 014F. Down the stairs, try not to fall, slip your tip and crip your flip. And in we go. Now, uh, there's a little bit of a weird... I don't know how to explain this one properly. So I'm just going to tell you sort of exactly what I've done to make it go good. So go down to the bottom right-hand corner. Now, click the second option, what looks like a fish. And as soon as the light hits the top, then press the A button. And then again, wait until the lights hit the top right there, hit the A button again, and that seems to work. Um, and again, there's nothing random that's in the game. So everything you see on screen should be on your screen too. And then clean as a Vistal, my little Pistolian Dynamite. Okay, so once that's done, sorry if that was a little bit uh, quick right there. Uh, we're going to head to the left, back up the steps. And we're going to go ahead and feed the fish once more. So heading back all the way back at the steps. 
again, like I said, there's not a lot uh, that is sort of in the game um, as we head to the right again to go back to the lab quarters. Um, but obviously, when it does come to achievement times, I will be letting you know very, very moochly what we got to do. Okay, so this time, head all the way back, interact with the fish food thing, and then the fish food will feed the fish, and then the fish food will be your food for fish. Of tea, food. Anyway, you'll get a notebook for it, so yeah. Okay, hair scanning. Enjoy energy levels. Okay, once the food has been fished, or the fished has been fooded, um, that should be your fourth notebook, by the way, notebook entry. So head to the left. Don't interact with this on the wall. We don't need to worry about this, uh, this just yet. I done this by accidentals. Um, again, we will have to do this, but in another particular order. So, I was stupid. You no need to do this. We'll just head back out to the left. So, before finding Chris in the uh, lounge area, just head all the way to the left, and we're going to try and get to another place. But what you're going to find is we ain't going to get to another place. Ain't no time to get to another place, sir. Ah, grah. I love the way that when people get annoyed in this game, they go with grah. Sounds very Randy Marsh from South Park, doesn't it? Grah. Anyway, now we're going to go into the lounge. We're going to speak to Chris again. Now, this is the first Hello. time, and you're going to see this a lot through the game, where the um, you try skipping through the dialogue, and it doesn't work, which makes it so much cuter. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be Notebook... Uh, entry number five, the boy announcement. Yeah, boy! Not instead of the earth, but because of it. We chose sacrifice and responsibility. Uh, well, we didn't, I guess, but our ancestors did. And we wouldn't be here if they hadn't. Uh, left, I mean. We'd be back on earth. And where would that have got anyone? We may not have ever seen our home, tasted its air, or gazed across its boiling seas, but we remember it. And then we made a new home, even if it wasn't quite what anyone had in mind. And one corporation over all others helped make that possible. All water. On that note, I'd like to introduce Madam CEO Brenna Castletrop. Good day to you all. As you may know, I am Brenna Castletrop, the CEO of All Water Corporation. More importantly, I'm a citizen of the Fedora just like you. And it's my unmitigated pleasure today to show you what you're about to see. Join me in reliving and celebrating the remarkable journey we've been on together before we unveil the next step of that journey. It may have started with one man, but it took the hearts and minds of many more to make the dream a reality. That dream began at the height of the Cold War, when the world was on the very brink of annihilation. He conceived of an arc-like spacefaring ship, financed by the wealthiest countries, families, and private institutions such as the Schlippmeyer Foundation, as a gesture of global care for the human race. That ship journeyed for 200 years, was home to five generations, and sailed past many solar systems, making fascinating discoveries along the way, like the bacteria that are now responsible for our energy supply, or the mineral samples we took from planets along the way that allow us to build new materials. We had difficulties to deal with too, such as surprise asteroid fields, periods of hopelessness, and the unpleasant, albeit brief, alien infestation. And of course, 120 years after launch, our last message from our beloved Earth in its final moments. After 200 years, we finally arrived at our destination, only to find that the promising, watery planet contained no habitable landmass and dense, toxic gases in the atmosphere. Hardly the second Earth we had hoped for. It wasn't long into our new search that the solar winds came. Maybe our ancestors couldn't have possibly known, or maybe they could, that they would cause our ship to crash, 
just like Icarus, but with worse luck. Either way, we can be thankful for a soft landing and good waterproofing. Wasn't that a wild ride, huh? We've achieved so much aboard the Fedora, but we've never stopped thinking big. We had the idea to make sure we weren't missing out on anything going on outside. We're in a whole new galaxy, so we should be listening to see what the local news is. So we hatched a new plan. A state-of-the-art, deep space radio boy capable of keeping itself afloat and slowly circumnavigating our watery new home while scanning for signals and interesting cosmic gossip. And, wait for it, yes, we're delighted to announce it's floating to the surface right now. That's right, the boy will be in position in another few hours. Big congratulations and thanks to All Water for making this possible. I'm excited to see what we pick up. That was some announcement, huh? Sure, makes for some nice gossip. But I think they should fix the tube system or upgrade the TVs, eh? For this fancy boy drama, eh? Yeah, that'd be nice. What if there really is nothing else out there? Exacto mundo! We should be focusing on inner space before outer, huh? <laughs> Ah, two funny things about that announcement. One, Castle Chop just sounds like a uh, new name of Pork Chop. <laughs> mm. Mm. Pork Chop, eh? Okay, so for one, I'm hungry now. And two, we're going to go with Double D Head this time. So like Double D from Ed, Ed, and Eddie, but, uh, you know, the guy with the double Ds on his head. Yeah. So, anyway, Buenas Nachas, you bountiful lovely man we know we do now have to spit uh, sleep though so we're gonna head all the way to the right back into our lab quarters we're gonna take a left down the steps as soon as I just put the rock collection away since you know we don't need it man and then so so yeah obviously we do have to come back and sleep every night now within the chapters there are sub chapters and the only way you can save in the game is is um at the end of every night so basically so this is 1.2 i believe so when we wake up it's going to be um chapter 1.3 so if you press the start button you can click on load and you will see that every chapter and sub chapter gets saved so if there's something specific that you've got to do or you think you've missed you will just have to replay that sub chapter again uh, but anyway once you wake up you're going to head back up to the right and speak to Morning, Harold. Hello, Professor. What did you think? It was quite... Yes, and the boy see... Indeed. Now, if you're quite... Re sure. I made a breakthrough dis... You remember the... Oh, the ones with the strain... The blue ones, yes. Turns out there's... I think they've picked... Take a look through the mic... Just from... Harold, this will... You need to open the... You... Okay, so we don't have to do this a lot throughout the entirety of the game, but we do have to do it sometimes. So you're going to open up the hatch first, then we're going to go to the left and get the rock sample collection down that we did earlier by accident, or I done it by accident anyway, because I am <laughs> stupid. I am stupid. I am stupid. Charles Leclerc, Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Uh, when was that? 2019, I think? 2018, 2019, I want to say that was. Anyway, for any Formula One fans in there who may know, when Charles Leclerc called himself stupid. Uh, so you pick up the only sample that you could, which is the bottom right one, put it in the hatch, and then interact with the microscope for some more dialogue. The one you're looking at now. There's a particular. Mu I can only. That's the. There isn't enough of a recording on this. I dated it. So we need an... Exactly. Although I don't... Oh, yes. We have to fix... 
flares cause the solar winds. I need you to look into this. If anyone... But if we're not going to be able to catch one... You could start. You and I both... And then sells them at an outrage. So, there is an achievement for um, updating Moreau about the blue rock every step of the way. Now, there are s definitely a number of certain things that you have to do for it to unlock. And we'll get there, and I'll obviously let you know when we're going to do that. So, go ahead, speak to Bridget. And again, this is another one where there's like, what, there appears to be like 15, maybe 20 people on board, maybe 25. And you're telling me that you don't remember me. You stupid lady! Anyway, we get to know each other quite well. Not like that, but, you know, yeah. So, again, when it comes to us asking them any dialogue questions, a lot of the time, nothing, literally nothing matters. So you can just go ahead and um, go through every dialogue option, um, and really it won't make too much of a difference. So don't worry if you've accidentally clicked one or you haven't asked them a specific question, it really does not matter. And my name's not Richard, stupid. My name is Harold. I wouldn't want to be called Dick Halibut, would I? Dick Halibut. That would not go well. So, um, so we're going to speak to uh, Professor Moreau again. Just talk, uh, ask her about the second bridge. It told me about some kind of energy shortage. Any idea what... Hmm. It's spec... That all... Oh, no, it's okay. Be good. Ha Harold? Sure thing. Just ask it. Okay. Yes, yes, I could ask it. I just did stop. It's complex. We go back a lot. Especially... Not that he ever... Uh, I just mean... Okay. Actually, Harold, no. Run along... Okay, so thank you for that, um, what should we call that, very vague question to ask Cyrus. So, what we're going to do is head back into the lounge area, so stop here, take a right into the lounge. Now, what we have to do is we have to interact with the TV. This is why if you've tried to get the achievement before, it wouldn't work, because we actually have to interact with the TV where Harold Hallibums sits down and we get this screen coming up. So, now we have to just simply watch TV for 10 minutes. Also, what I should say while I've got you here, in terms of the 15 hours achievement, what you can do, you can actually, if you want to go away, if you want to leave it on overnight, if you've got other things to do, um, make sure to, one, get a cable in your controller. Two, if you've got, uh, you can leave it on this screen and it will keep on playing and it shouldn't go off. Um, but the achievement will unlock here for 10 minutes in the TV. Um, but in terms of the 15 hours, yep, I got a rubber band or I got, well, I got, used one of my daughter's bobbles, which helped. Um, and so, yeah, if I had stuff to do or, you know, if I went to work or left it on overnight, I rubber banded it and uh, just left it play for around, well, however long it took. So that's just a couple of, and it's worth doing every time. So rather than turn your Xbox off, just let, just leave the game on with the controller plugged in and your controller sticks rubber banded. Uh, again, that's just for the 15 hours achievement. But once that is done, we can head to the left. We're going to start uh, exploring the station now for a little bit more. So we're going to get our green goop gumped on us again. And we're going to go to the Agora Arcades, the second option down. Now, this must get tiresome pretty quickly, huh? Like, it's, it's not the fact that you go in sliding down every. It's the fact that you get in snotted on by some big giant alien fish monster or something and then you come out dry as a whistle the other side uh, so a lot of dialogue here with major stick up his butt and felix now you do get time for your dialogue options but i just literally just pick the top option each time doesn't make a difference what no if i f not me and how unless you're in league with him I just meant, I mean... Relax! Harold! Uh, but... Utterly unconcerned for his own... Anyway, mate. My! Felix! What? Absolutely! And can you test... Only... Harold! I haven't witnessed anything... Damn it! Then the case is in danger of... Four I'm sure... Fe Good point. 
I'm only a- Don't you- Where are the- I don't know. And- Oh no. Harold, Lee, Felix. Shouldn't we- Don't change- But- That's right. If- I expect you to be a- I- We- Come on! Just leave me alone. Okay, Harold, but- Now Felix! Where is Felix? Oh no. Felix? Harold! Man, that guy's got a rod up its own butt. Okay, so what we're going to do now is head slightly right. We're going to talk to this guy. Now, with this guy, this is Secretary 17, and there are four brothers, and there's quite a lot we got to do in terms of talking to them, in terms of getting, I believe, three notebook entries and an achievement at the end of the game as well. So when I tell you to talk to, to some people, we're going to talk to some people. So, this is the first one that you're going to speak to, Secretary 17. What are the prizes? Now, of course, if you remember, at the very beginning of the game, we spoke to his brother, who gave us the fine, Secretary 24. I'll just spin her up. Looks like you were unlucky this... So once you are done speaking to Secretary 17, we're going to head to the right, and this is the, well, it is called Agora Arcades, but there are six bits, uh, different bits of gossip that we need to listen to, and they only appear at certain points of the game. So the first one is going to be here, uh, and we need to go into, uh, what's her name, Gears, B Bertrude's, uh, th this very first bar right here. Well, kind of looks like a coffee shop, but it's actually a bar. So, what you need to do is just go in, and the two bar robots are going to start speaking and having a little conversation. So, you just need to wait here until the conversation ends, and that will be the first out of six gossipists. Sure, Alon. Maybe we'll get some fancy pictures. Seems to me it'd be more interesting to go sideways than back up top. You're going sideways, Alon. Right you are, Zim. It's all this sitting around nattering with you. Okay, so when that's done, what I like to do as well is I'll just pop out and just go back in just to make sure then that um, as long as it starts again, because you have to listen to the whole thing, as long as the uh, gossip starts from the beginning again, that counts lovely jobs. Right, so head back to the left. And by the way, yes, obviously you press the X button, which I forgot to mention. Press the X button to jog ever so slightly. Um, and this is a guy that's in his 20s, by the way, because he says it in the game. Uh, but what we're going to do is head to Central Station now. So the very first, top one again, Central Station. But yeah, this is a guy that's in his 20s and he looks like he's in his 50s, which uh, I suppose that's what alcoholism does, doesn't it? Doesn't even drink, but uh, damn. So before moving on, speak to little Lise here on the uh, blue chairs. And this will actually be one of the missable uh, notebook entries. And this one is called Stranger Danger. Stranger danger. Is Harold a Well. Can you just I'll yell Okay. I mean you can kind of see why it's called Stranger Danger. Um so head over to the right and we're gonna speak to Secretary number uh uh eight. Yeah, secretary number eight this time. Secretary eight. So this is the third out of the four brothers we're gonna speak to. Uh, but yeah, you can see why that last one was called Stranger Danger, because if somebody like this started talking to your kid randomly on a bench in a park or something um with the same clothes on i mean that 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 does scream out um odd behavior doesn't it so you would be rugby tackling into the ground okay once you're done with your secretary number eight speech head to the into the right elevator and we're going to go back to the all water district this is where we first started the game when we got our ass handed to us by general stick in his butt or major stick in the butt sorry Thank you for traveling with all water. So go ahead, head to the right hand side. And you're going to see, as we just nip past here, go up and enter the door on the right. And this time again, we are going to go ahead and speak to the secretary number 24 again. But this one actually counts towards the notebook entry. Mr. 24, hi. Mr. Halibut? So, it was funny. I'm sure he... F do you need? Only... He said... Ah. 
our way would choosing a life of oh are you ashamed is that why none of you actually but he didn't we suspect we used to do everything but he yes well, <sighs> i don't want okay i'll leave you be right so once again then we are going to i mean harold if you can just nip through the door pal that would be great and don't run into the other door uh so we we'll head down head to the left again go back into the all water tube we're gonna go ahead and speak to secretary number eight again so we're gonna head back to central station now again not only are we speaking to all these brothers in order to get the notebook entries there is an achievement for basically getting them all back together happy families at the end of the game and we have to do this twice i think throughout the game so when back down go ahead speak to secretary number eight again Mr. Eight. Hello again. Did you talk to... Tw yes. So, how do you... I feel... We were such a tight... You know... So, I... Gosh. Yes. Four... Uh, uh... Anyway. That'll be all. I'm curious. At least... Uh, also... Ha, I remember... And what... You know... I now that I and then finally we are going to head to the left hand side elevators 2e 2e or not 2e go back to the Ogar, Og, agora arcades and we're going to go and speak to secretary number 17 once again and this will finally get us the seventh notebook entry called brothers my brothers Mr. Seventeen. Correct. I can't offer. That's okay. But I asked the way so something bad had happened. Something. I'm sure twenty-four. But that's not the hub. We would have disparaging. So. I, I, I think so. It's complicated. It's been. He went off. I see. I mean, I don't want to bore you with that, and I need to. Okay. See you. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's no wonder Howard's skinny as anything as well if we have to run around all day. I'm just a scientist assistant. Maybe fixing other people's problems. But since we need to for achievements, it's all good. Right. So head we're gonna head to the right. This is part now of the Moreau achievement. So we're gonna head all the way to the right. Go to the general store right here. Make sure to interact with this blue rock. So we need to find Tommy, who is in the bar. Um this is Tommy's store. So we need to we need to have interacted. I actually missed this the first time I played through it, and the achievement didn't unlock. So we need to make sure to interact with that blue rock before heading back to the coffee bar, cafe, coffee bar place. And it's still the same uh, gossip. So we can just go ahead and speak to Big Tomold. Oh no, it's just that I mean that have come from the. You know that. Right? Right. To that you may have. Okay, look. Oh, man, I'm... I didn't mean to... You sure you don't... It's fine. I've got this... Oh. No, I... Tommy! Look, kid, either... Uh. Yeah, you just caught... She's been spending so much... T you know, the guy... Okay, right, it's starting to get a little late, but we have to... Now, the task says to check on Bridget, but in order to get the achievement, we are going to have to go all the way back to Moreau in the lab district. Again, we need to update her on every single thing. So this is the first one that we're going to do, so don't go for the energy district just yet. Head to the lab, and then again, get yourself covered in that delicious green goop soup. Or whatever the hell kind of poop croup that is, Shloop. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason. Just contact your nearest... And all water will make it up to you. And you're going to see some graffiti here. We're going to ignore it for the time being. Again, we just have to go all the way to the right and speak to Marie Ox. Because obviously that's Moreau in... Uh, I assume she's French. Well, 
All I do know is she's got a hook for a hand, and that's pretty badass. I'm... How are things... I really have... No. <laughs> oh. So, right, that is part one done. Um, again, we do have to come back to her again in order to update her about the blue rock. But for now, head out to the left and then make sure to clean the graffiti here. Where's home? I don't know, E.T., where the hell is home? Home is where the heart is. Home is if you can afford it, because these days, you know, inflation's made it go up, 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 and then everyone's pay, everyone's pay packets every month are inchy, pinchy, teensy, tiny. So, yeah, home is wherever the hell you can afford it these days, unfortunately. Okay, so press the A button, give it the old scrubby dubby doodahs of life. Just um, keep going until all the red is done. You've known, you'll know when you get it done because Harold will automatically stop and life will be good. Uh, but you won't get the achievement yes, yet because there's another one still left to do after this. So once that's done, we're going to head to the left all the way back to the, uh, we're going to go to the Agora Arcade once again. Or are we? No, we're not going to the Agora. Uh, yes, we are going to the Agora Arcade. Sorry, that's my bad. I was getting a little ahead of myself right there, but we are going to the Agora Arcades. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? And when we get here, we're actually going to be going in to, uh, oh god, what's his name? Slippy's. Slippy's shop. It's a ski shop. Because, you know, Slippy equals skis. So there it is, Slippy's, right next to the bar, the coffee cafe bar. And again, a whole bunch of conversations going to happen. And if you just... Ah, Harold! Wait! Are you... Oh, never... Hello. You're an every... I've made a new... I mean, I think... Oh. Nonsense. Just what? I was trying to read a book in the comfort of my own home, but my own home wasn't comfortable. It was too hot to concentrate. Will I ever be able to read to my children or enjoy the adventures of the Fedora 4 from my armchair again? Why, yes, of course you will. With my patented, tried and tested aircon system, you'll always be able to keep your brain, books, and body sweat free and as cool as Jimson Jameson himself. Please note, Slippy's aircon system is not officially endorsed by the creators of the Fedora 4 or their likenesses. Burr. Sometimes I just can't get cozy. How's a man supposed to look after his family with cold arms? My family are depending on me. What am I going to do? Clad yourself in one of our triple insulating cozy jackets and matching thermal underwear, of course. You know what they say, warm hands, warm hearts. Slippies means heritage. I'm the latest in a long tradition of winter sports enthusiasts. Slipmires throughout history have kept everyone from royalty to the common man warm and cozy in their pursuits of the great outdoors. Slippies means social responsibility. The Schlippmeyers were one of the most generous sponsors of the Fedora One project, giving back to the people, sharing their knowledge of insulation technologies and considerable wealth to keep humanity warm and cozy among the stars. Remember, you deserve to live and work at whatever temperature is right for you. With over 200 years of expertise, you can bet the weather forecast shows Slippies across the board. Come in out of the cold and into Slippies. Slippies, heat protection so good, it'll be a cold day in hell. Well, what did you think? Uh, you can go ahead and pick the top option. It was slick like you. I mean, you please simp any harder um, for the short little man with the weird eyebrows. Uh, anyway. So, what are you going to do? Uh, this will actually give us now an achievement and a notebook entry as well. So, no matter what you do, the um, result is always the same. 
So all you got to do then is nip onto the ski slopes, put yourself into a position, any position really, press the A button and slip. You will then get the Après Ski achievement and notebook entry number eight for skiing. <laughs> First time's the... I guess I'm... I guess so. I'd really... Sure. If you're interested, for... Got a dad. Okay. Okay, so thank you for that, you tiny little man with probable anger issues. You see, the shorter people are, the angrier they become. If you notice that, anyway, me too. Uh, right, head to the left, and we're going to go into, not the general store, but we're going to go into next to that, the Intercom Oasis. Now, basically, there's a couple of kids in here we are going to take a uh, chat to in a bit, but we're going to interact with the left-hand side uh, rapid fly zone. Now, basically, what you have to do is just basically you don't have to survive for two minutes. You can keep crashing and dying if you want, um, but you do have to play this for a total of two minutes. So, yep, just keep... I mean, obviously, if you can just crack on and, you know, not crash. I mean, it really doesn't matter because it's a cum... A cul what is it? What's the word? Cum cumulative. Cul cumulative? Commutative. Commutative. Ah, uh, you know what I mean. Just keep playing for two minutes anyway until the A Winner Is You achievement unlocks. Hooray! We're kick ass, man. All right, go ahead, speak to the kid on the right-hand side. His name is spelt like Yves, um, but it's actually Eve. Might as well have just called himself Steve. Like, you know what makes me laugh? And still baffles me, but still very cool at the same time, is all the Irish names. You know the one where it's got, like, 26 different uh, vowels and consonants in it, but then they're just called, like, John. But it's, you know, spelt like N-A-F-R-A-2-3 over bizarre B-G, you know. Anyway, I'm not taking the piss out of the Irish. I love the Irish, and I love the accents with it. I'm just saying that the names are funny. So, go ahead, speak to uh, Steve, or Eve, or whatever this kid's name is, and then you're going to speak to him again. So make sure to speak to him again. And then what you're going to do is, in the background after this guy, you're going to go ahead and speak to... Someone who resembles more Beavis than his actual name, Rafi. In fact, I am 100% convinced that a lot of these hairstyles just um, get have been uh, have been uh, what's the word? Not taken, but inspirationalized from certain things. This is Beavis down to a T, and in fact, you know the captain, Captain Zora, whatever his name is, he could be Butthead actually, the double D head. Uh, from earlier on in the game. Anyway, go ahead, speak to Beavis right here. I'm not calling him Rafi, because his name is... He is literally just Beavis, from Beavis and Butthead. That's it, that's what I'd see. And then, once you are done there, uh, that should be a new notebook uh, entry, number 9 out of 71. Now we can go straight out, 
head slightly to the right, and you're going to see a stage where you can see, uh, what's his name? His name is uh, Eric Ten Hag, or Pep Guardiola. It looks more like Eric Ten Hag, doesn't he? Manchester United manager, just in case you didn't know. Uh, it's been a depressing time being a Man United fan lately, but it could be worse. You could be an Everton fan. Um, <laughs> or, hopefully, you could be a Man City fan where the 130 charges are going to get them relegated down to the bottom division. Let's pray. Yeah, just joke. No, I'm not joking. So, go ahead and speak to the old broski here. His name is Buddy, and he is the Fedora's mailman, and who does go for a little jog as well. So once you speak to him, um, eventually you'll be able to go for a run and you'll get an achievement and another new notebook entry for it. Now we've written. I think of no one's, but why don't you? Okay, that. Ah. Uh, not working makes me so. I hope it's back. Good thing you have. Yep. And Chris. So. Uh, uh, yep. Why? Oh, hey, Chris. Last to arrive. Harold. Yeah, venga, hero. So, with the dialogue option, make sure to choose the bottom option, which says, okay, but please don't make me look too bad. Um... <laughs> Come on, Harold. Keep up. Deep breaths, Harold. You're doing great. Guys. <sighs> Guys. <sighs> now, we know how much Harold sucks at running, so as soon as you see the other two guys spin around and go back, um... You could have probably stayed there at the start-finish line. Um, I, I think the outcome's always the same anyway. You end up knackered. You know that Homer Simpson run where he tries to run after Marge and he sort of fails after about one second and he's given it the whole... <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much Harold Hallibum's in this part. So, after this anyway, you will get the Certification of Participation achievement and the 10th out of 71 notebook entries called... The run. Now, there's only one runs that uh, there's only one run that Harold likes, and it's not that particular run. The only runs he gets is the runs when he's on the toilet, probably. Yeah. Anyway, from here, we're gonna head up these steps now, right in the middle of the Agora Arcades, and we're gonna go to the left and speak to the f f f f f fish guy. And I'm not taking the mick. That's that's how, what he actually calls it. Hello. Yeah, man. Welcome to the. Fish, fish, hot. Sample up. What's the catch of the day? Today? It sounds. Ah, to tell. You know. So it. But. So there we go, then. That's number 11 done. So what we're going to do now, we're going to head down the steps. And we're going to head to the left and go all the way to the elevator once more, or the, the or water tube. And remember how we do that is we have to go to Central Station first. So we're not going to the Energy District just yet. So we are going to go to Central Station. Just got one little thing to do before we go to the Energy District. Sorry, I know we said we were going to the Energy District, but I forgot uh, about this little tiny thing. So head to the right, go into the next elevator on your right, under 4A. And then once again, we're going to the All Water District, because that's all we can go. Selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation. So head slightly right, and then we're going to interact with this elevator right here. We're actually going to go ahead and see. Um, it's it's double D head, but again, from now on, we're going to be calling him Butthead. Because there is Beavis and Butthead on this ship, and I am convinced that Raffi is Beavis. And this guy, Captain Zoya, is actually Butthead. So go ahead, speak to him. Ah, hello, citizen. Oh, hey. Call me. What can I... Just doing my... Do you need anything? Me? We really... Oh. 
Uh, uh, wasn't it epic? Oh, uh, yeah. Ah, yes. That was a... That I... Destiny? Yes. Oh, speak... I've got an important new... and Thank... Okay, once we've done that, then we can press the button to the right of Mr. Hallibum's and head back down the elevator. Oh my god! What has happened to this guy? Uh, right, apparently he likes to float in mid nothingness, but you can actually just, if you sort of scooch past him a little bit, there he goes. Whoop, straight past his dongle bird, and out we go. Okay, right. Well, that was weird. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do now is head to the left. We're going to go back into the elevator. And we're going to go down to the bottom option, the energy. Uh, in fact, no, we're not. Sorry, we're going to Central Station first. Sorry, I keep forgetting the elevator sometimes. So to Central Station, then go to the left in order to get the next elevator. And then we go into the energy district. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. Welcome. Thank you for traveling with Ooh, is this going to be a nice, spooky, cool new place? Nah, nothing really. There's not, not a lot going on. So, what we're going to do then, we're going to head all the way to the left, first of all. Ignoring everything that's going on, we're going to go all the way to the left and we're going to speak to little old Serial Bobs. There he is. Let's give him a little Sorry, chat, everybody. as always. Oh, it's been tough. Oh, uh, it's Yeah? Well, I'm... It's leaving. Oh. Yes, please. But I hope you're... Um... Anyway, you see... And now we got to kind of do, like, a little puzzle. It's a little puzzle. It's it, it's pretty much very little. So head to the right, head to the 3D printer. And all we got to do is effectively just... um. Go up, press the A button on uh, a lot of these screws, and uh, yeah, just take them off until you can see a um, bit of a wire with a bit of a electronicity gap. Electronicity? Electricity, Tiani? Yes. So just keep unscrewing screws, and then eventually, when you see it, and then Cyrus should say something like, Oh, I think you found it. So just keep unscrewing them screws, but not the ones in your head. Keep the screws in your head. Hey, we don't want to be unhinged, do we? <laughs> Ooh, I think you're nearly there. You see that hole? Ah! <laughs> oh. Ow! Sight. If it's any consolation. Ow! Well, oh. I'm not sure I love. Hmm. But I guess you. Ow! Think of it as a. Oh, the Moreau ask. Oh, just. Oh, you think that's funny, huh? Yeah. Well. I slept with your mama. That would be the uh, the ultimate grade school insult, which would get on everyone's nerves every single time, wouldn't it? Uh, all you got to say is, your mama's so fat, or I slept with your mama, and then everyone would be absolutely fuming. Anyway, uh, what that did give us was obviously an electric shock, but a new notebook entry as well. So that should be number 12 out of 71. She started it back in the day... She was always... She called it... But all it did was... So... Precisely. But it was... I mean, we... And I guess... So... That's not important. Come on, man, some... Okay. Uh, she... She'll know what... Oh... Right, so, next thing's next then. Once you've spoken to Sai about uh, the mess little message from Oro, we're going to look at the window here and see Bridget and Chris. The ever-glorious Chris. With his long, flowing blonde hair. 
like 40% body fat, fuck you. Uh, but anyway, you can choose any options you want. I just go with you monster, and then I go with the second option. Um, I don't think it really makes too much of a difference at all. In fact, it doesn't make too much of a difference at all. So pick what you want. It's because, anyway... Hmm, now I wish I'd... And that'll do it, blood skis. Okay, right, off to the left, go back into the elevator, and we're gonna head back up to the Agora Arcades. We're gonna get our second bit of gossip. Right, meow. So, straight back up to the Agora Arcades. All water. Moving people every day. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. And next, we're going to head into the Gertrude Beer Bar place bar. This is where we should now get the second out of six. There we go, filter Frank E. So this should be number two out of six. So just stay here until the conversation ends. Thanks, filter Frankie. Right. Well, I heard he's always mucking about in the filters, digging up all sorts that he sells to Tommy. What I want to know is, why doesn't anyone just go down there and find stuff? Have you ever been down to filters, Alon? Nah, you? I got shown him once. Not very appealing and technically off limits. Well then, there we go. Who you reckon he, or indeed she, is, then? Well, we can probably surmise he, or indeed she, isn't really called Frankie. Solid reasoning, Alon. So my guess is, he or she could be anyone. Could be you, Alon. Could be you, Sim. Aye. Then, uh, there would we be. Down the filters, most like. Aye. Good thing we're not down the filters. I'm just getting comfy. And again then, once it has ended, what we're going to do, we're going to head outside and then quickly head back in just to make sure that, um, uh, that, again, if it starts from the beginning, it means it's counted. So that's what we've done. Then just go ahead and speak to Tommy at the bar. And, uh, yeah, he's going to be all like, oh my god, I miss my wife, fall off my wife. No. It looked hard. Just, yeah, uh, what? There's no way he knows enough. If I still, Tommy, I'm. You don't understand, Harold. But I'll be damned if I'm gonna... Tommy? And you're in on this with... You did the right... I'm really sure... I've just been... You know? But maybe this... I'll bet she... You're absolutely right. Tonight! Make it into a... A sign... I mean... Don't doubt it, Harold! Will you help me? Uh... Knew I could... Then, uh, there would we be. Down the filter. I'm gonna go freshen up a little. Might even put on a different outfit now that I think of it. Will you go and look for Bridget for me? My dear Bridget, I'm sorry we haven't been able to spend much time together recently, so I get how you might be attracted to the man-machine with the flowing looks of an angel that you call your friend, but I do beg you to give me another chance. Please, Bridget, will you let me back into your heart and take this monument to our love as a sign of my great affection? Tommy, of course I love you. And I would never betray you. I just wanted to give you some space. I saw you working so hard on your new sign, and I just wasn't allowed to tell you. Couldn't tell me what? Oh, what the heck. The ship's facing some issues with the energy budget. I knew you would need a lot of light for your sign, and I just wasn't allowed to tell you. Ha! No way we've got an energy problem here. That was it? No helping Tinner Bomb with his spray tan? That was it. No spray tan. I'm so sorry, Buttercupsy. I love you. I love you.
thank you for your help, Harold. I was hoping you'd accept this stone as a thank you. Okay, so this being the end of the conversation, the rock is gone. Oh, no. Uh, but this will get us notebook entry number 13 out of 71, rock theft. Also, very quick, um, what would you do in that situation too? Would you tell your friend or even an acquaintance that you saw their other half talking to someone else? Or would you just let it go and hope that it all resolves because you're a nice person? Who knows? Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to head all the way basically now back to the lab district. We've basically done everything that we can possibly do. Um, we've updated Moreau once and we're going to update her again, which should... Now, give us the achievement after you speak to Mini Marge Simpson right here. Zoodle, please to make your... So, it's from... He says there's something he... Oh, I mean... I don't know. My work here is done. Thanks. Okay, thanks, Marge. I will be sure to let Homer know. Right, so, again, off to the left, eventually. Uh, we're going to head back to the... Or head down to the lab district. So, once you go all the way to the right, not stopping for anyone, not stopping for anything, go ahead, speak to Moreau, and again, because we interacted with the Blue Rock first of all, before speaking to Tommy and then doing everything, um, the achievement managing upwards should unlock. So, just go all the way to the left, uh, all the way to the right, and get a bit of Moreau roll. system will shortly be closing for the night. Please attend to the necessary travel arrangements. Professor, safe. you're not... Why does that... The blue rock... You found it. It was stolen. This is us. I know. Oh. Out with it. He says... Hi. Yeah. He's a sly... What's a... Oh, that... I've got to think of a come... What should we do? We... Madam CEO, you're going to want to hear to hear this. I'm listening. It's the new boy. It's picked up a... Ah, uh, have you reversed data? We have. So 120... Things would have been pretty rock bottom back there, but it's here. Well, maybe it... Okay, I'll send a copy via... Well, just play it to me. I've got a 1205. Mom. And one of those. Okay. This is... Uh, uh, boy... Whoever. What? Professor? It was hot. It's the first message. Certainly. I want. What kind of. What do you think it. It means. They're thinking about. What if. Don't be parrot. What reason or. Still. Gosh, that. Maybe they've. Hmm. If we. Pre Yes? Oh, it's you. Yes? No. Indubit. Fine. What? 15%? Out of the question. Okay, sure. Harold, I want you to- Huh? Who was th Why? What for? Indeed. Ha well, unfortunately for- She even unlo- But what? Well, we'll soon- Come on, let's not keep Her Highness... Crisis control. We need to get out there ahead of the turn in public sentiment. First move advantage and get this working for us, not against us. Yes, come in, come in, come in. Now, as you both know, time is of the essence. Sorry, where are my manners? Would either of you like something to drink? Ah, I suppose I might like a coffee? There's really no time for coffee. Time is of the essence. Professor, would you like to sit? No, thank you. I prefer to stand. Oh, a woman of action, I love that. Anyway, we must act. Due to the unfortunate communique incident, we've been forced to move up the schedule. It's imperative we deliver some good news about the start procedure. Hmm. I suppose that wouldn't hurt. To that effect, Professor, and, um, you there. I'll need you to supervise Cyrus directly. We can't afford for any unforeseen delays. Cyrus, he works best undisturbed. 
The man is a stubborn buffoon, but there's no doubting his thoroughness. Professor, please, it would do this old heart good to know that you were keeping a watchful eye on him. Or maybe your, um, protege here could do it. I'll hang out with, I mean, watch Sai, sure. If it makes you happy, Madame CEO, we'll make sure Cyrus delivers. Great. Music to my ears. Thank you both. You've done all water and the ship a great service. We're ready. Go live and stay on schedule. It's my privilege to announce to you all today that our new boy program has already proven an unmitigated success. We present to you now the full and unedited audio that represents the first incoming message we've received in our lifetimes. Now, before the message plays, I'd like to take a moment to reiterate just how proud we should all be of progress on the new start procedures. It won't be long before we're ready for the first attempt the latest in a long line of steps on the road to a greater, brighter future for us all. Please enjoy this message, brought to you by the All Water Corporation. This is uh, us, to the fedora. Boy, we sure hope you're all okay, whomever is still out there. We're not quite sure how to tell you this. Things were pretty rocky here when you left, of course, and, you know, that was a brave move. Probably the right decision at the time. We didn't know whether to even tell you this, but we figured maybe it would give you some comfort way out there in the freezing clutches of deep space. What? Oh, right. Yeah, I guess. Or, I mean, even better, the comforting, warm embrace of a lovely, habitable new planet. Well, we just wanted to let you know that we pulled together down here. The sparrows calmed down and things pretty much worked themselves out. Life still isn't perfect. Bananas died out, and you've got to be pretty careful around water. But by and large, we're back on track. But I've survived. One thing I did forget to mention earlier was Castle Chop's hairdo. So we've got some American style, uh, American football style helmet hair going on right there. Very interesting. Some of the the uh, hairdos in this game, isn't it? Harry Halibut has the one of a uh, someone who should be in prison. Um, but you know, more on that later. So. What we got then, uh, you should get a new notebook entry there, CEO Castle Chop. And we are going to go to the left slightly. We're actually going to follow um, Butthead upstairs now. And we're going to get a new notebook entry called uh, Coco. Yeah, we've got to go get some Coco Pops. It, it's his bird, yeah. Just go up, speak to Butthead, and we will get a new notebook entry called Coco. I'm Harold. Uh, yes, I'm Harold. Oh. Uh, I know my... But some... You heard the leak, I presume. Yeah. That leak. If my... <laughs> oh. Well. And you know... I... Speaking... Have you... Yes. Yeah. She's got... Oh. Coco is... Oh. No, I'm sure she... Is it... My beloved? Her name is... Co oh... Do you want to see a... Coco is a bird. Harold, you're so... I'd look for her... Are you sure you... Whatever, are you... I'm sure you're perfectly capable. So... Yes. Does she maybe... Hmm... I did find I promised to Oh Harry. Oh Harry. Bye. Water Corporation. 
Okay, now it is going to be knight time. Oh yeah, uh, so yeah. So head to the left, we're going to go back down to the lab district once more. Um, so we're going to need to go in here, we're going to need to go back to central station. You know, you've probably, you're, you're probably already very, very used to this. Well, we've only got about six and a bit hours to go anyway, so still lots of fun to be had. <laughs> so yes, end of the left, it is night time as you can see, so we're going to go back to the lab district, we're going to have a little chat with Moreau. Oh, yeah, and the whole thing with uh, Castle Chop, that was another indication of how the game sometimes allows you to skip all the dialogue without issue, and then sometimes it does kind of force you to watch, you know, <laughs> eight to ten minute cutscenes where, don't get me wrong, a lot of it is interesting in the story, as as well as graphically, it's honestly, this is brilliant, the way it was made. Um, but yeah, sometimes things can feel a little bit drawn out, if there has to be one criticism of the game. Yeah. Come and see for yourself. Oh, I promise I ordered them. Harold, just look. Most intriguing. Highly irregular. So, if the Light Keepers could get the rock, and they knew we wanted it, that means that, uh, they must be someone who... Harold, it's late, and we've had enough excitement for one day. Let's leave the theories until tomorrow. Sure. I'm just happy that whoever they are, they're on our side. So it seems for now. Good night, Harold. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The light keepers helped us. So that'll be a new notebook entry anyway. The package. Yeah. And uh, we can head downstairs to the left and we're gonna take a little Snoopy Snousens. Gosh, I'm glad it wasn't me. Let's see what tomorrow. Okay, you know how we start the day, right? By getting in a goddamn pump! Grab those weights and... <clears throat> <clears throat> or just go to the right and speak to the one-handed Peter Pan Moreau. No, wait, see, it wasn't Peter Pan who had one hand, it was Hook. That's why he was called Hook. Meh. I'm stupid. Okay, And Harold, try to remember our... I know. I'll get going. Alright, so we are actually going for Busybody, the gossip number three. So we are going to head all the way to the left once again, and we're going to go to the Agora Arcades this time and back into the beer place, Gertrude's beer place, to get gossip number three out of six. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. All right, Zim. Not bad, Alon. You hear that leak? Yes, I did, Zim. Load of old nonsense, wasn't it? Load of old nonsense, Alon. That said, I feel bad for the bloke that leaked it. Yeah. I'm gonna cop an earful. An earful he shall cop. You know what I'd say if I was Madam CEO? What would you say, Zim? If I was the CEO, I'd say to him, Oi! 
You're leakier than a cheap bucket and I'm not having it. Check yourself and your tan-eye communication protocol before you wreck yourself. It's an earful. Not a justifiable one, Zim. Maybe you should be the next CEO. Nah, too much responsibility, Alon. You know what I'd say if I was CEO? What would you say then, Alon? I'd say, Oh, you! You're leakier than an old pipe full of hungry mice, and I'm not having it. Now pull yourself together and remember that everything makes mistakes, but it's how you learn from them that counts. And right you'd be, Alon. Right you'd be. Maybe you should be CEO. Nah, too much responsibility. Happy right where I am, Zim. Yeah, god damn it, Alon. What, right, Zim? Yeah. Anyway, once you've zimmed and Alan out, just make sure to go in, make sure it's at the beginning again, so you know that it is counted, which it has. So that's good. So that should be number three out of six, as I said. So we'll head back to the left. We are going to go back down now to the energy district. Right after we have a, a, a chat here to Major, stick up your butt. The appropriate... But... Absolutely not. The authority... Okay, Major. All right, spank you, Major. Spanking you, Harry. No, thank you. Right, so back down to the energy district. And once again, we're going to head basically all the way to the right uh, into Cyrus's room, where we're going to have another conversation with him and get a new notebook entry in the process for speaking to Cyrus about Cyrus's plan. Water Corporation has chosen to travel with us today. Hey, Harold. Hello, Sai. So, so. That's not uh, I mean, mm, just the. Hmm. Wow. It's not like I'm one of. So. So, the first day, as we all know, the ship's weight and the. And because of the. So. Then comes phase. Once we reach a. Meaningless. Thus building gold. Yeah, like those. Oh, those. When you get. Ooh, we... Um... But yeah, they are... As I was saying, once we reach... <laughs> uh, but not... And use the sun on an upwards... Oh, a bit like it... it well... Oh, I found a book. I kind of hope... Ah, but... Uh, as the fedora, our velocity was... But... To allow us to break... Like a flying fish. Focus, Harold. This is the... We must launch the thrusters too early. They'll be too late. Wow. Oh, well, in theory. But there's something in... Now, I've checked everything. Like... No. Now, if I didn't know better, I... Mm. Anyway. Oh. Did? Uh. Hmm. Anyway, you... Um... Since you two... Mm-hmm. Well, were things... Yeah, it was... Sunny, but I'm glad it... Anyway. Yeah. Good luck, Sai. Okay, there it is then, Cyrus's plan. That should be another new notebook entry. Should be on 17 now out of 71. So now we're going to go into this little room here. Go left and up. And go ahead and speak to Bridget. Hi, Bridget. Are you ready to... I have it. Oh, Harold, you can... Anyway, it's going to... Oh... Oh, Harold, while you're here... Uh, maybe... Now, now, you'll... There's a little experiment. The remote can... My theory is... So I need your help to manual... Can do. I'll be in here, rec... Right. The big one next to the conveyor... I think... Yes, well... I'll give you more detail to... Okay, time to do some puzzles. Now, I should say that the puzzles in this game, they're not really puzzles. They're, they're very easy, so you shouldn't get too stuck on them anyway. So head out and head to the left. Now, what you have to do is you interact with this first machine here. Now, every time there is a red rock, you need to press the A button to stop the red rock underneath the uh, scanner or wherever the hell it is. So here comes the red one, so just simply press the A button. There it is. Now you'll automatically go on to the next step, onto the analysis machine. So basically, as soon as Bridget says now, you just have to tip, uh, uh, press the top option. So as soon, so there you go, so it's already on the top option. When she says now, press A, 
There we go, and that'll cut that. And then you can go down to the second option, which is the spray paint or whatever it is. And just press the A button at any point, and that will be done. So just go ahead and do that another two times, which, you know, you should be fine. If you do manage to get stuck, then, you know, just rewind the video so you can listen to what I say. But I think you'll be fine. You got it. Nice one. Now on to the next step. Now. Great. Time to coat the sample. Nice. Let's see what we have. Ah, I see. I see. Just the one left now. Okay, great. On to the next step. Now. Great. Time to coat the sample. Okay, great. Now show me what you got. Hmm, intriguing. Nice one, Harold. That's everything we need. Meet me back at the control room and we can look over the results together. Wow, look at you. You could be like a cyanomatist and everything. Right, so head back to Bridget to speak about your cyanomatist stuffs. These results, it looks like... That's not good. No, but it also... Why would the back... I'm not the best person to ask. What could have changed? I'm not sure. The key variables. We're using the same... And I've been double checked. They're filtering... I mean... It is fine. But none of the tests we've run... <clears throat> I'm not... It's just a trap. Unless we can miraculously find a... Not panicking at... Oh. I should get back... I'll keep you posted. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go and do our own thing, which we are actually going to head uh, all the way back down to the lab district. So take a left, go back down to the lab district. We're going to go down to the um, filtration, big filtration device thing and mess around with that again. So back down to the lab. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. You're here. Thank you for choosing. And now again, we can head right, but not all the way right. We're going to stop right here where the lounge and level one bit is. So we're going to head down and down these steps again. Yeah, we'll try it. Yeah, try that again, Has. There we go. And then take a right all the way till we get down the steps and into the filtration devices pump device. Yeah. Close enough. And then up the steps, take a left, interact with the machine again. And again, we'll just do the same thing. So we're going to go up to where the light is at the top right-hand corner. And then again, down to the second option. Wait till the light fills up. Hit that. Wait till the light fills up again. And then hit that swirly boy for another scene, which we can't skip this time. Fixing, cleaning, fixing, running around and fetching stuff. It could be worse. But there must more t cleaning. Wait. I could my best friend and for what no matter them I could work but make and at the end Oh, sorry, Harold. Ah, sorry. You. S I'm a bit startled. What brings? You? Just. I should probably. But you just got anything I can. I. I that guy can be slip. Yeah. 
Right oh. Oh, okay. Hmm, I wonder why Tommy's sneaking around down here. You looking for a new hair transplant? Mate, you ain't gonna get it from here. There's only one place to get that, that's from Turkey. Um, and you may be a little... Sometimes it works out well, sometimes it doesn't. Very much like butt implants from Brazil. I've seen... Uh, I, I mean, we've all seen it. I mean, you, you can't go on the internet for about 20 seconds without seeing at least one butt in your face. Um, and some of them look great, and then some of them have failed. But it looks funny. Anyway, uh, right, so from here then, we are now going to get the Neo Ludite achievement, which is basically heading back to the Energy District, speaking to Bridget again, and she's going to call us silly, silly, stupid Harold, because, uh, yeah, she doesn't actually have the sample, but we need it for the achievement anyway. So back to Bridget and speak. That's that's basically the, the gist of it there. Traveling with all water. Procedure will begin in... Hey, Bridget. Oh, done with the same. Mm -hmm. You s I messaged. Oh, that is what the. I know. Did you really? No. It'd be mad. Yeah, my bad. Although, what? Well, Thanks, Bridget. Hey, hey, did, did, did uh, Broski there just, um, silly goose us? Ew, you silly goose. God damn you. Anyway, keep heading to the left and we're going to be stopped by Felix in just a momentios. Okay, well, we actually need to get up somewhere first. Uh, but we are going to be stopped by Felix in the next one. We're going to go for some crawling through some vents. So head to the lab district again. All water. Moving people every day. We know you enjoy traveling with... And when I say we're going to get stopped by Felix, uh, we're actually going to go all the way to the right and do some rock sampling first. So, uh, my bad, my apologies. I got a little bit ahead of myself right there. Uh, so just head to the right. And again, we will open up the hatch just next to the fish tank. There she blows. Then to the left, just by the door, to get the rock sample down. And again, the bottom right-hand corner rock you're going to put in there and microscope it up. Uh, this will actually get us a new notebook entry called Countdown. Right now, let's take a look what all the fuss is about. Hmm. Oh, yes. I see. Very big marks. A dense rockiness. Troubling, uh, strata. Implications huge for origin of it. Possible comet fragment. Judging by the composition, could have been from far away. Mm-hmm. That is... Ah! Professor, you scared me. This is... We've been thinking all along about... This data suggests... Hmm. But... Huh, that would contradict... Hmm. The potential implications... What is it, Professor? It's these readouts. I think I know what they mean. Oh. What have they told you? The rock strata looks like carbonaceous chondrite. Rare? But the aminos? Back dating. It's a countdown. Great. For what? Our relaunch window. The sample finally reveals a pattern. And it means there's a two-year gap between the otherwise constant solar windstorms. We're approaching that window. Fast. And if we miss it? We wait. For 80 years. Most of us won't get to see the next one. Wow. So can you work out how long we have? If my calculations are correct, we're fast approaching the end of the current two-year calm period. In fact, I make it exactly 89 days we have left. Do you think we'll make it? Hmm. 
Not unless we find a miraculous source of energy to properly power the ship. I doubt it. I need to double-check some of this data urgently. Oh. Oh, dear. Okay, Professor. I'll leave you be. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Now, now the task is done. The sample is ready. So let's go and get the sample, which is ready. Okay, now in just a moment, Felix will eventually uh, pop us up. But there we go. You should have just seen there the countdown notebook entry done. Um, again, obviously, a lot of these notebook entries are story-related, but that, there are a few that can be easily missed um, as we head to the Ag Agora, Agora Arcade. Sorry. Um, but there are a lot that can be easily missed. So, you know, got to keep a lookout. So, to the Agora Arcades. Again, there is no extra gossip for the time being. Um, but we're going to head to the right and we are going to speak to Felix. And this is where we're going to start whacking in through the vents. So, literally, all you've got to do is pretty much crawl left for what feels like an eternity. Oh, look. Who's that? Come on, you... The food cra... I'm a kid. Well, the cartoons of... I think that might... Oh. So... All these people... Maybe they don't even know we exist. Well... Yes. Oh. So... How Why? Chris? I was only wondering. School school. I try to concentrate. I mean, what do you... And I'm sure they're not cheating. But... You can't just... Huh. I just feel like I learned... Well... You can always ex I mean, Miss. Uh, I suppose. Good evening, Fedorans. The all water tube system will shortly be closing for okay, the night. Okay, it's time. Please I attend to the necessary oh. travel arrangements. Get home safe. This might. It looks like a small. Sure, that's what they want. Come on. It's pretty cozy in here. Just follow me. And trust me. So you promise you won't tell anyone about this? Promise? I mean, who would I tell? Moreau? She'd just say I'm making up tall tales again. Well, I think you'd better tell me a secret anyway, just so we're even. Um, okay. I guess that's only fair. Well, one time I dropped something into one of the filters, so I had to... Wow, you. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that'll do. Felix, come on. Can't you tell me where we're headed? Good things come to those who wait. So, how well do you know these tunnels, Felix? We're not lost, are we? Okay, trust me, I've been exploring these for ages now. Whenever my parents are away, or, yeah, I need quiet space, there's so much of the station people don't know about. I mean, could they even fit? <laughs> Probably not. And I'm glad they don't try. They can't be that bad. Oh, they're fine, just so busy, always. And they let me get away with a lot. You could try not getting into trouble in the first place. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're a goody two-shoes. <laughs> I doubt the professor would think I am. She's not your mama, right? Nope. But she's been kind of like one. Hmm. So what about your... Are you sure we're not lost? Not long now. Don't worry. Yeesh, that haircut and hanging out with kids. That's a prison sentence, bruh. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna have to, you're gonna have to change your hair, bruh. Because apparently you're in your 20s. And yeah, sorry, bruh. Yeah, I'm just joking. 
Anyway, uh, with this part, you are actually going to get another notebook entry, Scout and Agel, Agent Haraldson. Uh, that should be notebook entry number 19 out of 71. No. Here. Uh, not for... Relax, it's just smoking is a... D oh. They call a man who... He wasn't what... He mapped out the lightkeeper, a lesser, but the scout. He can only the looks to. If only the. The scout is a legend. We've been trying to trap. If anyone. So. Everyone wants to. Yeah. Let's move on. Everything is going cold. Ah, you. Oh man, Broski just took a crackle to the head. That was a uh, oof, that was unfortunate. But fair play, he's up, he's ready, he's probably going to throw up, but that's fine. We got it. So again, just continue heading left, and there's going to be another scene where we can't skip any dialogue in just a bit. So, hooray! Yes, yes. 100%. And let me circle back to you on the... Oh, Slipmire. Ah, oh, man. I should certainly hope so. We're so perilous. Well, now you've had a chance. Have you given... Surely... Yes, about... So, it can't be that cold, and... It's a system... Hmm. Yes. Ah. Oh. Oh. But what... <sighs> of course. Like so. Give it a few minutes to... Good. We're going to treat people at the pub. Hmm, it seems like there's hope. Yes, I think... No extra day. You know me? Well, not too far. I'll keep it on the... But if you can... Say no more, Madam C. Now about those all-water co-brand admittance we discussed. <laughs> I can't stay... And we're out! Now, if you want to see some juicy man meat, Chris is taking a shower, but he is actually showering in shorts. So you just have to admire the seps. Admire the bices. Just admire him, bro. Admire him. Um, admire his hairdo, and yeah. Think of all the things why you don't have long, luscious, blonde locks like that. I'm jealous of anyone with hair, personally, since I have none! Anyway, heading up, it is night time, so we are going to head to the right, to the lab district. And again, we're going to have another bit of a long dialogue here with Professor um, Hook and Professor Moreau. And we're going to get a new notebook entry, T with Hook. Uh, Moreau, sorry. Uh, it's okay. Uh, oh dear, do have some tea. Uh, uh, you need a stitch. I do. This was a... Ex what exact? Well, they were nice. From what I could... Slippy? No. It's a... What? Why would Castle Chop... I don't know. Maybe Slippy. Well, I don't have much hope. But it could be just... I wonder whether those... It seems... Yeah. Yes. Perhaps it's... Oh. Did slip... 
Not really. I'll... Intrigued? Well, if... I'll keep my... Yes, you do... Th huh. Well. Sounds good. Achoo! Good night. Night, ha and don't... I'll try... I'll try not to... Okay, we're going to head down, we're going to go to bed, but Moreau is right. Tea does cure all. Cup of tea, feeling cold? Cup of tea. Feeling too boiling? Have a cup of tea. Again, proper actually made cups of tea now uh, as we just head to bed. None of that, you know, put some milk in a tiny little tea bag and then microwave it. No, that is, that's wrong on so many levels. Plus, now, not to start a fight between the Welsh and the English, obviously. I love you guys. I love everybody. Um, but in some places in England, there is what's for some reason known as hard water. Now, in Wales, we have soft water. Don't ask me. I'm not a scientist. So I don't know how it all works out. But anyway, Welsh water is nicer than English water. So a cup of tea in England gives you the potential for incredible diarrhea, I assume. I don't live in England, so I don't have enough cups of teas up that way. Um, but yeah, cup of tea is always banging in Wales. So if you want a proper brew, come to Wales. I shall meet you and give you a cup of tea and make you a cup of tea personally. That's for, that's as uh, thanks for everyone for supporting me over the years so far. It's the least I can do. Anyway, uh, back to the game then. We're heading to the right there on the computer. And of course, as we all know, in games like this, um, well, I say in games like this, in other games, if there's a red blaring light, it normally means that something mental is about to happen and the survival horror element begins. So we're going to head down all the way to these stairs. And this is luckily pretty different. There is no survival horror elements to this because genuinely I am an absolute... I am an absolute... I'm a bit of a fanny bags with horror. I get a lot of comments saying, um, why can't I do, uh, you know, do some more horrors? There's some more horror games. I'm... I'm a scary pants. I am. Uh, just as we interact with the filtration device and we see some alien thing floating down towards us. This will actually be the end of chapter one. So that we get straight into chapter two. But yes, I am a bit of a wiener when it comes to horror. Um, oh man, what was that one game pass horror game I did ages ago? I can't remember. But generally playing it, crap my pants throughout the entirety of it. Um, but I still managed to do it because, you know, and I only pooped myself at least three times. So it was, uh, it was worth it. Bloody hell, I didn't like what Harold was doing then. Looks like he was just about to, uh, <laughs> looks like he was just, I don't know what the hell he was doing. It, it was weird just the way he went down there, like, oh, weird alien fish thing. Let's, uh, let's check you out. But yes, this is weird alien fish thing, um, who actually becomes quite the integral part of the story. The emotional attachments are rife for everyone to see as well. Harold does get a bit weirdly attached, as we will see as the game progresses. 
He may have a thing for alien fish monsters. Well, we've all got our fetishes. It is 2024. No judgments here. People are making absolute bank on OnlyFans for weird fetishes. Because there's weird people out there. But, you know, no judgment. You freaks. Uh, no. So, anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right, so we're going to have to clear the storage room, which is just behind Moreau there. So, you go in, pick up a box, take it to your room, and then come back and do the same. So, you need to take two boxes to your room. And then when we go back, um, it's going to start off the, like this Tetris thing. So, a Tetris looking kind of game. So, it's literally just a case of slamming boxes down until Harold falls through. Uh, there is no win or lose here. You literally just drop in some boxes until Harold falls through and then wakes up. Looks like he does break a few bones here though, which is a bit ouchy. Okay, since we've woken up from the dream, we can now head up. We're going to go uh, and speak to Professor Teabags again. I think I'm done with the box room. Wait, let's... Harold? Will do. Enjoy your... This is Moreau. No, it's... What? Yes. You've six... Yes. I'm listening. Good. Yes, I don't... What is it? So, one moment, I... I'm thinking how sigh, but not as much as yes. Well, he's can't you come and I'll see what I okay. What was that? Nothing. Bye. Hmm. I've taken get it and can do. Is it look just fine? It's stable. Hope so. Good luck. And so we have another district open to us. Ooh, how exciting. So we're going to head all the way to the left, to the elevator, or the old water tube. I'm just going to call it an elevator because that's what it is. And we're going to head to the very bottom option, the social district. Oh, we've got to socialize up in here. Yeah. The old water tube room to the social district has reopened. Please do not all try to go at once. Thank you for your understanding. Travel in style with all water. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason. So we're going to head to the right. Again, it's only a small section, so, you know, you can't really get lost or anything like that. We're going to head to the right here, and we're going to speak to Chris and the two, well, the two or three other people here as well. So just speak to everyone in this little section. Take it away. <clears throat> what is the dark and silent ship that being nowhere near... Hey, Chris. I... Uh, <laughs> me either. But here I am. Well, what do you think? It's great. And they really look like... Yeah! I think it's an... Sharing their hope. It just warms me. Aww. No, my student. Ah, uh, no, I meant. No. What does that mean? Well, in what does? No. Like a glass, some random downdraught had set ringing, now full of its only note. Hello there. Oh well. Hello. You enjoying? I most. 
Oh, and oh, that's great. You're. A... What's her poem? Oh, I do. Hang on. Me? <laughs> Is that? Are you some kind? Be stealing time. Or rather. Me? Are we home? I have prison. We got been making small talk with the parents then. Hmm? Yes, that's about right. Oh dear. Keep the light I'm not alive. Keep on oh. trying to thrive. Okay. You dig? Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, e Shh. Shh. Sorry. Hi there. Oh, hi. I'm here. Please. Do you have a kid for what? <laughs> Whatever you're most happy <laughs> with. For my oh. poem entitled <laughs> I see the Maybe I'll get my heart. Or assign one as an act. <clears throat> you got your Sure. And do myself out of a job. Where I think I do. And I'll let you get back. Thanks. <laughs> Enjoy the show. And you'll be able to say you made you know, if this was happening, you know, on Earth right now when people were at a recital, the way that this generation is, we wouldn't want to talk to anyone. And I am one of those people. Like, why would you want to small talk with people? Anyway, continue heading to the right and going through this first door. And you're going to see Major Stick Up Your Butt, who has an illegal relationship going on with a fish. My book, I might add. Oh, the... Anyway, chapter... It was a... In search of the... Who's there? Oh, uh, it's me. What's in the- I'm sorry to interrupt. Well, so perhaps- Oh, yes. Good. Oh. Very good. Heh heh heh. Ah, bro, we seen you in fish face. Okay, so head to the next room on the right, the next open room. Head up, uh, interact with the door, and you're gonna get an achievement plus a notebook entry for finding the announcer and the achievement called Rubber Dub Dub, rubbing in the tub. It's the tannoy. All water. Oh, God. Hmm. Hello? It's okay, you know. I have an open door policy. Well. Ah, uh, I'm Harold. I'll Welcome. This, I'm still. Make yourself at home. This is Radio Fedor. This just. <laughs> so, uh... Oh, I have quite... I'm always... Do you think you'll... Ah, well... I think... Maybe some... Ooh, perhaps... Can I... Sure. What do you think is... I know there's a lot... Gosh. Ah, yeah. Wow, that... Ooh, I will... Thank you, but I'd... Okay, you... But I do just want to show you this notebook entry, because look at his little butt. <laughs> and what I assume is hair off his head. I hope it's off his head anyway. So anyway, when, with that one done, um, there's nothing else to do here. So we're going to head all the way back to the left into the elevator, where we are now going to go to uh, the Agora Arcade once again. After we speak to Chris, first of all, though. Well, please. Oh. Seated. Disruption is necessary. My poem, wow. Entitled yep. The tides. She needs to. Heart. And mm. Corey is a good, very bright. Um, she was really looking forward. Where? I just want her to understand. Oh. Of my heart. Well. Oh. I never realized being a. <laughs> no, I mean. We'll also. F right. Don't worry, Chris. Thanks, Harold. Ebb and Hi. flow. <laughs> Nothing. Where do they go? The tides of my heart. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You've arrived. So when we get to the Agora Arcades, there is no gossip, so we're not going to worry about that. But there is a new guy with a slippery wiener. 
And what I mean by that is there's Derek, uh, one of, this is Warren, the fourth brother of the secretaries who is selling slippery water wieners. <laughs> uh. Oh, but I'm here now. Oh, cool. So what made you... And a stupid... I have concluded that wieners and their accomp... are the most... Oh. By the... are you... By blood! So... Okay, next we're going to be working towards another miscellaneous achievement where we have to do a few things. First of all, head over to the right, go inside the little arcade place. Excuse me, lady, get out the worry. Yeah, that is where the rock was from earlier, uh, but we have no need for it now. So head inside and speak, first of all, to Rafi, or Beavis for short. And then once you have that little pointless conversation, speak to Captain Butthead. Look, Beavis and Butthead, they're together at last. Anyway, this is the first out of four times that we have to speak to Butthead for the Oh Captain, My Captain achievement. That sounds... Yeah. I did... I was born... But... All... And the ship needs... Sure. Hmm. Look. Uh, at least I... Could you... I'm chasing a new... Oh. But before we get out and go and find him in another place, what we're going to do is head out, we're going to turn to the right, and we're going to look at... Uh, a guy called Onat on the stage, who looks more like uh, Eric Ten Hag or every other bold Dutchman or bold uh, football Premier League manager in England right now. Uh, you don't actually have to speak to him, but we've just got to wait here for about a minute or so until we get the Entertainment Eric Ten Hag fan club achievement. Basically, just wait here until the achievement unlocks. 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 By the way, if you are a Manchester United fan or know Eric Ten Hag and Man United in general, this is what he does on the touchline because it beats watching Manchester United play these days. It's very depressing being a fan right now. Although then again, I suppose I could support Everton, which is banterific. Anyway, once the achievement unlocks, head left and then up these steps and then to the right. Now we are going to speak once again to the, uh, not the fish lady, sorry. It's the, it's the quick soup color fish lady. So technically... A fish lady. Uh, but this one is going to be notebook entry number 24 out of 71. Sounds great. I was. How's business been? Oh, that fit. Always. It's what it. Well, I'll try something here soon. Okay, so next up, we're going to have to go at, around and speak to all the secretaries once again. This will be the. Brothers, uh, the second brothers, but we're going to head to the left first of all, if we can actually get through the table. We're just going to go and speak to Fish Guy again. Can you believe this? Man, the accent is phenomenal, by the way. All this choice. I love it. So then, yes, he is complaining there about Warren's watery wieners as well. Um, so I don't know if you actually have to speak to him um, in order to get the uh, achievement later on in terms of moving Warren from his spot, but uh, it's always worth doing anyway. So head down, head to the left, back towards the elevator. And like I said, once again, we are going to speak to a bunch of secretaries to get the next brother notebook entry. Not even about Warren. Absolutely. Great. But if he... Maybe he's as nervous as... Not nervous. Not a care. Okay, a spank in your hairy. Thank you very much. Okay, left into the 
All Water Corp elevator. And we're going to go to Central Station, where we're going to speak to Secretary Number Eight. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Hey, Mr. Eight. Fine. I just hope he's learned. Well, a mobile... Yes. Still. Even if he does have to... Do you think a... Hectic... Oh. Oh. All right, now after that, head to the go into the right side elevator. We are going to go to All Water Corp, or the All Water District, sorry. And when we get up here, you know where we're going, where we started the game in. Uh, we're going to speak to Secretary Number 24 in that little room. So obviously head to the right, past Captain Butthead's um, elevator, and then go up right into the only open door. And then go ahead and speak to secretary number 24. Mr. 24. Mr. Halibut. Ah, oh, thank you. But uh, not in cons... I... I have been. And... As you can see... Or to dis... Oh. I hope when... Thank you for your... Such as opening up the Pelican Station area. Okay, so now what we're going to do is head all the way back to the Agora Arcades. And we're going to have to speak with Warren. And finally, that will give us the Brothers Notebook entry. So again, obviously, we're going to go to Central Station here. Into the elevator on the left. Go to Agora Arcades. Speak to Warren and his big old watery wiener. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. Thank you for traveling with all water. Hey, Warren. At your service. I hope you don't mind. Ha! Ah, I can Im But there's no bad or Sure, up. The even one. Ta! You like on. That's silly. Oh. But you know. I can't even rip. It's a. It yes, boy! There we go. So, finally, then, that one is done. So, you should get the notebook entry there. The brothers. So now we can head up into the bar, the cafe, coffee looking bar, and just go ahead. There is no gossip, but we are going to speak to Captain Butthead right here for Oh Captain, My Captain, two out of four. But it's... Oh, that? I'm over. That's... Yep. Life's too short. No one needs me. I suppose that... Who cares? I... Right. See you when I see it. Now, Captain Butthead is about to do something incredible. Um, so you see him there, we're leaving him at the bar, lovely. Somehow, maybe that's why he's got a jetpack or something on his back. Because he's where we're going now, he's actually going to already beat us there. So, uh, yeah, he's got that epic jetpacking ability. But we're going to head down now to Central Station, and he will be right in front of us as we get there. So speak to him again and wonder where in the goddamn hell he came from. Why am I saying everything with an American accent now? Well, it is half ten in the PM, and I'm losing my brainos. Um, oh, hi. Yes, yeah, sir. After I told you, I do. I. Caring is. I wish I. I just. But I don't. I. I know. So. Okay. Me too. Oh, th it felt good. Uh, huh? Would I. I'm glad. Uh, I... 
Best be off. Best be off, mate. How the hell did you get? Anyway, he's just about to do the same thing. So we're going to head to Og Agora Arcades once again. Um, and we're actually going to finish off the old captain, my captain. Because what he's going to do now, we've already gone. And now he's going to be like, <laughs> this guy. And he's going to whack his jetpack on. And then he's going to go to the color fish soup lady. Because that is where we're going to meet him. And that is where we're going to get this achievement finished. So, yep. Head to the right. Then we're going to go up the middle of the steps, take a right, and then he will see him eating by his loads himself. That will get you the Oh Captain, My Captain achievement. Buon appetito. Ah, Harold. Oh. Look. That's okay. Well, well I've been doing what I... Whether take as much that's I get there aren't many. oh huh you just you seem hmm so now I'm good oh yeah I hope so <laughs> oh yeah plus we get the notebook as well. So we'll get another notebook entry here for O oh, Captain My Captain, which would be called Copin Captain. And uh, yeah, so there we go. So go head back down the stairs here, speak to Warren again at the bottom of the steps. Um, I don't think this doesn't actually give us a uh, notebook entry or anything yet, but it's always worth talking to Warren at every opportunity, uh, just because there is so much going on. And in terms of an achievement later on, where we basically have to solve all the brothers conundrums as it were so that's why whenever we get the opportunity we will speak to warren uh but anyway head to the left we're going to go to a place that we haven't been for a while Ugh, the bathroom <laughs> or the shower ah oh, damn i already ruined that simpsons joke anyway central station first and then we're going to head into the right hand side elevator and then we're going to go into the social this not the social district the one underneath the all water district uh, 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 run, boy. Uh, Howard, no, not Howard. The utility district. Ooh. You're my, you, me and you. I'm the janitor and you're the janitor's wife. And you have to live with me here in the utility closet. Sorry, that's another Simpsons quote. But anyway, that's where we're going. Utility district. Because we've got another, we're going to be coming back and forth here. Uh, very quickly, um, but basically you're going to see Sunny there on the left who we are going to speak to first And then on the right hand side again, it's for another achievement. You're going to see buddy the male guy Now we have to basically come back down here um, As often as we can so we can go ahead and read some unopened mail with buddy and I have to do this um, Plus deliver some letters in chapter 3 or chapter 4. Sorry So yeah it's a uh, it's a long old slog, but it's all right. It's all right. Anyway, just go ahead and speak to Sunny here, and basically you can pick any dialogue option. So if any dialogue option ever comes up, literally it doesn't matter. Pick whichever one you want. I really <laughs> what? Just uh, uh Cyrus. So, but it. Ah, uh, Dad is always so. Yes. And it... I'm think. I think. Yep. Here we go. Thank you, Sonny. No worries. Okay, grandos, grandos. Thank you, Sunny Bunny. So head to the right, and you are going to speak now with Buddy, the male dude. Hey there, buddy. Hey, Buddy. How's the male life? Oh, it's good. But she... oh, is everything? Okay? Thank you for us. What have you been up to? Just trying. How about? Nope, I'm all caught up. So. Oh. Ah. Uh, just. But why couldn't you? Uh huh. There's this stating that mail may only be handed over if. And if the. So. <laughs> and therefore. So. Almost. You see, they must also have new additional mail to deliver. Else article. And is there. But. You see, I can. But Appendix 11. 
and so technic. So, while I... Or to... But it makes me... Even reading... Oh, now that I... Which state that such male... Oh. Or... So why don't... And let's... Oh, okay. So, yes, we are going to help with Buddy. Again, this is for a notebook entry as well as an achievement later on. So, go to the right. You will automatically end up inside Buddy. Not not, not inside Buddy. Inside Buddy's little... Ho inside Buddy's little... Yeah, you're basically going to be there with Buddy. So, basically, he's going to pop us out a letter. All you've got to do is just literally nip through the dialogue. And just keep nipping through the dialogue until he says, Well, that's all for today. Get the hell out of here. What have we got here? Darling, when the ship crashed, it seemed like the pressure through to my very... How any of us would find... Then I realized... Maybe it was... I realized... I know you will... And that you want me... And that said happy... Now more... And I give... For it has given rise to... Arna. Forever. Wow. Who? They sure. Do you think they? I hope so. I feel like a. Hmm. Perhaps. So either way. Buddy? Sure did, but whoever wrote. I guess that's. Not. Ah. Uh... Oh. Tell you what, though. Why don't you come back? Okay. Sure. Yeah, all right, mate. I guess we'll be back tomorrow. So, before heading all the way left, head up the stairs in between Sunny and Bunny. But buddy, and knock on the door. Right. You can choose any option you want, um, but this is just for the notebook entry called the mysterious door. So you would have got buddy's mail one out of I forgot to count, um, and <laughs> the notebook entries twenty seven and twenty eight. One for buddy, one for the mysterious door. So once you've done that, then we can head all the way back to the left, and we're going to go back into the uh, go back to central station. And this time we are going to head to the left elevator and go to the lab district. So the la 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 lab district. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit. And we're going to be getting yet another achievement right here. We're going to clean the graffiti, uh, plus get a new notebook entry at the same time. So head to the right, and the graffiti will be in the same place as the first one. So again, right here, interact with it, and just. Go left to right, pressing the A button to scrub it all off, and that will get us the Clean Machine achievement, plus the 29th out of 71 notebook entries called Grafutu. There it is. That's unlocked. That's all good. Like I said, you will get the notebook entry as well. It is now night, night time. So let's head to bed. Down the stairs, head to bed. Oh, in fact, no, we're going to interact. Sorry, we need to interact with. I forgot we had Fishface here. Um, so interact with Fishface first, sorry, before going to bed. I don't think the game lets you go to bed anyway. So you basically have to do this to progress the story anyway. Why does she need to. And why does she make it so hard? I should just take She's so clever. Does she even I know. 
I'll ask her what she... Or I'll ask her what she... Or I'll ask her... Well... Anyway... Too bad you can't... I don't know, Harold, maybe um, the fish alien monster isn't your psychiatrist. <laughs> Just a thought, bruh. Um, but anyway, now we can head to bed and take a little snoopy snoop. What a day. I can't believe this is happening. And to me. Tomorrow, I'll get those antibiotics and I won't let Sonny get to me. Right. Night, night, Harold. Night, Fishy. Okay, good morning everyone. So head back up the steps to the right and again you're gonna go inside and have a little interacting with fish food, uh, fish face, fish paste, whatever it is, the new psychiatrist in Harold's life apparently. You're starting, maybe the solution was wrong or something is in fact, or maybe you need some... <sighs> Trat, I promise, stay calm, you don't have to work, you see fish, you're a good listener. I wonder if you can... Not that you... Or tear... Oh, God, I... Twitch or fun. Okay. Okay, so since those antibiotics are not exactly working, um, we are going to have to go all the way back to the utility room. The utility room. And speak to Sunny. Plus, while we're down there, we will get the second uh, out of Buddy's mail done and dusted out of the way. So again, head left into the elevator, go to Central Station... Go into the right elevator and then click the utility district. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. Thank you for traveling. So we're not going to speak to Sunny just yet. We're going to go all the way to the right, interact with Buddy, and skip, th uh, smash through all of the dialogue in order to get the second bit of mail done for the day. Yes. Not like I've got a lot to do. Let's go in and read some letters. Eh. Shall we check out the next? Ready when you. My little star. I've been. It's. Maybe you'll. Or give. Dearest, I will be back. The supply. I didn't have much going back fast. So you know what? Back soon. Day one. Planet atmosphere. We're able to have brief. First day. Day two. Rocky outcry. It's a great color. Not a lot else to see, to be honest. Looking forward. Day four. You can't really. Missing B already. Lonely here during the long nights. B better not have finished it. Amazing. Yep. It was only a... Trying to find... Yeah. But every now and then... I'd always hope... Oh. Yeah. What? <laughs> Would you... <sighs> Would have been a... Even if... You know... I might ah, yeah. Okay, make sure to hit the top option here when it says, do you have time for another one? Sorry, it was uh, accidentally a little bit quick there because I was just smashing the A button. 
But yes, anytime that Buddy asks or the option comes up, make sure to choose do have time for another one, you know, so we can get this achievement done a little bit quicker. A little bit. Date. Certified by all water. FAO. It has come that there has been, if that has missed, despite you, which you will be claiming that you're such a service is therefore. Secondly, and a review of that. Frankly, we do not see it as likely that, or if and this go. <laughs> Must have been the wrong address. All water. No, sir, either. But I bet you. Oh. I thought. But when I had a real short. Wow. Just goes to. Sh we might not all. Noble Corp, sir. Say. So. Oh, it was her. Her what? Um. No. Anyway. But come back if you. Okay. Okay, so once that's done, miss you already, buddy. Go ahead and speak to Sunny Jim Bob. Um, Sunny, I need some Amanda. Uh, me? Oh, how's the con? Has it undergone? Uh, um, displays of a po not, Sunny. I'm not. I know, but. Hmm. Well, and I hope you not that you should be taking fish medication. I appreciate. So... Oh, this? It's the new novel. It's an allegory. Is it good? You know, it... Oh, Harry... Um... Anyway... Yes, yeah. Thanks, Sonny. Bro, if you could stop trying to poison my fish monster, the psychiatrist is trying to tell me what to do about you. Anyway, uh, right, we'll head to the left then. We are going to bring the antibiotics to Fish Face. Uh, fish bags, uh, whatever you want to call it. Again, we're going to head to Central Station, of course. Um, next thing on our list that we are going to do is get the Bacteria Party Notebook entry, uh, which will be number 30 out of 71. Um, but for now, again, we are going to head to the left, of course, into the next elevator, since, you know, there's not a lot of other places that we can go. And we are simply going to head all the way back to the Energy District. So, heading to the Energy District, we are going to go ahead and speak to Bridge Bridge. The Bridgetness of Bridgetown. Bridgerton. Bridge! All water. We get you where you're going. Taste the disinfectant. Inspecting. So, before we speak to Bridgerton of Bridgetown, head to the right, and Professor Moreau is going to be... Basically doing some stalking is what she is doing. She's got a hook hand ready and waiting for big cereal pants for cereal uh, pants in the right. So head into the right, speak to cereal. Ah, Harold, just the oh, that always so nice because you oh three D. Let's slip by and take a look. Oh, I'd be quite so. I'm away with Mich Oh. Well? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine! Ha! I mean... Ha ha! Well, looks... Thanks, Slip. Ha! Ah, ah, that prank's always funnier when it's not happening to us, huh? Right, speak to Cyril again. Um, or did I do this by accident? Eh... Uh, no, no. Do speak to him again. How's the... Uh, hi. Ah, there's something... And time is running out. If anyone... Thanks, Harold. Oh, well... Hi, Cy. Oh, hey! Bye, Cyrus. Bye now. Yeah, the third time I accidentally spoke to him, so you don't have to speak to him again, but we're gonna head to the right and tips, uh, speak to Slippy G. And only fans again of the English Premier League will know that nickname, Slippy G. Maybe not the new ones, Slippy Steven Gerrard, you know, ironically slipped to uh, cost Liverpool the title. 
<laughs> that was funny because I'm a Manchester United fan, so that was very funny. We haven't had a lot to be happy about lately. Twenty. Once you have spoken to uh, Slippy G himself, sorry, no offense to Liverpool fans. I'm only jealous because your team's actually fantastic and mine stinks at the minute. Um, even though we have won the same number of trophies. Anyway, we are now speaking to Bridget. And now we are going to have to do exactly what we've done earlier with a few extra little bits on top. Again, not complicated at all though, so don't panic. And you know what i just done? I lied to you because we're not actually doing that bit just yet. So again, I'm sorry. Please don't hate me. Please don't cancel me. Love me! So we're going to head to the left. Uh, go back into the All Water Cop escalator. We're going to go to the lab district once more. Travel in style with all water. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason. And then we're going to head all the way to the right into our lab and we're going to go up into the storage room to speak to Fish Psychiatrist Monster Face. Hi, Fishy. I've got some sticky situation here. Let's hope it can't be as <laughs> it and I don't think she's that I've so I guess th I'll check on you soon. Ah, once we have spoken to our little I mean it looks more like Kermit the Frog, really, doesn't it, than Fishy. So we'll do well we'll call it Kermit for the time being until we can get a proper name for it. So now what we're gonna do Again, you would have had to have done that anyway to progress the story. Otherwise, Bridget wouldn't have moved to a chair, so we had to have come back here. Now we're going to head all the way back down to the Energy District, and now we're going to do that little rock uh, mini-game puzzle thing that we've done earlier on. So again, head to the Energy District, go ahead and speak to Bridget It once again. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all-water tube system journey. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Inspecting. Inspecting. Thanks for. Yep. What? It's basically. In the hopes they'll have a pop. Great. Playing music to them. I know, I know. <laughs> yes, well... Oh, before I forget... Got it. Okay, this time then, you've got a couple of new buttons. Uh, again, it's... You've literally just got to do... You know, everything's very easy. So again, it's the same thing. Make sure it's red. Make sure the, you stop it on the red by pressing the A button. And again, when she says now, you'll have to cut it at the very top. So the cut, the top one, when she says now, cut it. And then as you can see, you've got two new options there. One for music and one for sugar. So you'll always have to coat the sample next. And then she will say uh, either sugar it or music it. Um, so it's the sugar one first, and then it'll be the music one for the second sample. Great, now for the next one, this time with music. Okay, great, on to the next step. Now. Great. Time to coat the sample. Now turn the music on. I did the thing. Knew I could count on you, Harold. 
We're all done. For now. Join me back in the control room and let's have a look at the results. Okay. Yes. I mean, per Cyrus's plant-based advice helped its mitosis ratio, but it still helped me narrow down a few variables and factors. Ah, good. Glad I could help. You know, Harry, you've helped me a lot recently. Let me treat you to dinner. Oh, it's okay. I just try to be helpful. No, I insist. How about some nice fusion food at that new place? Well, it would be nice to eat somewhere other than the fish, fish, fish hut for once. Okay, it's settled. I'll meet you there tomorrow evening. I'll ping you in a... Great. So since we did help Bridget with that, we will finally get the next notebook entry called Bacteria Party. That'll be number 30 out of 71. And now we have to go back to sleep. So again, we're going to head to the left. We're going to go to the lab district. And we're going to go all the way right. We're going to speak to uh, Kermit the Frog. Came with the fish face frog one more time and then head back to bedness. You have arrived. Please exit the ship in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Good evening, Fedorans. The all water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. Please attend to the necessary travel arrangements. Get home safe. How are you holding up, champ? Ah, same old, same old, you say? Well, hang in there. Anyway, good night. I'll be back to check on you in the morning. Don't go anywhere before then. Yeah, what I just noticed is uh, Harold always sleeps on his tools. Now, that must be uncomfortable. The fact that he's got the tiniest, crappiest little mattress with no quilt and no pillows or anything like that. And he sleeps on his hammer pressed up against his tush-tush as well. Delicious. Not. Right, so you're going to speak to Kermit the Frog once again to see if there's any change. And then, of course, yes, what we will be doing, we're going to be heading down, speaking to Sunny and doing buddies... Mail call, uh, the third one. So yes, all the way left again, we're going to head to Central Station, go into the right elevator, go down to the Utility District, and then we're going to head all the way left, uh, all the way right, sorry, and then we can speak to Buddy and do his mail call ting again. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. You're here. 
Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Hey, Harold. Letter time again. Come and join me. You know where the door is. Yo, Viv. It's been like a month since we last rode. What's the haps? Maybe you forgot your state of mind now. Sorry, I, but you probably didn't. You see... Don't. You have every right. Just stop thinking. Struggling, lazing, confusing, itching, bumbling, getting, overthinking, and... And you need... Do. Your work... You... Nonsense... More nonsense. Double down on your y do. Just do. If you want, tell me what. You oh, and before I f Rook takes e, doing the your. Oh boy. I suppose so. You got any a friend you can yell? Well. Come on now. I. It takes two to tank. Sure, but can't dance. It's more than. But I still feel like we really know each other somehow. Is that wrong? Ah, way I see it. You can't worry too much about what other people think. You can never know for sure. So, just be the best friend you can. Kinda like Sol said in the letter. Huh, I suppose you're right. Thanks, buddy. What about you? Oh, not... Oh. Oh. I think it's time. Okay, sure. Okay, thanks, buddy. I'm starting to like you. Anyway, once that's done, go ahead and speak to Sunny. And again, as long as you uh, visited Kermit the Frog. First of all, then this uh, cutscene, of course, will happen. Sonny, but it's... Didn't the ant... They didn't see nothing... Hmm, what... Does your pet have... Or... Uh, it's... Harold, I can prescribe... I get it. Okay. I mean... Ah, uh, um... Just take a minute to... Um, let's go with the flocks of... Okay, Harold. Will do. Thanks. Okay, so if you're wondering what's going to happen, of course you guessed it. We're heading back to the lab district now uh, because we need to bring Kermit the Frog the next special medication. So again, back to Central Station, into the left elevator, go to the lab district, all the way to our lab in the right, and then go up and speak to Kermit the Frog to sort it out. Even though we've been... Gradually making it worse and worse, so, uh, yeah. Ah! Everything I touch turns to brown. Poop. Yeah. You get it. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Professor? Ah, Harold, just in time. Hold this, would you? Sure, but... Oh, what is that? It's just a swab. Samples are important. Important to us or them? One and the same. I know you're feeling protective of Fishy here, but the more we know, the better. Hmm. 
So what will that fishy swap tell us? Understanding of their... Tell us how alien love... Oh, okay. I just hope it tells us... Knowledge. Keep an eye... Roger. Hey, fish. Moreau is... And I'll be helping. Hang in there, buddy. Okay. The things I do... Well, do I miss her? No. She taught me a few things. Oh. Do you have someone? I wonder if you... I wonder what it... Harold! Huh? Oh. Pr what are their vitals? Uh, very... What's happened? I just... The antibi... And she asked me a bunch of weird... What did she... It was... I... Did she mention anti -mic Yes. Okay. It was Floxa. Oh, Harold. Okay. Harold, there should be some... Okay. Professor... Harold, you can just whack out... I know. Look. No harm done, it seems. Oh, thank goodness. There's no... So, after almost killing our uh, fish-faced frog friend, uh, we will get a message now from Bridget Vandervaart. Which, I mean, as a Dutch national, and I don't have anything to do with Dutch at all, uh, Vandervaart is what literally one of my favourite Dutch surnames. Plus Van der Sar as well, but that's for, again, a, just a pure footballing reason. Also Van Percy, that's a good one. Um, Ten Hag, eh, not so keen. Um, Xerxes, Xerxes is a good one. Uh, anyway, sorry, we're off to the Agora Arcades because we are going to meet with Bridget for dinner and she is in the colourful soup fish lady bit. So, yep, when we get to the Agora Arcades, we're going to head to the right. Up the steps where War Warren's Slippery Wiener is, whatever it's called, and then head right, and then we're going to speak to Bridget. That will actually get us the next notebook entry as well, um, called Dinner with Bridget for 31. Have you got any more gas? Oh, the filling is made from dark. It's so sweet. Harold, there you are. Look, I got us the best table in the house. Oh, hey, Bridget. Thanks, it looks tasty here. Sit down, sit down, come on. What are you having? I hear the fish is very good. Which fish? Actually, I'm not sure I feel like fish anymore. Oh, you had a bad experience with it? Um, kind of. So, Harry, how's life been treating you? Oh, you know, keeping fishy. What? Uh, you know, keeping busy. Okay, that's good to know. Moreau treating you well? Sure, she's very Moreau. Yes, Thoreau should be her middle name. No, no, I said she's very Moreau, like, she doesn't change much. But that's nice too. Ah yes, I've always admired that about her. Does she have a real middle name? I don't think so. But when I was younger, I thought it was Jeanne and that her first name was Professor. Ha! <laughs> Adorable. Anyway, if you do ever want a change of pace, you can always come and work for me, you know? Like a little sabbatical. Oh, thank you. If I ever get the time, that'd be fun. You like algae, right? Is that on the menu here? Nope. At least, I hope not. You know, actually, I did kind of make a mistake. I'm sure it'll be delicious. I mean, that I did something dumb recently. Silly mistake, but it could have been really serious. We all make them, Harold. I mean, look at Felix. Um... Oh god. No, I, I don't mean he was a mistake. He's just a bit... wayward. But that's probably my... I mean, our fault. I just sometimes wish I could know more about stuff. Ah, uh, knowing stuff is overrated. You think you know something, then it's wrong in another context. Or you realize you were looking at the wrong thing, and before you know it, you're an all-water energy consultant. But... How often do you do things that could be dangerous? I work with energy, so all the time. But there's a difference between knowing loads and being wise. So, being wise is... 
I think it's being kind and knowing what you don't know and seeing deeper than just what something appears to be. Hmm. You know, everyone can make mistakes, but not everyone can learn from them. Thank you, Bridget. Genuinely, the first time that I went through this and saw the little montage, I loved it. It was so cool. And then it did they did get kind of annoying, especially towards the end of the game. Uh, but anyway, apart from that, uh, yeah, so there are quite a few montages uh, left to go. Anyway, uh, as I said, you would have seen you would have got the 31st notebook entry there, Dinner with Bridget. Now we're going to go ahead and get the Rogue Bacteria um, notebook entry. So... Head up once you're awake, head up to the right, and then speak to Professor Hookhand, which is Moreau in French. Probably not. Yes, Harold, these glowing... But they do have that... Please slow down. You will. When you inspect, they seem to... So... More than that, they might... Whoa. So they're... Quite so. Light is an... Watch this. Look. And give off enough rage. Ah. <laughs> and you can, uh. Ah. Okay. Only if someone. Ha! <laughs> yep. So keep this to your. You don't have to ask me. So. And crucially, now we need to know. Okay. See the. Now. Assembled Fedorans, it is my almost incalculable pleasure to introduce these two demonstrations today. Each will explore a different potential relaunch procedure in model form, giving you all a realistic look at the science behind it all. Not that it will affect our decision on which to prioritize in any way, but please do cheer for your favorite. Without further ado, please welcome Cyrus, Soleil, and his representative computer model simulation of the factors involved in a relaunch to the stage. Okay, hi everyone, thanks uh, for coming, I mean, to watch this presentation. Uh, there's a lot of science, so I thought I'd just show you the computer model. <clears throat> so, uh, here it goes. This is not supposed to. Uh, but you see, in a way, this proves the importance of considering every angle 
And with just a few calibrations, I'm sure... That's quite enough, Cyrus. Thank you. Moving swiftly on. Slipmire, will you please present Flo and Go to the audience, please? Absolutely, Madam CEO. Please witness the future of Fedora. A launch plan not just to the stars, but for the superstars you all are. The following presentation is brought to you by the Schlipmeyer Foundation. Putting trust in humanity's dreams for hope. In partnership with All Water Corp, making life flow. And sponsored by Slippy's Winter Sports Goods. Chill times all year round. The Fedora. Our home. Trapped. Together. All of us. Underwater. But no more. It's time we grabbed Destiny with both hands and say, Destiny, meet Project Flow and Go. We begin by rolling up our sleeves for some good old-fashioned hard work. Starting with making the fedora whole again. Once we're back in one piece and good as new, apart from a few seaweed stains and a little rust, we'll utilize the awesome power of Slippy's patented aircon technology to freeze the ocean water around the base of the fedora. Why? Well, did you know ice is 9% denser than water? That's what makes those ice cubes float on the top of your soda. Are you catching on? Here comes the kicker. The giant ice flow attached to the fedora will rise up from the depths and help us go back into the atmosphere. Once we're airborne again, we'll have to say goodbye to our flow, but we'll never forget it and reignite not just our thrusters, but also our hopes and dreams. The stars await. Let Slippies and the Fedora, powered by Slippies Aircon technology, take you there. Well, I think it's fair to say the people have spoken. But I thought you said it wasn't a vote. It's not. I just happen to agree with them. I'm not convinced your uh, model is quite up to the rigorous standards we need. Slipmeyer's model shows a lot of vision and attention to detail. It didn't show any attention to detail that matters, just sparkles and... I think it's best we, um, put a freeze on your project, Cyrus. I'm sure you have much more important things to do for the station. No hard feelings, eh, Cryus? Mmm, no, it's... Wait, what did you call me? We all want what's best for the fedora, eh? Wish me luck! Hmm. Something is a f and you know. Right. And why? And why the t Yes. Uh, wait. And why did they want us to keep going? Now that I... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's look. There's the energy short. We know which... Oh, oh. Maybe... Hmm. Yeah, I... Yes. I, I know. I just... Did you double... Oh, of course. Yes, yes. So you keep... Ah, boy, that's gonna sting. Imagine losing... You want your appreciation of Helmet Head, and you're trying to get the uh, little... Little Ginger Bunny Man. Uh, trying to beat him, and it ain't working. Okay, so head down to the first level this time, and down uh, into the toilet. And you're gonna have a little conversation here with one of the persons from the... Light. Yeah, whatever the hell they called. The light speed bros. Oh, right. What? Uh, yeah. Whoa. Well, it's... But, I mean, I'm one of an important... Wow. I mean, you can't... How did you know? Yeah. You can recommend it by a... Right. What we need is pr We know... Yes. I am not... Actually... The shaft above here leads to the CEO's office. Do we know there's going? I. Uh, we know. But first, our in. You'll need to. Oh. Good. Time. We'll do. A network. And. Oh. Okay. Godspeed, Slippery Fit. Wow. I... Yes. Yes. 
Oh yeah, the light keepers. Sorry, not light speed bros. That was close enough. Uh, anyway, right. So, uh, so having a nice conversation in the toilet. By the way, we haven't had. Yeah, I mean, how many days has Harold? That days and nights has Harold slept as we head back to the right and have another chat with Professor Hookhand and Cyril Killer. Uh, but he hasn't had no toilet breaks and he hasn't showered at all. Dude must be stanking right now. Ah, uh, yes. If you say so. Have you seen it? Of course. What you mean is... Yes. No. Ah. I'm... T anyway. Oh, did I? I'll check in my room. Righto, so the camera is actually in our room. Uh, you probably just noticed, so head down into your room, and it's going to be just to the right, uh, close to the door right there, so make sure to pick it up. Oh, the camera, excellent. <laughs> oh, I should really take a shower, uh, but apparently that thought doesn't occur to him. Even when he's seen big man meat bags, uh, Chris taking a shower earlier, he didn't think, well, I'll take one after. Nope, he's happy stinking and sleeping with hammers close to his tush bags. So head back down and into the toilet to have another conversation there with the light keeper. And then you're going to do a little bit of camera driving, which is pretty cool. Okay, here you go. Let's see. Perfect. Uh... Model cam. Huh? Mobile c Come on, let's get... Okay. Start but Then you'll... Then you'll need to f drive it back out of the... Sh right. You don't want to drive... Uh, you know, someone like you has a Oh, right -o. Okay, you honestly absolutely cannot get lost because all you're doing is driving in a straight line. You're going to have to turn some corners, but um, it, it's all just one linear path. So keep going, get spooked by a mouse, uh, maybe a spider. I think there's a spider in here, but uh, yeah, just keep going forward until the next cutscene. Starts where you cannot skip the dialogue, so yeah, something to look forward to again. Okay, Madam CEO, I'll be going now. Yes, I believe you shall. Godspeed, Slipmire. Godspeed. Yes. Is that Dr. Computer? What? It's me, Castle Chop. The password. Oh, for goodness sake, must I? Okay, fine. It's Kutsu Hung Shiny Prize. I'm just calling to say you may commence stage D as discussed. Do you have everything you need? Very well. Keep me in the loop. Time is of the essence. Yes, yes, okay, okay. Goodbye, Doctor, and don't let me or the fedora down. Righto. 8, R, 3, M, N, 4. Open. Oh, hello, my lovelies. Listen to your beautiful purring. So nearly a perfect harmony, but just missing that one last voice. I'll find you one eventually, wherever you are. Oh, wow. What can you see? I tell you. Slippery fish. Okay, so after another few minutes of Helmet Head's cutscene, we're going to head back upwards and the Slippery Fish, and then we're going to head to the right, back into the lab. Professor, so... Oh, hey, Harold. What's got you more? Wait till you see. Okay. Phase D. This opens now, a hole. If you ask me, I it's was, more of a... Anyway, 
We must continue with How the alternative. It's a long story. I'm sure you were very heroic. We should quite in fact, Cyrus, it's out of sight. Okay. Don't. Anyway, Harold. We'll great. do. Okay. So, apparently, a uh, Cyril killer right here is too weak to carry one little box. So, although I suppose we are the assistant, and that's what assistants are, we are, assistants are basically bitches. Okay? I'm sorry to say it if you are an assistant, but anyone who's an assistant is a little bitch. But still beautiful. So, don't let anybody take that away from you. Anyway, uh, just go down these steps here, follow Cyrus. He's going to go into a little room on the right-hand side, just before the filtration pump and just talk to him give him the box and uh shave his hair while you're there i've got this box oh uh, sure you don't need me to stick my hmm? i was just anyway well this place isn't exactly my usual setup i need to ex then i can run to drat this is the awful door oh no yeah reckon you i've not a mo sure uh, just appeal to their event can do okay so with that one done and we will come back to Cyril killer a little bit later on we're gonna head up and we're gonna go to the agora arcades and finally get the th uh, fourth bit of gossip out of six so again obviously head left when we're up the stairs go into the elevator go to the agora arcades destination determined now relax with all water. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. And yes, when we get here then, make sure to go into the bar, cafe bar, whatever it is. Again, in order to get the next dialogue option, which should be about the relaunch presentation. It certainly is. Pretty shaky scientific principles too, if you ask me. And what do you know about the scientific principles of a relaunch? Not a great deal, Zim. But I know when someone's talking the talk instead of walking the walk, if you catch me drift. That Cyrus chap didn't fare too well though, did he? He walked the walk with no talk, then fell over anyway. That's right, Zim. But I liked him. Ernest. Cyrus, he was called. I know, Zim. I mean, he was sincere, though. I'm more inclined to trust a man like that. Well, doesn't seem like either of our options are much cop, eh? Not much cop at all. Still, be nice if it does happen. Change the scenery and all that. Seems like a lot of effort to swap the endless ocean for the endless ocean of stars to me, Alon. And what if we find a new planet to rest on, Zim? What if we don't, Alon? What if we don't, indeed? Well said, Alon. Well said. And again, head out and head back in just to make sure that it starts again so you know we would have counted. So that'll be four out of six. Then head to the right and slip, uh, speak to the... Oh, in fact, keep going to the right, sorry. And we're going to head in to the arcade again, the arcade place. And of course, we're going to ask Beavis for help. Rafi? What is it now? Cyrus need so I came to ask it's stopping him from access for the research could you be a uh of course oh how so you afraid no any system that stuff is I know but it plus met might even mess with oh well have you tried turning it oh thanks anyway Rafi right well that apparently went as well as could not be at all so, thank you, Beavis. I thought you were cool, but you ain't not, man. Right, so, yep, what we're going to do now is... Well, we're going to speak to water, uh, Warren's slippery water wiener. First of all... Everything there... But it also takes... And now we're going to head to the left. What we're actually going to do now is go and get another notebook entry. So we're going to head to the left. We're going to go to the central station. So nap yourself in. So there we go. We're going to go to central station. Uh, oh, no, we're going to the lab district. Yeah, lab district first. Sorry, got a little bit ahead of myself there. We are going to get the notebook entry in just a minute, but we're going to the lab district first. So apologies. 
Um, if you just went to the central district and you're all like, Ugh, Welshie, you douchebag. I'm very sorry. Please love me. I'm just a goddamn human. So anyway, once you've headed to the right, because we're actually going to tell Cy Cyril Killer. Um, oh, in fact, no, it's the bird. Oh, Jesus, monkeys. I'm getting well ahead of myself right here. So just keep following Coco the bird all the way around until Moreau catches her with her incredible hook contraption, actually. Again, really sorry. Good shot. I'm not just a pretty... Now, do you have any... He could have damaged... <sighs> yeah, I'll deliver her back to her... Okay, just... Captain at large... Hello, a Coke? Yeah. Is she okay? Yep. Moreau had... Ah, uh, coke. Causing your cup. Don't ever... Well... Thank you, Harold. You should see her... And the way... Thanks, Hoya. See you, coke. Ah! Yes, yeah, so my apologies. I actually forgot that once we catch the bird, we automatically come here, which uh, shaves off a couple of seconds, doesn't it? But, yeah, so, uh, again, <laughs> I'm very sorry. Very sorry about uh, uh, leading you down the wrong path if I did. Uh, but anyway, that is the notebook entry for actually catching Coco. And now we don't have another notebook entry for a good while, uh, more towards the end of the chapter. So now we're just going to crack on with the rest of the story. Let's get this one done and out of the way. So what we do have to do, now we have to go and tell Sirius, seriously Sirius, that um, the... Uh, so we'll go to the central station. Uh, but we're going to tell Cyrus that Raffi doesn't want to help. Beavis doesn't want to help because he is Am's douchebag. So again, obviously, left elevator, go to the lab district, and then down the steps. All water. You're welcome. All water compliments you on your choice of destination. Water. We get you where you're going. Hey, Sai. Bad news. Good news. How? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I've. Uh, by testing the velocity of a... Harold? Mm-hmm. Well... That's okay. Good luck with the rest of the... Yes. <laughs> oh, isn't that nice? You got it working as soon as I nipped on. It's the goddamn future, bro. Why is there no messages? God damn it. I hate you, Cyrus. So much. Anyway, what we're going to do now is head back to the Agora Arcades... And we're going to go into the bar, the gossip bar. I might as well just call it the gossip bar from now on. Um, it'll be easier for you to understand, probably. Uh, so head to the Agora Arcades. We're going to head into the gossip bar. There's no extra gossip, but there is Tommy that we need to speak to now. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest... Uh, and all water will make it up to you. Hey there, Tommy. Oh, Harold, you... Thanks, Tommy. A man of fine taste. So, how's... Oh, you know... Definitely just... The... Okay. So, hey, I... Uh, I know... Those darn... Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, you've got good stuff at... But, hey, what do I know? How is the... Sh oh, just f I'd love to skip... Especially... Yeah. Life is... 
You got? It's good to have some. No way do I mind. Thanks, Harold. I'll get back. The filters? What? No. Just making conversation. I haven't heard. Oh, sorry. Okay, good. Well, here's to the filters. Long may. Cheers. Cheers. So come on. Well, sure. Come on, come. I don't care. The rules change. I swear. And it's. I just. Tommy? Okay, thanks for sharing. So after another obviously comfortable looking um, comfortable looking sleep, we're going to head up. We are going to once again speak to um, Kermit the Frogfish Face. What's up, fishy? <gasps> it's okay. God, of course. A pineapple. Uh, no. <laughs> Don't, just wait. Come on, Harold. Think. Ah, just Burroughs. Harold. Oh wait. What? Yes. They seem to have. Harold. Ski. Professor, I've. Harold. Maybe it's some. No. I mean. Hmm. I'll fetch some recording. We're going to need. What? You cl Okay. Life signs are stable. Go on! So we are actually coming up to the end of the chapter. We've got about 10 minutes of this uh, second chapter remaining out of six. So what we're going to do then, um, Kermit has awoken, slightly, sort of. So what we need to do is find Chris, who, remember, is in the social district. So heading all the way to the left. And you're going to go all the way down to the social district. And then Chris is going to be in his classroom. So if you head slightly right, you should see a class full of kids. And Chris, you're going to speak to him. And then, again, a whole bunch of dialogue is going to happen. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to wait for an easy-peasy book. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Oh, hey. Chris. Uh, and you do. I just need a uh, a kit. Well. Uh, yeah. Please, Chris. Hmm. I'll bring you one later tonight. Ah, uh, no. Harold, uh, uh, you see. Okay, I'll get you. Yes, sure. Okay, okay. Okay, Harold, must do don't let them bully. Uh, Chris, what? Uh, wait. Ciao. Okay. Are you a teacher? Where is Miss? Uh, no. Uh, I have a question. I'm probably. Where did babies come? From? Uh, and I'm. Then who? Are... What? They become. So, I think. It yeah. When will... Felix. Enjoy your youth. Why aren't you... Um... Why does flammable and inflammable mean the same... If... Is today's lesson going... Everyone... Okay. There you go. Thank you. Hope they didn't give you... No? Great! Ciao, 
Now, obviously, you probably realised that none of the dialogue options mattered, which is why I didn't say anything. Um, but, yep, yeah, now we're just going to head all the way back up to the lab district. Go all the way to the right, where, obviously, we're going to find our lab. And we're going to read to Kermit the Frog, trying to teach him some English language. Um, so, once we have that, I believe there is a whole lot of dialogue, plus another minute or two montage to enjoy. We hope you travel with us again soon. Hello? Ah, they've gone back to sleep. Okay. Just show them the book. Show them you're friendly. Fishy? Wake up. I'm back. Wake up. Wake up. Professor. No need. The translation. Oh. Will they understand? Oh. I can understand. <gasps> I can. No. Good God. What are you? Oh, you're on board. Oh, sorry. Well, I see you're. G I've got something. I'll leave you. I have. Now, what you think is just innocent. Oh, my God, it's a, it's a frog alien that's going on. <laughs> uh, Harold's relationship with this frog fish, uh, Kermit. I know they call it Wii U. I'm going to call it Kermit. Uh, but it does get a little a little strange. Very um, South Park teacher, uh, the kindergarten teacher on Ike behavior. But it's a man with a fish frog. So, yeah. Hey, the only crime is she isn't doing it with me. Yeah. Nice. 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 Although, if you want to do it with a fish frog creature, then that's up to you. But, uh, anyway, whatever you do, nice. I mean, no great...
tea. Thank you. Yes, that he's stressed enough. Yeah, like... Well, we... only the... Then there's the light. Who knows? And that... I guess... What's the latest with our... My ma... Cyrus? It's just whether he'll... How do you... Oh. And how about... I'm just really... Yes. Oh, uh... It's something... Oh, okay. No. Oh, great. Oh. Were you? Oh. Oh. Well. Me? Yes. Of course, I want... But... And me. Don't worry. I'll be in cl... Oh, sh You're just taking re... You trust him. Oh, what are flumilim? Oh. That's a... It means... Like... Oh, so... Cool. <laughs> huh. I suppose... So... Not like... Don't worry about. Okay. Great. Then it's set. Will you? I can't... Yeah. Ah. To be fair, no matter what race you are, no matter what kind of creature you are, you cannot beat a good cup of brew. You just can't beat a cup of tea. Again, as I said earlier, as long as it's done correctly. Um, doesn't matter the order. Milk in first or tea bag in first. Doesn't matter the order. Um, but again, just never in the microwave. Don't do it. It's poison to the British people. Uh, right, anyway, so effectively, this is now the end of the chapter. You're going to, uh, this is probably where the um, weird, fantasy, uh, weird fantasies for Harold begin. He's checking out that Kermit fish frog butt. Um, but yeah, we're going to get, so not only is the chapter going to end, we're going to do a little bit of submarining, and that is where we're going to get the next notebook entry um, called Submarine. So that should be number 34 out of 71. Oh. I'd like to introduce you. Used to be a space. And now? It's a maid? Now. Oh. Well? So you do Oh, neat. I call it also. Where does this? In your ear. Plus. Very cool. It should do. I develop. Glad to. It'll meet. And Harold? Yes, Professor? Do. Unlike. I won't. That should be everything. I'll be on the radio. We you. Thanks, Professor. Good luck, you two. We will. I think this panel shows... What happens if I push this? Whoa! Too fast! This is fun! Come on, come on, come on, come on, stop swerving. Moreau will kill me if I dent her hobby project. Seems like you're making it swim calmly now. Yeah. Whew. Getting so less light. Less light means bad distance. 
Right, so you are in control of the submarine, but, you know, there's nothing coming. You don't have to do anything. You can just sort of swim up and down or whatever if you want. Uh, but again, this takes another uh, few minutes of just dialogue until we get to uh, Kermit's home. Mm, wasn't easy. Dark and chilly. Don't like either. But once I had started, just wanted to see what there was. Had to keep going. Next thing I knew, very light. Less chilly. Lots of owl. Then you, shouting at me. When you tell it like that, it doesn't sound like a great experience. Worth it. Well, I'm glad it was worth it, and that you kept going. On that note, how are we going to get to your place? No worry, I can see. What, in the dark? No, it's more like the right direction glows for me. Oh, everything on the fedora is signposted, so we don't even have to think about how to get somewhere. Glowing directions sound much more fun. So, you can direct me there? Yep. I can see the way clearly. And I'd better turn on the proximity sensors in the dark. I really don't want a lecture from Moreau. Okay, Wii U, you're the boss. Take us away. We're almost there now. Be careful. The entrance tunnel is very narrow. Okay, I think I see it. It's going to be a tight squeeze. We're here? We're really... Now we... Oh. Very short. Right, so it has to be said, this is where I left my control running. Control banded up and wired for, I think it was about six or seven hours while I went to pick up my uh, daughter and my son from school. And then by the time that we had a bit of fun and then I put him to bed, I came back around six hours later or so. And nothing had turned off. Um, nothing had gone off or anything like that. But this is uh, the first point where I really put a dent into the slow bro achievement. Remember... We do have to um, play the game for more than 15 hours. So, as I said, completely up to you um, where you do it, whenever you do it. But if you can, if you go to work for the day, again, make sure that your control is wired up and that it's uh, banded so you're constantly moving the character. Or if you've gone to bed and, again, just do the same thing. So if you're at work or you're in bed or you're just, you've gone off and you're watching TV or something, uh, make sure to be doing this to put some... Uh, some significant inroads into it. But again, this I felt was a good place because um, uh, Harold wouldn't actually walk anywhere. He would walk literally into the uh, right-hand side of the cave and that's where he continued to walk for six hours. Poor dude, it must have been absolutely shattered. Uh, but again, for me anyway, this is where I got uh, one of the first bits for it done. Again, it's completely up to you, whatever you do. Uh, so... Uh, once we do begin properly anyway, we're going to head all the way to the right. Uh, I was just showing you um, all of the notebooks. That you should have the same notebooks as well if you wanted to uh, follow along. And make sure that you've got the same ones as me. Uh, but otherwise, all we're doing for the time being. This is definitely one of the slowest. It's a short chapter, but it is a slow one. Because we can't run in this cave. And all we're doing is basically doing a lot of following and a lot of talking. But we are going to be getting a lot of notebook entries, too. It's so cool to finally be here. I still can't quite believe it. It's exciting not knowing what I'm going to see next. It could be anything. And I'll be the first human to see whatever it is, and what... Are you okay, Howell? This... is your home? 
well, not my, our, our place. Come on, we're not there yet. More to see. So, this is the cave. It's... Whoa. Magical. So much space. Wee, what is everything? Where do you get food? What are your jobs? How does everything work? You'll see. One thing at a time. Sounds cold. I thought it. Tell them I. Sit cozy. I wonder if it's polite. Maybe I should introduce myself. So, uh. Again, dialogue options don't matter. Um, so I'm just. So we can literally just go through each and every single dialogue option. So, you... Gosh. I was stuck and... Ooh. Do you know... Good. I mean... Same wavelength, you know? How are you fine? I think warm, but... Good, good. What's the latest? Not to talk. <laughs> so, what? Uh, well, if and like, never say more than you need to. Right, okay, so we're going to walk around and we're going to get a few notebook entries. Now, the 35th one, Cave, uh, you should have got. Uh, that was an sto automatic story-related one when we entered the cave for the first time at around 3 min uh, three hours 32 minutes. Uh, so you would have got that one. The next one, which we're going to grab, is called Dillichick. Or Gigadick for short. <laughs> Um, now, you can have a little play around with um, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Nah, who's the alien dude from Star Wars? Please don't shoot me, but I never actually watched Star Wars or Star Trek. I've never watched any of the stars. Uh, anyway, once you've got out of here, head to the left. And we're going to speak to this first guy on this stall right here, who is called Didachik. And this is notebook entry number 36. Uh, oh, hello. What's this play? <laughs> Oh. What's it? Oh, right. I'll just be quick. Oh. Is he? This booth is but I think. Oh, yeah, and... Uh, oh, wow, look at this weird, strange alien cave. Sorry, it's probably because I've, I played it, so I'm not as surprised. Anyway, we're going to head down towards the screen, head down the steps. Uh, take a left... And basically continue heading down the screen until it turns. There we go. And we're going to take a right up this next set of steps. Then the left. Well, sort of left up. And we're going to speak to this guy, which is the bubble guy, for another notebook entry. Uh, this should be 37 out of 71. Okay, since nobody has a clue what we're doing, we're going to head down the steps to the left. 
And you see this big pyramid thing, which is basically right in front of us. That's where we're going to be heading to next. So speak with the uh, fish frog, fish face, whatever it is. Hi. Well, they're, they're actually called flummelums. Uh, so we'll call them flummies for short. I wonder what glue boy is. I don't know. Oh. So once you've spoken to that flummy, little flum balls, uh, there's the notebook entry. So what we're going to do is head out of here, go sort of up uh, more towards the screen, and you're going to interact with whatever the hell these flum balls are doing. Uh, this is going to be the next notebook entry called Don't Touch. <laughs> Right, so we're going to head down the steps. We're going to be sidetracked uh, by some kids. And then basically we've just got to do some, like, again, very, very light and very, very easy sort of puzzle elements. So just follow the kids for now. Uh, probably not the best when you're a human following two kids about. Some of the flumballs are looking at you very suspicious right now, Harold. Especially since they can smell you from about 16 miles away. You ain't had a shower, man. Right, so go ahead, stand on the light closest to um, uh, Harold there on the left, first of all. Like... And next, you've got to follow the light around. Again, it really doesn't matter. You don't have to do this literally perfectly because I accidentally stood still for a little bit here because I didn't know what was going on until I was like, oh, crap, the lights are moving. Run! And then again, you'll just have to press the A button in order to shine a beam of light or something in just a bit as well. I just... Oh. Is it what? I'm... <laughs> what? Well, but I think everyone is. Hang on. Of course. Is it like when. Yes. They would have kept on doing the tick tick. Uh, I think I. Were you? Did you tell. Come on. Come on. Anyway, once that is done with, that will get you the ritual notebook entry, which would be number 40 out of 71. So follow Kermit up. And you're going to speak to Bubble Guy this time properly. Oh, uh, sorry, Didachick, sorry. And Didachick's going to sort us out. 
Thanks, Wii U. This one looks... Um... Oh, man. Right. Great. And again, just simply follow Kermit. It's a lovely looking cave. Very um, reminds me very much of the SpongeBob episode, episode where Plankton discovers the Chum Caverns, and uh, you know Krabs tries to steal the business, and uh, he has plenty of SpongeBob classic episodes. So. Wow. Yeah. Oh, but. What is weird? Oh, uh, never mind. So. And I. But you don't know what the. It's not this time, it's not. I don't get the purpose. You can see. So. Right. And. Oh my god, Broski is so calm about stuff. You've literally just discovered a race of fish frog monsters. Not monsters, fish frog uh, aliens, if you want to call them that. And he's just so like, oh, what is this? Who is that? How does this work? I'd be, li I'd be literally crapping my pants. Literally. Uh, anyway, keep following uh, Kermit, your new friend Kermit, whom you will have a weird obsessive relationship with very soon as we speak to uh, this guy. Right. Oh, I will. The food. Wow. Oh, I am not act. <laughs> Let's see. This looks. Yes. Uh, what? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It. Malgo. Was that a yawn? Oh. Mm, well. Reminds you. A bit like now. I see what you mean. I see something. But. This is what. It's so crazy. Amazing. It's pretty cool that we can. Oh, and you under. Humans are so we like the all water and so well it's just but you can trade um um and there we go after a nice delicious meal of you don't know what the hell that was uh we will get the next notebook entry there lunch break at the pond which should be number 41 out of 71 so again, continue on following Kermit. That's basically what this whole chapter is, by the way. It's very short. It's only about a half hour long, and you're just literally following Kermit a lot of the time. Please. What? Not. We. I'm good. Okay. That's the best. Wow. Yes. Okay. So, what are they? They're building some? Oh. Oh, okay. The, the song? So, they don't practice? Is it a gym? Yes. Yeah. Right. Well, I wish we. Harold. Oh. What? I'm fine. Just had some lunch. Harold. Uh, may I remind? Ah. Uh, speak to you. Good luck, Harold. Over and out. We you. That was. Ah. Uh. Yeah, all right, bossy ass. Chill your hook out, son. Chill your hook out. All right, so again, then, you are just going to follow um, 
I was going to call her Wii U, which is her name in the game. But you're going to follow Kermit again. Kermit the Ladyfrog. Um, and again, what we're going to do now is find a crack that we're going to uh, stick our head into. Luckily, there's a bunch of flowers, so the crack doesn't stink as much. Um, <laughs> so childish. Anyway, this is the crack. It's a bit of a big crack. No sack. Wide crack. Just so I don't care of the okay, Professor. So that's the next notebook entry, then the crack that's uh, number notebook entry 42 out of 71. And then next, what we're going to do is head back on ourselves and we're going to go back towards the pyramid. So again, you're following Kermit the Wii U frog, anyway. <laughs> Uh, but we are going to head now to the pyramid once again. Again, librarian. I was wondering, do you have any jellies on the crack with oh. Ah, great. So it not Okay. Yeah. It didn't like we you can I'd love to, but I think we. So. How? If it's hard. What? But you. Oh. Half the time. Can I? Sure thing. Let's give this a shot. Okay, so at this point then, it doesn't matter which ones you read. There's like five, I think, uh, five things to read from. Um, but the same five pictures, wherever you look at it, the same five pictures will always appear. And it'll always be on the, I, th I think it's the fifth one, the fourth or fifth one. And as soon as Harold says, yep, this is the one, that means you know you've done good. So literally just keep going up the wall, interacting with any uh, point markers until Harold says, yep, this is the one.
That was wild. This one, definitely. Professor. Harold! No, no, Professor. The... Well... Harold! But please... I'm not... Uh, the... Just... And you... We'll do... Pro what it's guess... That sounds... But... Uh, the... The what? Okay, I mean... Well... And there we go. Finally, then, that will be the reading notebook entry, 43 out of 71. Okay, again, just continue to head um, head up with Fro uh, Kermit the Frog. And we're actually going to go up to Kermit's house now. Oh, bruh, I know people like open plan living rooms and stuff, but, you know, this is a little bit too much open plan, is it? Where are you supposed to, you know, just have a little bit of private time? Without Chunky Throat right there watching over your every move. I think... <laughs> Thanks. Nice place. Thanks. Take a look around. Is this? Yep. Like that. Why would they say that? But... No one else ever... Of course. I don't even want to think. Mind you. And... It's... It's a... Must make... You should... Wait there. Is that a... It's... Mm. Yeah, it's a sn Human feet. Oh! <laughs> I don't mean it. Did you show it to... Mm. But... Sometimes... They just... I mean... Hmm... Mm. I guess I have... But I guess I... It's calm... Mm. I think... Yeah... I don't think about it. You just have to think. What does what matter? No matter. Calm is not... But when you... Oh. Huh. 
I can't say I've ever had. <sighs> this. Yeah. Night, Wii U. Wakey, wake. Mm. Well. How long have you... Oh, and there we go. Why not take a little nap as well? I know we got a job to do, but hey, let's take a nap with no pillow. I mean, we used to sleeping on whatever the hell that bed is. You know, a lab, so that carpet was actually... That little rug was probably a little even, comf even more comfier. Anyway, you will get the sneaker. Again, that's a story-related one anyway, but that's notebook entry 44 out of 71. So again, just follow Kermit all the way back through the cave, back to the old submarinas. It's going to be strange getting back. Yeah. Huh. Huh. The others. Yeah. Professor. Yes, Harold. It's more. The jelly. And then there was. They had this great way of... Please, my... I know, but they were... Harold! Interesting. Interesting in... What? That, Harold. Oh. Yes, <clears throat> indeed. I understand. Good work. Hello, yes. Put everything in motion. Don't spare the whip. What? 
No, of course I don't mean... Now get... Okay, wow, here we are. It's been a wild couple of weeks. And we you, it's- Hello. Oi. John? Hmm? Oh, if you- So we you, I'm Bridget. Okay. Right, well, I think it's because I- Great. Uh, I can see- So is everyone is it? Sure. Uh, oh, you're- What can you tell us about it, though? It very could you be you know this it's like a Harold you well <coughs> right we know the particles are sort <coughs> yes we you if we can learn with I hope you have more indeed in the meantime while I continue res and oh you're both we just haven't quite <coughs> that's okay oh no. just keep your we'll let you if you're really a... Okay. We you? Sorry. Huh? Uh, oh. Yeah. But you're right. Yes. Okay. Exciting times. Just one second, Harold. What's up? No easy way to say this. Buddy has moved on. You mean? No. He died, Harold. Oh. I know you two. He was a ray of light, always running through the dark halls of Fedora. There'll be a funeral and a memorial run in his honor back on the ship soon. I'll be there. Oh, buddy. Was it? Yes. Peaceful. Professor? Yes, Harold? Nothing. Well, we just had a whole lot to take in there, didn't we? So, buddy has unfortunately passed. The old dude has he is deceased. We're going to have to go to his funeral, old chip buddy. Um, and yeah, obviously, our ship found this place and it looked like it was going to be an avatar, you know, an avatar takeover where the humans would rush the aliens and try and kill them all. But no, everyone's peaceful. Everyone's good. And that's the kind of game we like, isn't it? A nice bit of peace and serenity. But um, yes, we are going to have to attend buddy's funeral. Now, obviously, the Flumulum Cave is now open to everyone, including us. So, we are, this is, will always be here now, permanently. So, we're going to head up the steps. And that uh, big chunky thing right in front of us is the new elevator. So, once we go in here, we will end up back into Central Station. Um, so, obviously, when, when we back uh, go back into Central Station, what you're going to see is the... Elevator for the flum -lum 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 cave, which will be on the very left. Next to the one where we can go to the Agora Arcade and the lab district and everything. But again, this is an unskippable dialogue. Uh, a good couple of minutes funeral to look after. Very sad, very sad. Le cry. There's Eric Ten Hag playing with his toy, uh, toy piano. Just while he tries to figure out uh, who to sign and whose career to wreck at Man United, while Hunky Man Meat gives the eulogy. You would always give me a run for my money. 
on our jogs and often afterwards, over a refreshing fish soup and cold beer, I came to realize something. Buddy was like the lifeblood of this station, surging up and down its corridors, delivering information, keeping everyone connected. It's gonna be a colder place without him. Buddy left me instructions that I shouldn't ramble on at his funeral. <laughs> but instead, I should play a video that he'd prepared for the occasion. Is it running? Yep, you're good to go. Hi, everyone. If you're watching this, uh, it means I'm not around to deliver your mail and whip you all into shape in person anymore. I didn't want to trouble anyone with writing a long eulogy, so I recorded my own. My life wasn't much to write home or to anywhere about. I grew up while we were still floating around in space. Life wasn't much different, really. If anything, there's more to see out of the windows now. After we crashed, I think people felt sad that we weren't going to see new worlds. But as I got older, I realized that each person aboard the ship was a world of their own. So I became a postman, and it meant I got to visit lots of new worlds every day. Of course, back then we didn't have the tube system, so I had to be a bit more creative with how I got around the ship, especially the broken bits. It made me realize the importance of staying in shape and being flexible. Where the body goes, the mind follows after all. And so I wanted to leave this little collection of personal fitness and mind healthiness tips so that even when I'm gone, I keep delivering smiles to you all. Oh, one last thing. I've arranged for my ashes to be delivered to the seas of this planet that has become our home. That way, some little parts of me will always be moving. <sighs> Was that okay? Yep. <laughs> Just fine. Okay, now, let's get moving. Take a deep breath. It's time to shake off those cobwebs. Oh, Jesus, man. Buddy, I'm sad. I'm very sad you've uh, died. But do you think it was this strenuous dance that, that uh, killed you off, bud? Yeah. It's, it's, it, it's screaming very 1980s Mr. Motivator as, as a white old guy instead. Uh, yeah. Hey, everyone loved Mr. Motivate. You know, you put it in the VHS. Now, uh, sorry, just quick explanation. A VHS is a video, so it's kind of like, kind of like you watching Netflix, but it was in a in the shape of a rectangle. It's very primitive, very rare, uh, but yes, and a lot of uh, a lot of women used to enjoy that. My mother included. She used to love chucking on a bit of Mr. Motivator and doing all that. It was the same kind of 1980s dance as well. But he did look about 150,000 years old, mine. So he possibly was from the 1980s. Anyway, there we go. He is now floating in the sea in a in an Amazon box. <laughs> so that's a yeah, it's a pretty crappy, a pretty crappy way to go right there. And uh, yeah, so that's the end of Buddy's funeral. So we can get the hell out of here, and we are going to nip to bed. So we're gonna have to take the elevator. Everyone's left us for some reason. Thank you very much for that. So up to the lab district and all the way to our lab and into bed. Oh, wait, why could he have so many l Oh, I'll try, I think you-
<laughs> I haven't even told you the best part, have I? Soon enough, we're going to have to deliver all of these letters. Not yet, so we can run past them now, but soon enough, we have to deliver all the le undelivered letters to different people on the ship. But for some reason, even though Harold can carry a load of things and he can still wear the same dirty clothes every day, he can only carry one letter at a time. So, yeah, the next hour or the next sort of half hour or so is going to be very tediously back and forth. So, have a little chat with Captain Hook right here. Let me show. Fascinating. Assuming I'll try it. Is there? No. Awesome. Good idea. And then what we're going to do now is go and speak to Cyril Killer. Or Cyrius, whatever you want to call him. Cyril. It is Cyrius, isn't it? No, I've, I've actually forgotten his name now. Uh, so, we're going to head down into his little room close to the filtration pump. Oh, we'll try that one again. Um, and speaking to Cyrus is going to get us a new notebook entry. So this will be number 45 now out of 71. Oh yeah, and of course we're on to chapter 4 now as well. Oh, no work. Yes, can't, can't make a mistake. Well, there's still... Is there anything else? You could give me a... Sign? And you won't be able to work? Yes. Just... Good luck, sir. Okay, so once that is done, what we're going to do now is actually, uh, we're going to head up to the left and we're going to get another achievement, uh, sort of miscellaneous achievements as it were. Uh, this one's called the Exchanger Arranger. Now we have to speak to seven people about the exchange, which is going to go down and we can only do this in this subchapter. So head to Central Station and then when we get down to Central Station, what you're going to see is two flumballs right in front of you looking at the information board. And uh, so what you'll get is the first of the seven for the exchanger achievement and the next notebook entry, 46 out of 71, called Tubulum. Tubulum. Tubulum lum lum. Operation for choosing to travel with us today. Hello there. <laughs> they go. Did you have. <laughs> ah, well. <laughs> Oh, that's lots to do. Is it, do we need which tick? Oh, so we have so. Oh, yeah. I okay. All right, so that one's done. That's all good. We can head back into the lift. We're going to go down to the uh, social district. We're now going to speak to Chris, and we're going to speak to him specifically again just for the Exchanger Arrangement Achievement, which should then be 2 out of 7. So if you go all the way to the right, that's where you'll find him. Hunky bit of man meat, doing some press-ups with a flimmerloom. Workout buddies. Oh, the how many can you do? Oh, oh. I'm not sure. I never counted. Oh my. Uh, how long have you been training for? Not sure. I just do this to relax sometimes. Okay, okay, fine. Are you on some kind of special diet? Just eat whatever. Oh, are you asking why I can do these exercises? Yeah, but I'm just curious, that's all. I could probably do those too. The key is to do them whenever you need to relax. No, oh, brother. How are you feeling? Oh, I so many. Lots of. And no, jeez. It's. Okay, next up then, we are going to be getting the Busybody Achievement Gossip. Uh, gossip in the Gossip Bar, 5 out of 6. Plus, while we're there, we'll get the third Exchanger Arranger Achievement. So, of course, we're going to head to the left, and then we're going to head all the way up to the Agora Arcades again, and go into the Gossip Bar. And again, we go, we're going to make sure to listen to the Gossip first, before speaking to the uh, Fribblum. Thank you for traveling with all water. Uh, 
Jay Zim. Did you hear about those new cupcakes? Oh, those new Sunny's cupcakes? Yeah, Sunny's. Yeah. She looked more like gloomy to me. On account of cupcakes not selling. They're not selling, are they not? Apparently not. On account of them being horrible. Yeah, apparently. I've heard people say nothing should have that many flavors at once. Ah, <sighs> poor Sunny. Poor people who ate her cupcakes. Never understood cupcakes, me. If I want a cake, I want it on a plate, nor in a cup. Yeah. Yeah, right. Cups are for drinks, like beer. Cup beer. Now you're talking, Alon. Or beer that's thick as cake. Beer cake. Oh, now you're talking, Alon. That's what I'm talking about, Zim. Get you a cup beer, Alon. Yeah, go on then. Ah, poor Sunny, but she's one of those that, like, you know. She doesn't want to go to a doctor, she'll just heal you with, like, leaves. Oh, have some leaves on your cupcake. That'd be grand. Uh, so again, make sure that that bit of gossip is done. Once it is done, go ahead first and speak to Sunny. She's actually going to give us one of her cupcakes. Again, we're doing this because we are going to get rid of Warren in just a bit, finally. So that's why we're speaking to Sunny first. So, I'm sure it's just a... Oh, there's certain... I tell it's he's got the no I just feel like and I bet the flu me lame would l that's a good idea me no but if a oh oh come on Harry it'll be good for me well ah, here well, thanks Eh, top job for doing it yourself, you god damn it. Alright, so now we'll go back into the bar. Again, make sure you've already listened to all of the gossip, and then we can speak to the flumby lumby balls right here. Again, this is for the third out of seven exchanger arranger. I mean, it. Uh, it will make you a nice drink. You might like. Just tell Robot you. Thank you. Oh yes, and of course, uh, so with that one done, uh, speaking of Sunny's cupcakes, or speaking of Sunny, would have got you the notebook entry there. 47 out of 71 for Sunny's cupcakes. Next, we're going to go ahead and speak to Derek's, Warwick's, Warren's, Watery Wieners. Welcome to... What will we... Hmm. Well, I'm... Oh, they both... I bet the Flumalim loved... <laughs> yeah. I'll take a seat. <laughs> so... Is I'm certainly glad to hear it. You know. Oh, really? Sure, it will be. I almost feel. No, that's not. Yeah, I'm. If I could. You should learn. Here. Thanks. <sighs> I made a quick visit. Okay. Oh, could. Hang on. No, actually. Do you and. I bet they are. I could even invent new. You've given... Really? Yes. Maybe I'll finally be... You... Guess I'll see you. Thank you. So we've given him the ideas about going into the uh, Chavin... Uh, the Chavin... The Chum Caverns. Very much Plankton-esque. So go ahead, speak to Sunny again. She's going to be delighted because we've done a job for her. Um, and that will actually unlock us the insider trading achievement. Uh, nah, you're good, bro. I don't want to eat leafy cupcakes anymore. You can shove it. But I appreciate it, my bushy-eyebrowed friend. Okay, so nice rare achievement unlocked for us there. So what we're going to do now is head all the way to the right. We're going to go into Tommy's store for the first time, into the general store, which is just next to the arcade. And again, there's going to be a whole lot of uh, unskippable dialogue here before we can speak to Tommy. Gentlemen's grooming essentials. Inspired by my grandpappy, who was always so well turned out. What's this? Ah, this is stationery. Finest materials from the artisans district. What is stationery for? Well, you can use it to write stuff down, like a letter to a friend, or notes, or a story to yourself. Like, I use mine as a decision diary, journaling why I do the stuff I do, what I was feeling at the time. You know, it makes for interesting reading when you look back at it. What's this? 
Ah, now this is what I call the Filter Fascinator. It's an unusual piece of calcified ocean debris, but it's nice and shiny, right? I figure it would look great as an accessory. What are this? Oof. The Tommy. Yes. The Flumalim. For sure. And who knows? Are they buying? Some of them have. And it's rarely things. That's fun, but mostly just. I think all. Sometimes so we, we ain't leaving. You're gonna have to. Although to be fair, well, if you worked in sales and customer service, everyone's had a customer like the Flumalum. What's this? What's that? <laughs> Shut up, please! I beg of you. Anyway, speaking of Tommy, would got us the. Uh, fourth out of seven for the exchange at Arranger. So then we're going to head up the steps. We're going to take a right and speak to another couple of flumalums. Um, right here, drinking coffee, which I applaud you not to do. This coffee sucks. But anyway, speaking to these two flumbags right here, we'll get us the exchange at Arranger number five out of seven and a notebook entry 48 out of 71 called Coffee. I wonder if we're doing much again. Hi there. Are you on your? I'm on my. I'm on. Uh, you might feel a, and you, but you should try. Okay. Well, I suppose we. Is it supposed to make you? Right, so, next up, we'll head down the steps, we'll take a left, um, we will see Warren's watery wiener in the cave eventually, but uh, we're going to head left back to the elevator, and this time, we are going to head into the Flumlum Cave. So, head to Central Station. All water, moving people every day. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. And then head all the way to the left, as you can see, the new Flumalum elevator has been opened, of course, as we know. So now we'll head down to the cave. And then when we get to the cave, we are going to speak to um, secretary number, whichever one it is, right outside the AW tourism booth. So, as we head down the elevator steps, there he is, there he is, look, so immediately on your left, there's secretary number whatever the hell he is. This is going to get us the 6th out of 7th for Exchanger Arranger, and the 49th notebook entry called AW Tourism Booth. If you buy, and at no extra, oh, ah, but, which we can use. Don't you? Um. Well. I'll take it. He's a jobs worth. Mr. Grinch. <laughs> he really is insufferable. <laughs> anyway, once you've done that, head down the stairs. You can speak to Warren's watery wiener once more. If you so wish. Again, like I said, because we still need to get, get the brothers all back together... Every opportunity, we are going to uh, speak to Warren and speak to the brothers where we can. Um, even if it looks like it serves no purpose, it does. So continue on sort of down towards the screen and you're going to see the Major stick up your butt. We haven't seen Major stick up your butt for a while, have we? Uh, but he is here and speaking to Major stick up your butt and Frank will get us not only the Exchanger Arranger achievement for speaking of the 7th out of 7th, but also the notebook entry number 50 out of 71 for called Major and Frank. I can... Isn't he? Yes. I'm sure he's glad to be... Halibut. Major. I can see... Well... Maybe you're not... <laughs> I mean... Very... Well... 
Right, so once that achievement unlocks, which it should right now, there it is. Okay. So I'm not going to lie to you. This next, I mean, how long have we got? It's... It's over about... It's it's about 35 minutes of doing this next. So we're going to head... So what we're going to do, we're going to head all the way back to the lab district. So, again, hopefully you know sort of where to go in terms of the elevators by now. Obviously, we need to go back to Central Station. We're going to go into the elevator, which is to the right. Go to the lab district. Go to our room and pick up a letter. Because we've got to now deliver the letters. Which, remember, we can only deliver one letter at a time. For some reason, we can't just pick it up and then go to the places. There's a couple of points. Genuinely and honestly, there's a couple of points that sort of just, it, it just feels too dragged out. Do you know what I mean? It just feels like... Like, things like this took the piss a bit. They could have literally just gone, Oh, I've pocketed everyone. On the on your to-do list, deliver the letters to Moreau, Zoya, Bridget, and the kids, blah, blah, blah. But no, we have to keep going back and forth, back and forth. And a lot of people, I think, do have the same complaints where it was way too dragged out. Uh, but anyway, that's what we got to do for the next 35 minutes or so. No point complaining. We just got to do it. Come on! You got it! Let's do it! So, yep, as I said, we're going to head to our room. We're going to pick up the first letter, which is going to be to Captain Hookhand here anyway. So at least we don't have far to go for the first one. Okay. Time to see what all this is about. Oh. Hey, Harold. If you're... The... I wonder... Of course, you may... As you can see... And don't worry, according, in the event that they may designate, I hear, by the way, I took, hope you in, now get those knees up, your distance. Right, let's see. Professor, I've got a bit of mail for you. Oh. This one is kind of... And how do you... I'm delivered. It's from Cyrus. What? To whom? That's you, Mar. I'm writing to... For the Archive. Implementing a new one. While we adapt to... The Furthermore... In a... And to suddenly... I... I look for... Orderly. Oi. And he must... Surely he doesn't still... Well, can you believe how... Oi. Oh. Huh. I mean... To accept... Huh. That protocol was inefficient. See you in a bit. Right, so once that one is done, Captain Hookhand is happy, or not, uh, whichever, however, however you read that. Pick up the next letter, and this one's going to go to Captain Zoya, a.k.a. Butthead. And he is going to be in his little Butthead Captain's quarters. So, if we remember where he is, uh, when we jump out here and then go all the way to the left, he is in the utility, uh, not the utility, the all-water district part so we're going to need to go to central station into the elevator on the right and then go up to the uh all water district destination decided enjoy the view you have arrived Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for
Okay, slightly right, pick, ping the elevator down, go up, speak to Butthead, and that's the second letter delivered. This, by the way, doing all this does actually count towards the mail that we were reading with Buddy earlier. So it all combines as one happy but long process. Ah. Oh? So, lots got. Is everything. Yeah. You seem... It's... It'd be... You know, you may as well not think... So... I guess so. It's also kind of like... Try to forget it. Like... Um... <laughs> I... I... Uh, anyway, I'll bear it in mind. I'm going to... Good luck, sir. Zoya, I've got something for you. Oh. Yeah, it's... that never got... Buddy wanted me to finally give it... Okay. Oh, boy. We just... Let me... T I was listless. Of course. What a cool... And I think... So... I... But... I stopped... And... I felt... I didn't feel full. I, being a cap, you may not, but your position, a living, whatever, your. Oh, I never. Shall I leave you be? No, it, you know, it, you would think it's actually, and like I always, but I guess that. Thanks for that. I'll, uh... Sure. I'll see you... I'll... So yes, in case you didn't notice, you would have had to have obviously speak, spoken to him twice in order to deliver the letter. So, we're going to obviously head back down, go to the left, back to the central district, uh, into the elevator on the left, go back to your lab to pick up the next letter. Destination determined. Now, relax with all water. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. Thank you for traveling with all water. Right old. That wasn't. Right, so we've got the letter for Bridget, but we're not actually going to Bridget yet. What we're actually going to do is head all the way to the left in the elevator, and then we're going to head down to the energy district. So Bridget's not there, but we it's very important for an achievement later on. We need to go to the energy district now and speak to Slippy. All water. Moving people every day. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. 
Basically, I'm sure. You yeah, I'm like me. <laughs> How about what? No, what are you? But I, I thought you... that would be really. So, yes, again, it may not seem important, but it is actually very important for an achievement uh, very soon for basically helping Slippy. Uh, but we're not going to get it yet. We'll come back to that. So for now, again, now we're actually going to head to Bridget. So we're going to go to the central station. Head left into the Flumlum Caves and go down. And Bridget is in the absolute back crack of nowhere. But she's actually in the crack. <laughs> See, jokes about the crack will never not be funny. Travel in style with all water. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest uh, and all water will make it up to you. Concentrate, please. Hey there, Bridget. Right. Uh, kids. Yes. Ooh, what? There's my the workstation, and of course, thermometer. And we'll need the. You. What? No, don't be silly. I I've got the kids. Oh. Gee, I mean, I guess you could help me plug. Great. Hey, are you? Okay, so she's a mega scientist, but she can't actually figure out how to put a cu couple of plugs in herself. So, uh, the first one's going to be in the top right-hand corner, so click the A button when you get there. The next one's going to be in the bottom, well, the sort of bottom middle. The next one's going to be uh, in the top left. The th next one's going to be right in the middle, so press the A button in there. And the next one doesn't actually go anywhere, so click it wherever you can, but it doesn't actually go anywhere. So, doing this will obviously give... Um, we're going to get the notebook entry called Bridget and the Kids, which should be notebook entry number 51 out of 71. And then you're going to have to speak to Bridget again in order to deliver her letter. I just... Yes, but I'm... Look, I'm sure it's still lying around. Harold, could you check the... It's where I... Sure. Positive app. Oh, while you're... Packet log. Could you look into... I can try. Where's that positive... But... I'll ask the... Great. Cool. Laters. Hey, Bridget. I... What? Oh, buddy asked. Oh, sure. Let me see that. Dearest, brightest, thank you. Honestly, I do. One lap. I will give... In whichever way... But I know it will not. But of course, my declaration, like the fish, it exists. And I will be. Just let me know. Tommy. Huh. You changed. You read this? Uh. The front was all blurred. Ah, uh, it's okay. And it all worked. And told him we could try being. So. That would help. <laughs> I think I would. You're never too old. Okay, so everyone's happy. Bridget's happy. Everyone's happy. And we've done that. Next up, we're going to have to go, as I said. Yes, we're going to have to go all the way back to the lab district. So through the old snack crack of life. And then, of course, from here, you're going to be sort of turning to the right. Um, Yeah, so... Yeah, I mean, Harold's left, but our right, if we're looking at it from the cave. Anyway, you know where to go. So head back up to the central district 
into the next elevator on the right, to the lab district, into our room, and pick up the next letter. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Destination decided. Enjoy the view. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Okay, letter time. And this time it is for Beavis, is what we're going to be doing. So Rafi, aka Beavis, or Beavis, aka Rafi, in the Agora Arcade. So again, that's where we're going to be heading. So go to the left, into the elevator. Click the Agora Arcades and then all the way to the right into the Arcade Shop in order to deliver this next letter. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Rafi? Hmm? Have you got... Probably. Um, we need a better connect. The cave? Yeah. Sounds... I know it sounds difficult. No, it'll just... What was the last time? Oh. Who? Slippy. And? I help. Things did... Shouted. So no. Oh, it really won't be like... I'm happy. Sorry. <sighs> See you, Rob. Oh, Rafi, I have something for you. Do... Mm, no. Okay... Please find Bella. We realize that the initial... One... Two... two three... While in the pursuance of your duty... Was signed premature... And so we must... Given it may be... To be able to... Compromisingly... Did you... Well... Not... Oh... My lips... Again, just always make sure to speak to them at least twice if you have to, as long as you've delivered the letter. So you're gonna have a little conversation with old Felix right here. Again, apparently none of these people know how to take a bath or a shower. Um... Uh, but we got the password for the mysterious door, if you remember from earlier on. So, yes, handy. Right, so anyway, all the way back to the lab district. And we're going to grab the next letter, which the next one is going to be for Chris. Destination determined. Now... Relax with all water. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes.
Okay. And again, of course, Chris is going to be in the social district. Uh, so that's where we're going to be heading, all the way to the left, obviously. How many times have I said that in this playthrough? All the way to the left, all the way to the left. Do my own do my own voice in right here. Do my own head in. So anyway, down to the central district, and again, just slightly on your right, you will speak to Chris and give him the letter. Thank you for traveling with all water. Ciao, Chris. Ciao, Errol. Ooh. Well, yeah, it's something old. Oh, as well. Chris, it was a pl- And also, I would agree that it would, despite her, so in your search, science. From lecture on cause, the church is, and if I had grown up some, it seems to me that people, of course, bad, but they would do bad. Sign, although. From the, the relationship, much to the, many, clear. But why? The old fan. Always. So, there. Were you looking? Well, no. That. I'm still. So, this. No problem? Oh, and. I was helping Buddy with. Thank you. Ah. Uh, anyway. Okay, after this one is done, again, we're gonna go ahead. Yes, we're gonna go ahead and grab the next letter, so. To the left, up to the lab district, to our room, grab the next letter, which is going to be to Major Stick Up Your Butt. Water. Moving people every day. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Right, so next up then, like I said, we're going to find a major stick up your butt. And in fact, actually, what we're going to do first, before we go and find major stick, we are actually going to get the lukewarm achievement for helping Slippy again. So this time, uh, before heading to find major stick, we, what we're going to do is head down to the energy district again. We're going to head all the way to the right and there's going to be a dialogue option where Slippy asks, do you want to help me? And obviously this time we desperate, we definitely have to say yes. So don't just smash through all the dialogue just in case because you're going to need to be choosing the bottom option, which is yes. So again, remember when Slippy asks, we're going to help uh, to help him. We are going to say yes. Very important to get the lukewarm achievement. Harold, my boy, come here. How's it? Good, good. I'm near. And it's look safe. Harold, I'm. 
I in fact I Oh I need to Right. And yes is gonna be the top option actually, so ignore what I said earlier. The top option, yes, make sure to say it. Lukewarm, thank you very much. Spanking your hairy. Great. We need to Harold. No problem, Slippy. Oh, and I don't want... <laughs> See, not a bad job there, is it? Nice and easy, does it, lads? Right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to deliver the mail. So head to Central Station. Uh, I thought we were coming up to a um, notebook entry, but we're going to be coming to that notebook entry in just a uh, about three minutes or so. So from here, we're going to head down to the Flumlum Cave, where, remember, Major Stick Up Your Butt is going to be in the middle of the cave. So basically next to the pyramid. So go and speak to him to drop off the letter. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Major, I have a letter for you. Why do you have a letter? I'm helping but There were some... He couldn't deliver them, though. Hmm. Harold, you're not... Major? Dear Major Sam, I really want to be... I think you look... And I know you keep... I want... I have a... I also... Please let me know... Over and out! Hmm. No desire. I wonder what became... Perhaps not... It must be different. Being a bit... Hmm. I suppose... But... Perhaps I could teach... Maybe tell... Thanks for this. Be good. That letter was delivered by me, Kyle, age 34. And that's how I write, apparently. Ah! Okay, so again... You know the drill, girls, guys, gals, dolls, shiny dolls. We're just a bunch of little guys and dolls. Uh, but yes, we are going to head back. See, this this, this part of the game has made me lose my mind playing it. It's made me lose my mind recording it as well. Um, <laughs> but yes, we are going to be heading back to our lab. So back up to the lab district, to our room to pick up the next letter. Um, which is going to be for... It's going to be for us? Yeah! With us again soon. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Dear Harold, always when you're least well done. I'm not surprised though. An inability. You might not. And maybe you feel you learn a lot about people. Do. Well, I mean, 
I hope you did anyway. I sensed that some probably felt like, but I'm glad you, like I told you before, a way of it, and it's my, usually, or wait patiently, you'll find, and you learn, it can change someone's, and need some help, re and when and let, sometimes, the message, and the physical form, ah. anyway, it's the me- and a- It was a pleasure, Harry, buddy. Oh, P.S. Maybe make- I love- So, he wants to beat, uh, hunking, burning, man-meat Chris one more time. So, for the final time, and yes, we are. In fact, we're not actually going to do that yet. What we're going to do, from here, we're going to head down the stairs. So, just before we go and uh, reach love, man, man, love, Chris, man, love, whatever you want to call him, head all the way down, take a right past Cyril Killer's room on the, on the left or whatever, and we are going to head into the filtration pump, and there we're going to finally speak to the mysterious filter frankie but we can't skip the dialogue for some reason here there it's me harold i know who you are we're the same you and i we are yes drawn to the dark the damp where the outside world can leak into this place we call home who and we both love digging around in filters Hey, Harold. Tommy, but... I know, I know, but... You know what people would say if they knew what I did down here? I guess, but... They'd say, oh, that Tommy, what does he get from digging around in those filters when he could be minding his shop like a normal shop guy? Uh, I'm not sure they'd say those exact words. Anyway, I was torn, pal. Didn't want to cause you any moral dilemmas. But I'm always telling Bridget what a hoarder she is, like she said in our little argument in front of you. So when I realized how important that adapter thing was, I combed through the rubbish filters and found it. Oh, I see. So you didn't want to admit to her it was kind of your fault. But then, why not just give me the adapter as Tommy? I thought about it. But Filter Frankie can get lonely, you know? And then I realized, who better to share his secret than you, a fellow filter aficionado? I'm honored. You've kept his identity secret for so long. But it got quite tiring, sneaking around, acting shocked at the rumors. There were a few times you nearly discovered me, even. Still, our little secret, eh? Filter Frankie technically operates in the shady side of the law. Tommy, Frankie, your secret is safe with me. You're a good lad, Harold. Filter Frankie remembers his friends. Here's the adapter. Just don't tell Bridget where you really found it, huh? Thanks, Frankie. Tommy, I won't. See you around. Welly, welly, welly. Filter Frankie was just Tommy all along. Anyway, we've got the main story thing that we need. Plus, we've got the uh, notebook entry there, Filter Frankie, which should be notebook entry number 52 out of 71. So getting close, getting close. Okay, now we are going to head to uh, Big Man Love. Uh, big Man Meat, Chris, whatever. Chris, yep, just Chris. So again, obviously into the elevator, straight down to the um, social district. You're going to speak to Chris, and what you're going to get is a notebook entry, 53 out of 71 plane race, and the achievement called The Postman Always Rings Twice for Finally Finishing Buddy's Letters. And I know that was very tedious, but congratulations, everyone. We smashed it. Only a lot more tedious stuff left to go. Hooray! Chris, you got a minute? Oh, hola. What's up, Harold? This is... What? Harold, look at the... 
Oh, yeah. Hold him up and let's have one... Good job, Chris. You... Ha! <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I mean... Same to you. Ha! <laughs> he just couldn't do it. You could not beat him. Which is very good of you, Chris. Well done. Well done, Sen. Well done. Okay. And <laughs> now... What's going to be fun coming up? Um, We're going to get a new notebook entry. Uh, what we're going to do is head to Central Station. Sorry, first of all. So head to Central Station. Um, we are now going to go to the mysterious door in between Sunny and Buddy's, well, Buddy's former mailbox. Uh, we've got the password for the mysterious door. But this is pretty much about 15 to 20 minutes of pure unskippable dialogue cutscenes coming up. So, yeah, you're sort of in this bit for the long haul. Which, again, is just so nice. So we're heading to the Utility District. Um, and again, you're going to get a notebook entry. It's a story related. You're going to get a notebook entry anyway called I Am A Lightkeeper. But you're not going to get it until um, around five and a half, about five hours and 20 minutes in or something. But, yep, head up these stairs. And, uh, yeah, there's nothing we can do. You're just going to enjoy the dialogue. If you have been enjoying it so far. If not, then zone out and go make yourself a drink or something for five, ten, fifteen minutes. Flatfish? Bad luck, no dice. Wait, what? But Felix told me. What? I'm the password setter for today. I made it Flatfish just this morning. Well, you didn't tell me. Just let him in, it's Harold. I can't do that, it's protocol. Okay, well, as this week's password setter, I'm telling you, it's Flatfish. Okay, password updated. Uh, so what's the password? Flatfish. Nope. What? But... I'm uh, just messing with you. Come on in. Welcome to the Lightkeeper's official headquarters. Huh. What? You're not the Lightkeepers. We are. That's us. Pretty cool, huh? All the graffiti? The stuff with the rock? That was all you kids? Hey, we're not kids. We might not be quite as old or as tall as you, but we know what we're doing. Wow. Is this all of you? Pretty much. You're the first older member we've invited. Well then, thanks for inviting me to the club. Ahem, <clears throat> not a club. We're an anarcho syndicus hacktivism collective. Oh, of course. Anyway, how can I help? Well... Whatever you do, just bear in mind it'll probably go unnoticed. Yava, what are you saying? That's no way to motivate the new blood. I'm just saying, that time in the toilet cubicle, I was there for hours and no one ever- Wait, that was you? Hey, 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 everyone, can we get back on track, please? Sure. I'll just suffer in silence as always. Yes, we've uncovered some pretty crazy facts recently. Normally, we'd handle it ourselves. But unfortunately, this time we require the help of an adult. One we can trust. Not one of them. That's you, Harold. Me? Yes, you. Uh... Our time has come. Too long have we been overlooked by the older yet no wiser of the Fedora. Yeah. So let's watch back the footage Harold helped us record. Everyone shush. Look, this is the important part, Harold. Freeze it there, Felix. Now, enhance. Uh, what? And begin the image. Zoom in. Uh, okay. Is that? Precisely. Well, it's not very precise, is it? Well, what's important is that we believe the time on the watch to reveal the true time. That is to say, all water time, as shown in the video, and true time do not agree. Hang on a sec. How do you know the watch on the shelf isn't just broken or something? Ha! Huh, we thought of that at first. But look at this. See? 
This one also shows a different time. It must be this watch she's looking for. Why do you even have that? My grandfather gave it to me. He hung on to it during the big watch exchange. He used to say, What's mine is mine. Ain't no corporation gonna take it away from me, whether they all part or no water. And here we have... Yeah, we really don't know what this bit means. But surely it has something to do with the whole conspiracy. We've been had. They've been pulling the wool over everyone's eyes this whole time. Well, now, let's not... What other conclusion is there, Harold? Come on! We thought you were cool! Don't side with the man! We need to reveal this betrayal for the greater good of the station. If we can uncover their motives too, even better. I reckon they're doing it for control. First they'll steal time, and then they'll steal... And then... Well, I think they're planning something at night. And they need more secret time to finish their dastardly plan. Or maybe they're just... Enough theories. Look, here's the plan. We'll split up into three groups. Due to our long-term relationship with Captain Zoya, it shouldn't be an issue to get him involved. Corey and Eve, you'll go up to the Captain's cockpit and take care of getting him on side. Roger! Roger! Your mission is to convince him to put out a diversionary message over the PA. We should get him to say that there's a giant meteoroid heading our way! What? An underwater one? Uh, yeah! I'll leave the detail to you two. The key is to get Miss CEO Busy Chops out of her office. Felix, you'll dash in, grab the package, slip past the... Felix? No, you'll be holding the secretary's door with Harold to stop him from getting involved. Me? I don't know if I should get involved. You're the only grown-up. You're stronger than us. It's a key part of the plan. Don't betray us now, Harold. Uh... Lise, you wait in front of the door to Castle Chop's office. When she steps out, do your where are my parents routine. I'll hide behind the plant by the door and slide through like a cool gust of wind while she's distracted by your cute misery. Yay! I haven't had a good tantrum in ages! Everyone clear? Roger. 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 Roger? But will this really work? You got any better ideas? I... Uh, I'd probably better not have. Then it's decided. Operation Trident of Truth is go. Okay, tube time. Is There's been- Yeah, it- It was fine. Well, look. Wait, who's blaming me? It's not my fault. As I was- Felix? Well, we could- Ugh. That's your answer to- What if we- I hope you're not expect- Oh, no. Gunter. Hi, everyone. What are you all doing here? Oh, just- Long day- Studying. Okay, look, Gunter. And we need your help. Oh. Damn it, Gunter. Well, what- well, which will... We need you to secure... Th of course. Thanks, Gunter. So... Not we... The plan. Oh. And when... Um... Detention. What did you... Gunter. You came. Ah. Very good. Thanks, Gunter. Keep up the good work, Gunter. Secure from... When are you come? And my... Oh. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason. Just contact your nearest... Uh, and all water will make it up to you. Okay, the lightkeepers are assembled. Let's go! You're with me, Harold. Come on. Okay, Corey. You remember the plan, right? Of course I dig it! Okay, I'll be good job. Harold!
Mr. Captain at Large? Oh, hi kids. I didn't see you come in. Listen, punk, we need you to make an announcement. Uh... Uh... <clears throat> Sorry about my rude friend here. What she's trying to say is that if you help us, well, we'll make it worth your while. I have no idea what you're insinuating, offering and or threatening, but I'm kind of busy right now, so if you could just- There's no time! It's true. This is a matter of urgency. We've been sent by Moreau to inform you that the radio boy has picked up signals of a meteoroid heading straight for us. A meteoroid? Underwater? We're all gonna die! I mean, it doesn't sound likely. Why would she send you to? Simply put, we can move fast and without alerting and panicking people. Why are they taking so long? Well, what are you waiting for? Okay, I'm just... I've got to be mentally prepared. You know, if we don't want to raise suspicion... Hang on a second. If we didn't want to panic people, what am I making an announcement about exactly? Um, just tell everyone that there might be big turbulence soon. Nothing to be alarmed about, but to stay inside until further notice. Okay, it's Zoya time. Gosh, how frightening. Just gotta stay calm, okay? Okay, I I I'll start the tunnel system right in the... Oh. What's wrong? Um, I think I just activated the ship's flight controls. What is going on here? Okay, get to the CEO's office, and I'll hold him here. Go! They do all show the same time. CEO Hasselchop, we hereby present our findings, and let your conscience be the judge of their veracity. What? I know I promised to keep an open-door policy, but I hardly think it extends to rambunctious children. We're not kids! Well, you're certainly not all water employees. Unless you'd like to be. No! We're here to say we know your plans. Here is our theory. Deny it if you can. Well, hurry up and get it over with then. I've got work to do. We know we were onto something when we noticed Yava's watch wasn't slowing down, but didn't match up with the official time. So we made a secret recording of you in your office, and realized how badly you wanted that watch back. Because you were trying to recover the last piece of evidence that all water is trying to steal time! <laughs> how fanciful. But I'm afraid, totally erroneous. I will, however, concede that you fabricated an entertaining story and you deliver it with admirable panache. Just what do you suppose I'm doing with the stolen time? Maybe taking the time for yourself? Uh, Felix? I mean, how would that work? Don't defend her, Harold. Maybe all you adults are in on it. Try to regain your youth. I didn't know I'd lost it. What? How old are you anyway? I'm in my 20s. Wow, I'd never dig that. Come on, how old are you, really? But you're so grown-uppy. Hey, I'm not... I would have thought you were more my age. Uh, can we not focus on my age, please? Yes! Miss Castlechop, stop trying to deflect our attention! Oh. You see right through me. Okay. You want to know how it really is. You children have totally misunderstood a fundamental principle. That is, that the Fedora is undergoing a ship-wide energy crisis. If you'd have stopped for a minute to consider that, you may have reasoned the following. The all-water tube system benefits the public. Everyone loves their individualized mobility and would never submit to having those liberties curtailed. So we can't balance the energy budget there. Shortening daylight hours was the next option. But even if people would theoretically agree to that, they'd keep the same routines and use even more energy by keeping their own lights on. So we had to shorten their routines. A few seconds. Just a few minutes every few years, you understand? But it adds up. And we had to keep it secret because it sounds like another curtailing of freedoms. Now we're slowly balancing the energy. People have a better work-life balance and are getting more sleep, thus being happier and healthier too. It's all in the name of making the ship and its citizens happier and ensuring maximum freedom of choice at all times. Oh, I see. But what about... I mean... Bah! 
when you put it like that. So now you know the importance of being grown up. I'll be taking this, and you'll all be leaving. But no, we know the truth. It will all come out. <laughs> Just try it. See what the grown-ups think of your absurd theories. But why don't you... Out now! Secretary 24? Whatever are you doing? Oh, nothing for you to worry about, Madam CEO. We had a small incident. It's all taken care of. <sighs> we need to go back to the hideout, regroup. Yeah, and get some... And maybe... But time... There's nothing we can do right now. Does this mean me, too? Sure. But... Yeah, let's split up for now. See you all... God's... Order! Order! Now that we're all here, we need to decide on our next course of action. We've got to expose them. Whatever Castle Chop's explanation, people need to know. Yeah, man. Let the people make their own minds up. Information wants to be free, you dick. But what can we do? I'm not sure. It's not like people listen to me. We've got to go big. Bigger than ever before. No. From what I've read about such matters, a small, well-placed anonymous suggestion is more powerful. We need legitimacy. What if we mount another secret mission? Yeah, because our last one went so well. What about pamphlets? How we could tell the truth through catchy bee poetry. Hello, Fedorans. Tonight we bring you an unscheduled but nonetheless timely announcement. Before I hand over to our all-water press secretary for the full details, I'd like to assure you that I very much feel, agree, and or condone what is about to tell you all. And I regret that it came to this, this the following, which he'll follow up with now. Thank you, Madam CEO. It's my duty to announce that the All-Water Corporation owes you all an apology. Certain details of the past watch and clock replacement scheme have since been discovered to have not met with our rigorous all-water public-facing customer contentment protocols. Those unfortunate past mistakes, which were mistakes at the time on our end but that no one probably noticed, but meant we could theoretically have handled it better, deserve to be made up to you. To prove our sincerity when it comes to taking responsibility for our past, accidental and good-natured mistakes, the person responsible has offered their own resignation, which we accepted only reluctantly and at their great insistence. We'd like to remind you that All Water continues to dedicate itself to your well-being and satisfaction 24-7. Or perhaps it would be simply better to say, always, no matter what the time technically is. We will do better in the future. That's a personal promise. Thank you all for your time. Until next time, we hope you enjoy all Walter's efforts all of the time. Well, I guess that's that then. What? Isn't that a good thing? We've got them running scared. What? What did half of that even mean? That's some jive talk. It was so vague that it kind of covered everything. Uh, it's very clever. It preempted and deflects anything we might do. Checkmate. Oh, well, you know, gang, we gave it our best shot. We kept on fighting. Yeah, and it was real swell of Harold to help. Yeah, we dig that, hey, man. Sorry, everyone. I need to sort something out. Anything we can help with? We kind of owe you one. Oh, thanks, but no, it's okay. I've just got to reply to Bridget. We're having connection problems. Did you ask Rafi? Yeah, but they said they couldn't help. Well, you know, we often find all sorts of strange things coming through this garbage chute. Even things that people like Rafi might not want the world to see, if you get my meaning. Yeah, but that sounds a bit mean. Oh, it's nothing personal. But we did find an official document showing Rafi's involvement in the all-water clock swap directive. Yeah, it was like half shredded. Oh, yeah. And didn't the shredder come down the chute the day after? Just take it, Harold. Do with it what you will. We could give him the tape, too. I don't know if I want more sensitive materials. 
No, silly. It's a rock tape. The kind Rafi is always listening to. Maybe that'll convince him instead. Oh, okay, sure. Thanks, everyone. It's been fun. Keep up the good fight, Harold. Yeah. And we'll be watching. No, we won't be. <clears throat> Peace out. See, I told you, it wasn't that fun. Literally about 18 and a half minutes there of cutscenes. About 18 minutes of cutscenes. Anyway, you'll get the I Am A Light Keeper notebook and we'll immediately head to the left. That's enough time I want to spend with kids, by the way. Apart from my own love, my, love my kids, but... Yeah, I, I mean, especially for Harold, that's probably enough to just go home and shower off all the kids' stink. Right, okay, so what we're actually going to do now, we're going to finally go ahead and get the final bit of gossip very, very soon. Um, not just yet, but we are coming up in just a few minutes to grab that, so what we're going to do is head... Uh, we got to go for a little snoopy snoop, so we're going to head back to the lab district... All the way to our uh, bedroom and take a little snooze. And you know what? Harold's needed it after delivering all those letters, finding a cave, and doing a heist all in one day or two days. It's tiring work being this guy. Destination chosen. Bad. That was a Madam CEO. Anyway, and another important day to. Yeah, mate, I bet you beat. You didn't even beat the meat, and you're still beater than a beet beet. Beach root ting. Uh, so you're going to speak to Professor Hook right here. Professor. Harold. I know, but... If you hadn't over... I came as fast as... Yes, yeah. Anyway. Oh, about the... The crack. Is... Of course that... What more... Now. Oh. I know I'm not the... Wasn't it? Well, yeah. It could be. What is it? Nothing, my boy. I'd love to, but not. And here is a. Definitely. Now I know the game has gotten very dialogue heavy, but especially at the uh, end of chapter, well, between chapter, well, chapter five and chapter six, it gets even more dialogue heavy without the ability to skip it. So, yeah, we got that to look forward to. But as I said, now we are going to go ahead and get the final bit of gossip from the gossip bar for the busybody achievement. So again, we're going to head to the Agora Arcades. Go to the right. Go into the gossip bar and you will finally get that one. Six out of six, done. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. This exchange business is curious, eh, Zane? It is indeed, Alon. Who would have thought we'd be swimming in fish folk aboard the Fedora, eh? Right, Zim. I had one of him. Bright green egg fin and arms that seemed to shift colours like a multifaceted jewel reflecting deep sea sun come right up to me and touch my nose the other day with nary a by your leave. Alon, you came over all lyrical there. Maybe I did, Zim. But what about the nose? The audacity? The audacity, Alon. But great business all in all, eh? I had one smooth and pale like a pearl. They came right up to me, they did, and asked me if I had Tidemo. Tidemo, Zim? Tidemo, Alan. Apparently, it means the understanding that nothing is urgent and things will work out. 
Well, that's nice, isn't it? I rather liked it myself, Alan. Nazim, did you hear about the goings-on in the old war district? What's that? You mean that light keeper lot causing havoc and making the ship shake? Right you are, Zim. Bothersome sounding business. I reckon it's all connected. How's that, Alon? I'm working on it, Zim. Maybe the Keepers discovered some kind of conspiracy by Orwar to take over the cave while all the fish folk are here, prodding noses and telling people about their nice Tadimo. The audacity. Well, I for one welcome our fish folk friends. And if I hear about all water trying any funny business with their cave, I won't be happy. Nor I, Alon. Still, have a bit of Tidimo, eh? Right you are, Zim. Yay! So once that's done, head out, head to the right. We're going to go back into the arcade. Uh, uh, machine Arcade Place, and we're going to speak to Raffi, a.k.a. Beavis, again. Oh, not the store, but the arcade. Raffi? Uh... I've got a little... Harold. You did? Is that... Yep. The famous light... The only... How did you get there? Let's just say... Uh... Come on, Rob. I promise. <sighs> okay, my. S so we're gonna head outside, but we are going to be stopped by Major Stick Up Your Butt, who um, start well. In fact, the sticks start to loosen a little bit. So half a Stick Up Your Butt, we'll call him from now on. But yet, anyway, what? Not. Too it's come to my. Oh. But surely, our rules or you can you should be a good not filling their head. So I should read. But me, don't try. But still, and given how big that would be, I promise to see that you. I don't want, especially with all our new. Thank you, mate. Best be very and I will carry on, Halib. But again, this is where it gets very, very back and forth. And again, a lot of people I've seen, you know, where, where they thought the game was really good and looked fantastic and played really well, there was a lot of complaints about the, the fact that Harold barely moves when he supposedly jogs. We're going to head to Central Station. We're going to head back to the Flumalum Caves now is what I'm trying to get at. Unlucky Major, you can shiv it. Um, but yeah, so it is a lot of back and forth and a lot of people weren't really happy with If you had the ability to just fast travel to these places, then yeah, that would have been great But the fact that we don't well that sucks anyway So we're gonna head to the flumlum cave when we go down the steps We're gonna head left in towards the crack past the stinkiest part of the crack up to the butt crack back crack and speak to Bridget Thank you for traveling with all water. Bridget, good news. I sp Oh, cool. Well, it w But they should be work- Good work. Oh, and- Ah, oh, love- As soon as we've got every- Leave it with me. Got the adapter for you, Bridget. Ah, oh, Harold, you fa- So- Oh. Flying around, eh? Well, actually, I... Hmm... Oh! Final... No worries. Et voila! Now we're cooking with gas. Great, so... We can let the... Ah, oh, Harold... 
Power? Did I say pow- I meant power. Okay. Yeah. We'll soon see. I feel like we should give it a name. This could be a moment. This- Harold Proberbutt. Okay, you... Really? No, it's... Is there... Nope. Tell you what. Poor guy. Okay, maybe... Bye, Bridget. Bye, Bridget. So, a couple of things there. Um, you would have noticed I chain I, I I said Harold McProber butt because anything with a butt on the end is always funny. Plus, I did actually get the slow bro achievement right there. Literally, as I said, whenever I was away from the Xbox, I would keep the controller plugged in and have the uh, Harold move in with the use of not a rubber band, but one of my daughter's bobbles, which came in handy. And obviously it comes in handy for her hair as well, but it comes in handy for me. Since I've got no hair, only for achievements like this. So, yep, hopefully you will get that at some point as well. Otherwise, we're going to head back up again. So once we've given Bridget everything that we have, we're going to head back up to the central uh, plaza. All water thanking you. So when we get to the central bit, uh, central district, I keep forgetting the names... But we're going to head into the right hand, the, the elevator to the right, because we're going to head back to the lab district. And we're going to go and speak to Cyril Killer in that little small room that he's in, just by the filtration pump. Every day. All water. We get you where you're going. Oh, so I'm trying the answer to what's it's like a and without the you've got the... if it was e... uh... look uh... you've got now. Ah, that's nice, that's nice. Another little montage done. So we're going to head back up and we're going to go to the right and speak to Professor Hukhan Moreau. Hello, Professor. Any chance there's... Carol? Did you find... Oh, yeah. We found... Pop Thing is... Something's... Oh. Precisely. We can own. But it doesn't. But 
get there. The part of... Are utterly unlo... They resemble... Oh. Yeah. Cyrus might be just the right man. He's always... Also... Perhaps a change... A rest... So... Harold? Not like... <sighs> well... It's... Alien... Well... From what I... But there's no... Is it weird? Yes. Anyway. Go on, boy. All right, then. It's time to join the gang in the Flumball's Cave. So again, head all the way to the left. How many times have I said this in the playthrough? Head to the left, go into the elevator, go to the central district, go to the left, go down to Flumblum Caves, and right at the back end of the crack is where you'll find everyone. Basically, where Bridget was working. Water compliments you on your choice of destination. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest uh, and all water will make it up to you. Travel in style with all water. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Thanks for We've much to this. Yes, and plans. We've got to do. I mean, sure. We'll never. Get if you let me just. Oh, well, may. Um. Then we. And. If these particles. Then we're never. Yeah. But if we don't. Don't let. Can't. What? Anyway. Evaluate our first principles. We think. The books were a dead end. Jean. With the probe, I'll. S this is a. Mm. But the probe. Correct. There may be, and we have only the most. So. We you. <coughs> oh, <laughs> no. <coughs> eh. That will involve. N Sounds like a job. You sure you're happy to? Sure. Oh, Bridget. Whatever. Got it. Well. Huh, no, I... Cyrus? With your botanical... It'll have... That's what I... Definitely. Won't who... Yes. That... Let's all bear in mind. Maybe the flump... What if I go down? What? Harry? I think we can... Yes. Yeah, come on. Okay, people. To your step. We've got our... Uh, let me help. Harold, you're good with the... Okay. We you? Oh, I see we What are you doing? Oh, um. It looks fun. Is Well. Oh. Oh, they're playing. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Ubel? We you <clears throat> It's worth trying. If we take a c she might be able to- What do you mean? Put them both. We- You don't have- Okay, let's do- Right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna head very slowly. Apparently this isn't a running part again. But we're gonna head to the bubble guy this time. So effectively you're just following, uh, more or less just following Kermit. Um, but as the screen changes, and again, you're probably having a wonderful time walking around very slowly. You know, it was all nice first, and now you're just, you're probably sick to death at the sight of my crack. Which should make you pay to look at my crack, shouldn't I? 
uh, or the crack, but yes. So uh, we're not obviously going into the elevator this time. We're going to head down. And again, you're basically just following Kermit. As I said, we're off to the bubble guy. Is that what? And close one there. So now that we've got him, so okay. Bridget, we've got Tant. Wait. <laughs> Why do you have Isn't the point to have one? No. But we you I forgive you. Both of them are protect Look. Oh. Don't worry, we you. Anyway, Okay, let's pull the... Oh no. Oh dear, I really did Little fish is... Yes. Good, well, like, but we don't really True. know how fish... I suppose we should, but it means... So... <laughs> but we... Cyrus... But then there's the mo... We need to be... How... Ooh. Oh, great. Things are... Right, so there we go then. That is the next notebook entry as well, called Dizzy Fish. That's 55 out of 71 done. So now what we're going to do then, we're going to head back up to the elevator to the central district... Go to the lab district. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, God. What happened there? Uh, so we're going to head back to the lab district. And in our little lab office space is where we're going to find the serial killer. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all water tube system journey. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. I guess 
I what just we'll get to the bottom of this in no time. So again, another easy puzzle that we're going to have to do then. Uh, we basically just have to make the uh, wavy lines um, uh, go basically the same time. So for the top, the for the for the top um, slider, you're going to want to move that um, sort of uh, quite far to the right as you can, and then the bottom slider, you're going to leave it sort of on the left hand side. So they're basically the opposite sides on the sliders. There we go. But then they will go like that, and that's job done. Again, very easy one. It's like those. It's particle. It, do you know what this means, Harold? Whatever. That's the evidence. You. The one. Yeah, provision. So. It's. It, this. John will be awesome. Oh, hi, Professor. Hello, you too. We were just talking. The music is plant map. What? Marrow. Yes. Between the particles and it vindicates my. Earth. That is interesting. So. Hmm. For water flow, might be light control. And. Side. I'll handle it from here. Say, Harry. Uh, before. Oh, it's our experiment. The bubble fish. Oh. Huh. What? Yes. Sai, can you find a way? Uh, I mean, I'll figure it out. Maybe some kind of... Uh, hey, what happened? It was a... I should see... You always did a... I guess... Okay. Go team. Thank you for joining me, everyone, and well- Yeah, at least I could have- No time- We're this cl So? I'm a- Yes. Oh, Harold, it- You decide- Oh, without me- Yeah, it just- We are going down as a given, right? And then we decide- She has the mixture of- Oh. But- I wouldn't have been able- Oh. S Cyrus- with his expert. Oh. But. To my fish, too, if anything. Mm -hmm. I'm. Oh. Uh, prof sure, I am. I've only got. Wait. We did. So. We're sorry. I. I mean. It'll be okay. I know. And you have a. And you've proved. Plus, you've developed. Mm -hmm. I... 
There's no need to... Wait, are you... Harold? I meant... We'll give you some... Thank you, everyone. We'll do you... No... Now. So there would have been another two notebook entries we got there. Sea and Particles and Energy Container, which is going to be coming up very soon anyway. Oh my god, finally. It's been a while. It's been... It's been like days. It's been weeks. So we're going to head to the toilet. We're going to take a little pee-pee first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that a hello? Are you okay? Hey, no, secretary. <laughs> oh no, I've <laughs> I've been what? What? Surely you didn't have anything to do with? I know. They used that. Oh, I'm. What are you gonna do now? I don't. All that. Could they. Are your. Well. Yes, that's true. We used to do. Well. Yes. We should. Warren was right. You should do. Use this new. I will. Great. So. I'll just. Oh. Thank you for listening. It's me, Mr. Ha. Well then. You'll all. Now you're gonna wash your hands, Harold. Do we have the ability to wash our hands? Nope, we're just gonna pee and uh, I suppose since we're stinking and full of germs anyway, <laughs> what's the point? Uh, yeah, why not keep the extra little pee germs on your hand? So anyway, once that one is done, by the way, we should be on 57 out of 71 for notebook entries. We're gonna to head to the Agora Arcades again um, because we are going to be grabbing, finally, the achievement for sorting out all the brothers. So as soon as you get to the Agora Arcades, we're going to head all the way to the right where we've seen Onat earlier on. And we're going to speak to the brothers on the stage and get the Family Ties achievement and another notebook entry. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Mr. Halibut. Hello. Hey, hey. Oh, wow. It's good. Yeah, man. Yes. Fa yes. Now, now, Secretary. We're lucky. So. I guess it's. We got. To yeah, and like. We couldn't. That's when they come. And then me. And we all. And so now. The Acapella 24 men. We wouldn't. Enjoy the. Boom, boom. Fish. I would travel far under the sea And a rocky old road I would follow Wow, very thrilling But anyway, as long as you're happy um, A Capella, and there it is Family Ties and Uniforms And the Notebook Entry Barbershop Brothers as well So that is Grandy, Dandy and Handy Now again, that they will only appear there As long as you had um, got the two notebook entries for speaking to them all. I think it was two or three times, um, but when we did, and speaking to Warren every time, basically healing the rifts between brothers. Uh, so next up, we're going to go down to the 
Um, uh, little classroom bit, the social social part. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go into the classroom where we're going to find Cyrus. And then we'll get from there. It's basically story related anyway, but then we'll get the next notebook entry, 59 out of 71, called Green Thumb Class. Okay, everyone, listen up. Welcome. You may. And why you. Well. Based on our findings. Get on with it, son. Yes, yes. But then. So here. Here are some. Which include. Number one. The cells. Number two. If taking. If you must. Number three, we still, but we can surmise, for example, any qu Sai? Um. Is there a danger? Very, it's pop. Can plants? Can pl But then, Get on with it! Follow the... Harold, those... But I'll... Right, for those of you... Oh. Well... Hey, so it's party time! Let's whip out the jelly shots and the, uh... <laughs> Skittle vodka. Yes, please. Okay, so what we need just need to do here then, we need, just need to speak to everyone along the back wall. So anyone with a pointer marker, they're all going to be on the back wall anyway. Chris and Professor Moreau and literally everyone. So just go ahead and speak to everyone. And the cutscene will end and the next chapter will begin. Chapter 5 and Chapter 6 and the epilogue, which are, again, nice and short. Okay. Enjoy yourself. You got it. Salud. Wii U. Are you enjoying? Yep. Yeah. But. Well, you know, uh, people. But we. No. They don't. Movements? Huh. It's. No. Yes. At least. No. Yes. It'll be even. Come on. Yeah. It. Heck. It's I'm sure we will. I'm gonna... Oh, hi, Harold. Hello, Yup. I'm not drunk. Oh, no. Hmm. You really thought... Well, you... It's actually... Hmm. Yeah, but for non-all... Resources and maybe it forces. Hmm. So you're saying oh, we might have been aged from. Yes. Interesting. You know, you can tell us all about. Thanks, Yava. Well, until next. Hey, her. I guess so. You know, I always. But I. Hey. Oh, come on. Maybe I. I know. I eat. You should relax. Maybe. Anyway. Huh. Don't you? No, it. I just think. And you're gonna be the right. Whatever the come tell me how it sure always Hello. hi respond my friend <clears throat> nice 
see. We you have made <laughs> all of you great. It's no. It's okay, man. It was just. Me. I'm sure. Yes. Cheers. Professor, hey. Oh, my. Oh. No. Wouldn't it be? Oh. Are you sure you can? <laughs> With this. Oh, I'm sure. Daddy! Oh. Even if I. Yeah. Hmm. Can I get you another drink? <laughs> okay. It's okay, Harry. Go have. Thanks, Moro. See you later. appreciate it. So, we got a few things together. Hopefully you'll find them useful and or delightful. As a human. Yes. Oh, wow. You you shouldn't have. No. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the fit. No, no, no. It okay. Some Yes. Where are you now? Oh, there's some <laughs> a rubber in case I see. No, no, no. Now I'm pre Thanks, every. The difference between ooble pops and ooble boops. You see, ooble boops and ooble pops are actually not similar at all. One is like a bubble, and the other is like a bubble made to pop. More for fun, uh, not useful. Right, so that is chapter four done. And now for this whole chapter, again, it's about 20 minutes or so, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, it's pretty much like a dream sequence, this one. So what we're going to be doing is walking forward, walking into places, skipping some dialogue where we can. And uh, that's pretty much it. And also in terms of if you think there's any missable notebook entries, there is none. So as long as you have cracked on with it, you should... Generally now for the for the last 11 you should be able to get the achievement. So you should be on 59 at the moment um, But yeah, so interact with the button here on the left
Huh. Home at last. Wait. How did I get here? I don't remember. And I don't remember leaving it like this. Has someone been in here? It wasn't me. Felix, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing, bub. This is my room. But how do you really know that? Felix, I don't have time for your shenanigans right now. I feel like there's something important I should be doing. I need some space to think, okay? Sorry. Nah, it's okay. You're right, Harold. There is something important you should be doing. I'm glad you agree. Wait, what? D do you know what it is? Nope, that's for you to find out. All I can do is point you in the right direction. The right direction isn't through a load of ducts, is it? No, no ducts. Just go through there and follow your heart. Okay. Yeah. Don't feel sleepy anyway. Thanks, Felix. Good luck, Harold. Hope I never see you again. Right, so there's four paths to take. It doesn't matter which one you take, you will always end up in the same room uh, for the first one through to the fourth one. So you can go up the right path. Doesn't matter. Left path, upper path, whichever one, you will always end up interacting with the bed and you'll always end up in the same room, first of all. So there's nothing randomly generated here. So for this part, all you're going to do is just walk forward all the way to the end of the hall, very slicey, very easily. About what? Uh, no. You can tell. It's just. Are you sure you want? No. Hmm? I just wonder. What have I. This whole time. Has there been any. So you're. Ha you make the. But any. I don't think. Maybe. I suppose. But what if we're all doing. The like what? <laughs> no. So? What? I don't know. Where's home? Is there a. Maybe the. How do you decide, Anna? It's all... Are we... How does anyone trust about... I don't know. But if we don't worry... Hmm. Ah. Uh, you can do it. Hmm. Unless... Maybe... If we were... Sh 
No, we happy. That's blue. Percy. So. Oh. So. He dropped his parcels. <laughs> what a douchebag. All right, so again, uh, any path that you particularly want, because we're going to need to do all four of these anyway. So for this bit, just head around to the back and then interact with the wall. should maybe someone are you being scott it's just so pointless all these why can't we just be happy here yes so luku luku ah! i wouldn't even be then we'd ha have to it's complicated but wouldn't it make all of you everyone what else am i supposed the same one i'll with no arm. Who could have spit? Who probably. M who made my. Who. I'm. I'm angry. Sorry. It's okay. I just. And I really hate the act. How? If you. What? Just be. Out of your. I don't know. Maybe. It doesn't matter. Maybe... Doesn't matter. These are weird... F Is one of the... Or maybe it's the... So it is yet another easy bit. All you got to do then is hold the A button until he goes up, until uh, Harold goes up and it turns red and it tells you to let go. And then just keep doing this then until the scene progresses. So hold the A button to go up and as soon as the A button disappears in the bottom right hand corner, then you can let go.
Wii U. You know? I have a... Cr everything is... <laughs> like, we're being... Like I'm just going to... F a gent... We've come, and all we... Don't you want... Yeah, but... I've learned the... This feeling... Yeah. Humans are fun. Yeah. Yes. Now there's an ex... Lots of plans. If we explore... If there is... Definitely. But something... True. I hope no... <laughs> we'll deal with them together. I want to try even... And I'll get good at... We could make a... Go yes. Oh. I hope... Whatever... And I think okay is it? So for the next and even creepier, dreamier part, all we're going to do is just run towards our characters. And again, that's about it. That's about all she wrote. We're in this. I know. No one ever. Tr How anyone? So, going up on this. It's only a few. I wasn't expect. You weren't. A I'm scared. But at this. Everyone. What about it? Em everyone. Or I need some. It's so ex. Oh. Wii U is Wii U. So. No. But. I mean. Are your legs. No, they've been good to me. So what? Are you going somewhere? Well, together, we're all bound. Then... Oh, look. Is that... I think they do look... Wow. Anyway, but you shouldn't... Be. True, but you also... True. Wii U? Wii U, are you there? Powell. Ah, oh, it's you. What is going on here? I was so worried. Me too. But I also somehow knew I'd find you. Looks like the Dream Team is back together. But where are we? Not sure. But I have a feeling this is the right way to go. Lead the way. We don't have much else to go on. Do you think we are somewhere? I don't know. I don't think we're nowhere. Wherever we are, we are together. And this will make a good story. I hope so. Let's find out how it ends first. You still feel like this is the right way? Yep. Don't you? Actually, yes. It's strange, but something does seem to be pulling me along. Go with the tide. I'm going. Alright, so this next part's actually pretty fun. We're just gonna go into the big old light jellyfish bulbs. And then what that's gonna do is actually turn into a dragon, and then this kind of plays like Do you remember the 
that that one Superman game where the whole Superman game was just flying through rings, but it wasn't actually very fun and it was actually very disgustingly bad and the controls handle like asinine. Well, this is actually quite fun. It's the same as that. Um, you don't actually have to hit these sparkly rings or anything like that. You don't even have to move the controller, but it's always fun if you want. So we're just going to chase the dragon for a little bit. And then once we've done... Uh, once you've chased the dragon here, we're going to get a uh, notebook entry 60 out of 71 called Chasing the Dragon, plus an achievement for finishing chapter 5, and then it is just one more chapter to go, plus the epilogue. So we've got about an hour left of gameplay now. <sighs> Wii you. you see that? You mean the giant... A uh, yeah? It's... It's making... Howl. Sure. <laughs> Jump! just like a few some look i'd love to me and a few of the other stopped the fedora is so oh no we thanks we you but i'm sure harold do you think i've been just the flumy lit it just how about follow me hey voila our super it looks cool i never knew you I had some help from Raf. Mind if I drive? Sure, I'll handle the systems. What? Oh, you can sit in the middle and man. Is that? Oh, Lucy. So, let's find out. Ah! 
The new sub is so much fun. Great work, Bridget. Thanks. Well done on bringing back the power source. I want to go down there again. It was so weird and pretty. I think once was enough for me. I'd just like to see the underwater rainbow that smelled of jam one more time. The what now? Ugh, still nothing on the radio from Fedora. Why do you think they've gone silent? Could be anything. I'd say it was just all water cutting costs again, but it was so sudden. Something bad happened? Could be. Yeah, trying not to think about it. Maybe we should take our minds off it. Oh, can we play fish impressions? I'd love to, but now probably isn't the time. Oh, hang on. We've got a tape back here. Okay, so you can move if you want, but this part, especially now for chapter six, there is a lot and a long list of unskippable dialogue. So we're just going to keep waiting until we get to the next part. Oh, that was nice. Do we have any more tapes? Afraid not. So let's play spot the fish. Oh, oh. look at that one. Oh, where? Harold, watch out! Where? I can't see the fish. Ah! Ah! Oh no, poor, poor fishy. Why is it frozen? Is the cockpit glass okay? I can't see any cracks. Well, there are some in the fish. Huh. 
This isn't good at all. For the ambient temperature anywhere near the fedora to have dropped far enough for this... They might really need this energy source right about now. Looks like a big crowd at the arcades. Yes, but for what? Can you take us closer? They see us. But what's going on in there? Not sure. Do you think they look stuck in there? Stuck? Or trapped? Get us to the submarine dock. We've got to find out what's going on. to spread here too there's no way we're going to be able to dock we'll have to find somewhere else uh, let me think yeah that should work okay we need to make a detour we'll try docking at biosphere 4 there's a hole breach from the crash there maybe the ice hasn't reached it yet where to i'll direct you just keep going around well as you know the core consisted of two main sections the engine modules and the agricultural district. Bio 4 was the name of the latter. Apparently, it even had living fields and livestock during transit. Imagine having all those real animals around. Yeah. But like I said, it was damaged in the crash and deemed too expensive to maintain. I just hope it's still connected to the rest of the modules. <laughs> Hang on, will you? We'll get you warmed up soon. Okay, keep going this way. It won't be too long now. Oh, I wish I knew what's going on in there. Me too. It's starting to feel pretty strange. What'll we do once we get in? Our best bet will be to try and find a security monitor station, so we can get more perspective on what's going on. Gosh, I hope everyone is okay. Wow, when you see the core from out here, it's pretty impressive. realized how huge the core was. It's like its own cave. It really is a shame we couldn't do more with it. we made it into somewhere more useful. I think they tried a few times, but it's such a big space full of super energy-hungry stuff. Remember, when the fedora was actually flying, it was able to generate way more energy from the solar sails and... Ah, I think I see the breach. Yep, that's it. Oh, and it's free of ice. Perfect. I'll take us in. Could get a bit bumpy. Yeah. No one's been in here for a long time. Wait. You hear that? Is it a ghost? Ha! Huh, I doubt it. But it does sound like what I imagine an animal to sound like. But that's a silly thought. Anyway... Looks like the power's out. Harold, can you get this hooked up to the energy vessel? There should be some jumper cables in the engine compartment. Sure. 
I'll get to it. Righto, power is showing up. Just need to flick the master switch and... Wow. Oh. It really is huge in here. Oh, look, we have company. Who are they? Ooh, what are those? I guess now we know where the ghost animal sounds came from. Amazing! I can't believe they adapted to survive down here. Do you think they bite? It must have been so peaceful for them here. I'm sure they're relaxed. They look so funny and nice. Well, much as I'd love to get to know them better, we should really try and get access to the arcade security cameras. Yes, let's see. Oh, I recognize these controls. They're like the ones in the filter station. I guess this used to handle water drainage and filtering. Fantastic. So you can operate it? I think so. It would have been used to monitor the filters and stuff. So if I can just get to the monitor root directory, ask it to change the camera feed, that should do it. Okay, let's see what we can see. Keep cycling through. Ah, there's the Agora Arcade. We should be able to talk to them through the Tannoy system too. Professor, everyone, you can hear us, right? We can see you. We're in the abandoned core. What's going on? Hang on. Let me see if I can turn on the security cam's mic, too. Harold? Is that you? Can you hear us? Harold, are you okay? Thank goodness. Where have you been? Long story, Professor. But we came back in Bridget's new submarine. The fedora is all iced up. We? Is we all with you, too? We use here, too. Nice to see you again, Professor. You three have got a lot of chutzpah, making us all worry, and they're just turning up unannounced like this. Professor, are you all okay? Are you trapped in the arcades? What's going on? Oi, Faye. Yes, we're stuck here, thanks to Schlipmeyer. He's had us all fooled from the get-go. Played us for real schmucks. All along, he's been planning to freeze not just the area around the ship, but the entire ocean. He told you all this? Yes. Over the tannoy, once he'd hidden himself away somewhere, he said it's always been his dream to create the largest winter sport amusement park in the universe. Breeze the sea. Winter sports? From the get-go? All along? So, Slippy is here? He's rootling around, asking me all kinds of questions I don't want to answer. Slipmeyer, will you please present Flo and Go to the audience, please? Please witness the future of Fedora. Like all the best things in life, it seems simple at first. Then the more you know about it, the more ingenious and brilliant it becomes. It's all a lot of hot air. I'm going to freeze the water directly under the fedora. Even water bodies usually freeze from the top down. I don't know. It all seems a bit fishy to me. I thought you said it wasn't a vote. It's not. I just happen to agree with them. I'm making the coolant procedure more efficient than ever. It's going to be able to cover a lot of ground. How does your AC technology work? Maybe I shouldn't tell you every part of it, eh? I need to finish hooking up these tubes for some tests. Are you going to help me, or just stand and watch me suffer? Please witness the future of Fedora. So you see, that's the slippy difference. Oh my god, what? Why? Where is he now? Not sure. When we all got together here for an urgent launch update, he disappeared and activated the security locks. <sighs> you okay, Howell? You went dreamy for a minute there. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Wii U. So, Moreau, what was the urgent launch update? Harold, please. The update was a ruse to get us out of the way. We were never meant to take off with his procedure. 
He babbles something about how we'd just die in traveling through space. We may as well have fun in our lifetimes. My God. Can he really do it? Well, he's been developing the tech under our nose, of course, and we've got the raw materials all around us. He said we'd all thank him once the slippy ice paradise was ready. Can you believe it? Okay, we'll get you out of there somehow. Just hold on. Hold on, Harold? Really? That slippery little... I guess you've tried breaking through the revolving door? Yes, you nincompoop! Chris tried already! Even though I warned him, it's security glass, and no amount of handsome muscle would get through it. Listen, you two. You should be able to access the security shutters and the door's control mechanism through the terminal computer. Okay. Let me see. So, have no fear, because I am here to tell you what to do, because this looks awfully confusing. So, first things first, uh, what we're going to do is... Now, if the middle of the buttons, of the six buttons that the cursor is on right now, isn't lit up, uh, just make sure to click that uh, middle, that bottom middle button. And then once you have done that, what you're going to do is go to the very top, where you can see three long buttons. We're going to click the middle one. And then in the bottom left-hand corner, um, you can see this circle button. So we're going to click that one once. And then just to the left of that is a square button. And we're going to click that a couple of times more until the um, uh, bar, the gray bar right there, is completely filled up. Once that is filled up, uh, what we can do then is go ahead and interact with the... Um, the circle button in the top right hand corner, click the, the bottom one right there, and then that should get it going. Weird, Harold. You're looking the newer cons and because everything Sorry, Rafi. Uh... So this time, and luckily, we're gonna get told what to do, because this is just gonna be a lot easier. So we can just click the X button, the tick button, doesn't matter there as long as the pop-up gets uh, gone. Then, what we're going to do is... Yeah, it looks like a cassette. And again, uh, young people go, what the hell is that? So, uh, what we're going to do then is, again, the circle button there and the bottom left-hand corner. We are going to click that. And then it goes on to the next one. And then what we're going to click on, screen with the diamond shape on the left, we're going to click the top right button. Top of the two buttons, yep, yeah, there we go. So now the ba uh, the box in the middle, so we can interact with that small, slim box in the middle. That'll be clicked. And now we can interact with the door segments, the diamond door segments. And then if it doesn't work, which is probably not going to, interact with the top rightmost screen. And then you just have to interact with the top one there, the REM39 button. And then interact with the uh, COM8 button. There we go. And W7, which should be just underneath it. And then click on the key on the right-hand side. You did it, finally. Good job, Harold. Has that done? Well done. My pleasure. Okay. Goy. Doesn't look... Harold, we're going to need you to look into why the tube... Trot, now... You two, do you think you can take... Yep, we... Oh, sure, let's... Re Great. Okay. <laughs> Good luck, you...
How are you hold? Hey, what do you say? I'm still. What do you? I bet none of. Yeah. But it doesn't. That's. Good question. Humans can. And sometimes. It's going to be fine. We'll figure. That's the spirit. Hey, even rap. I am. Well, good. But what? It's a deal. Okay. Bridget? Great. Okay, Bridget, you reading us? Loud and clear. What's the situation? We've arrived outside the Agora Arcades. It looks like the actual transportation tube is disconnected. Maybe the ice broke it somehow. Drat! I guess the sudden change in pressure from the ice must have displaced or warped some of the connections. How bad is it? Well, the good news is the tube itself is in one piece. So, if we can get a good grip with the grabber, we should be able to reattach the main tube and lock it back in place. And the bad news? Oh, well, there isn't any extra bad news. Oh, good. Well, get going. But be careful, Wheel. If the tube cracks, the whole thing will be unusable. I'll take super care of it. Okay, let's do this. I'll get us into position now. I wonder how Team Moreau is doing. Well, from what I can see, they're starting to get into the tube one by one. Chris is doing push-ups while he waits for his turn. Where are they going? Well, now they're telling me that the direct connection isn't working for some reason. Oh, no. What do you think is wrong? I'm not sure. Could be a few things. Plus, there's the potential side effects of all the ice to consider. Hmm. Seems like it was only the direct path to the energy district that was down. Maybe a malfunction in the tube's control panel? Oh. So, what now? They're en route to the central station now. They'll try again from there. Okay. Keep us posted, Bridget. Wee, that was really impressive grabby arm work, by the way. Oh, thanks. I just thought about holding on to a slippery fish. Oh, it seems like the route via central station is working out for them. They're on their way now. All this makes you realize how reliant we are on those tubes to get around now, huh? What did you do before then? Well... We didn't move around as often, and I suppose we only went to places we really needed to. So you built tubes to move more often to places you didn't really need to go to? Uh, yes. It is fun zipping through them, though. The whoosh sound, it takes no effort. Uh, yes. I think I'm glad to have them even with the fines and all the delays. Ah, uh, good timing, you two. Team Moreau has arrived now. So, what was the problem with the tube? Maybe it was just the electronics being affected by the ice? Whatever it was, it doesn't seem to be affecting the whole system, which is a relief. Seems like... Yes... And the door... Due to the old one... So, it can... If he's in the... Did we all... Even if... To protect... He totally... <sighs> Wait a sec... Ooh, good... If memory... Rafi... Elite... How do you know all this stuff? I did, Pat... You're good... Okay... Such Okay, you two. You going? 
Yep, I'll stay here to monitor the secure. Oh. Oh. We hope. Just, and when you see. Uh. don't know what we're going to find at the end of this. What are we going to do at the end of this? You're going to get slippy. That's one way of putting it. Well, I'll think of something. It's always me who has to get his hands dirty. Slippy, we're here. It's... Slip, Maya! I can't even count how many regulations you've breached. Halibut? The door? Harold! Whew! Everyone! Look, let's not be hasty. If I could just show you my plans, I was only trying to... I'll show you a plan! Oh! Eesh! Oh, shit! My hand! Well, that settles it, I suppose. Thanks, Chris. Is he okay? Gosh, I was overcome with emotion thinking of the children. I hope I didn't overdo it. Please no one tell them about this. Chris, relax. It's over. And so is our chance at launching after wasting all this time. Oh well, may as well spice things up a bit in the meantime. Relaunch chance over? Whatever do you mean, Professor? I mean that the solar winds are due to begin again, and soon. Too soon. After these shenanigans, we simply won't have the requisite preparation complete in order to meet the safe launch window. To say nothing of repairing the damage, Slippy's icy debacle probably caused our sensitive instruments. Well, can't we risk it? What's the worst that would happen? Well, if we launch late, we run the risk of the solar flares crippling the ship, like last time, and tumbling back into the ocean. And there's no telling if our next landing will be so lucky. And if we launch on time? My calculations are nearly complete, but if we time it just a second wrong, we might sink deeper or use up our remaining fuel just to move a few miles away. Hmm. And even if your calculations were already done, what with the all-water time theft, it'd probably be late by now anyway. Time theft? Speak sense, Harold. I tried to tell you that day in your lab, but we got distracted with the probe. Me and the light keepers... I was gonna tell you I joined them. They're a bunch of teenagers. We found proof that all water were shaving a bit off every hour to help with the energy crisis. So we had even less time than we thought all along. What are you talking about? How and why do you shave an hour? So we have to do less work and to save energy. And, well, actually not every hour, only the ones in daytime. By now, apparently, it adds up to two full hours each day. How? But we would have noticed. Ah, but we didn't, because of the introduction of all-water digital time, and they controlled the time in tiny little bits so it would always feel normal. So, all water fooled us more than Slippy, and we must have... Wait, saving on daytime? Ah! Harold, you wonderful, beautiful schmuck! If what you say is true, and these days the truth is stranger than one of your little head stories, then it's exactly the opposite of what you think. We have more time than ever. We do? How does that work? Think, Harold. If what we perceived as a day of 24 hours was actually only 22, that means that we haven't actually reached today's date yet. Now, let's see. All Water Digital Time was introduced eight years ago. Cyrus, check my math. Well, even if they were shaved up to one, then two hours after a few years, we should have more than four months left until the launch window ends. Ha! <laughs> Much as I love it when you're wrong, that means... My calculations were correct! But time was wrong! And it explains why we thought the space bacteria would degenerate faster than modeled! Oh, if we had just done the experiment at night time! Oh, wait! Then, and that means, and I was so blind, time, 
all along. It's about time, right, bros? It's true. This is a matter of urgency. Time is of the essence. We know we were onto something when we noticed Yavi's watch didn't match up with the official time. And what time do you call this? Party time. The time is... I know what the time is. Time is of the essence. First time's the hardest. At the same time, a stitch in time saves nine. Four at the same time is quite a feat. And time is running out. In the meantime... We don't have time to put you on a proper routine. But maybe this whole time... All water is trying to steal time. Just what do you suppose I'm doing with the stolen time? Maybe taking the time for yourself? Now, if and when the time is right... We might even have some time for ice skating. Why not give them all the time? Your first time at Quick Soup Collarfish? This will be the last time I explain it to you, so for once, pay attention. There's no time. 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 All that time. We're going to need a few words with the Madam CEO if we're to get the exact numbers of when and how much time they've stolen. Speaking of which, has anyone seen her? We didn't see her on any of the cameras. Nor Zoya. Do you think they escaped being trapped? Unlikely. They were probably incapacitated by Slippy as part of his plan. They could be anywhere. We'd better split up and find them. Maybe we should start in the Allwater District. Why don't we just ask him? I, uh, don't think he's in a talkative mood. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I was just so overwhelmed. How was I supposed to know he'd take it so badly? It's okay, Chris. At least he didn't get away. Cyrus, let's go with Harold and Wii U to the All Water District. Major, I imagine you'll want to stay with Slippy. Everyone keep in touch via PDA and don't leave any stone unturned. Let's go. Oh, and Bridget, can you tell the others over the Tannoy system to search whichever area they're in? It's them. Do I look... Well, those snacks are tasty. Yes. Can someone... Slip? He was never really... Oops. So, I can't but... Madam, we know all about the... But it's still imperative you... What? Still. And you did on time. Firstly. About it. And how much did you shorten... Well. Every two... And I thought it was... Mo Cyrus! Okay. 700. And... Which adds... Three thousand so or what we Whoa. but aha uh -huh. we tacked people circadian subtle. So we uh, have time yes. these so kind of worked on a thing. We were never taken in by So it took me a but I was stuck that's why we even double well, checked. I went, but I suppose you must explain this. So we really yes. might but not Yeah. Tea naps. Uh, I see. Tea. Come on, I'm sure it, we can all. Okay, I, I imagine there will.
Oh, so there we go then, after a long cutscene, another long, long cutscene, we've got just the epilogue left to do now. Uh, so we're going to speak to oh. Professor hey, Professor T-Bags. Oh, great. Yes, really? Wow. I knew, but I wouldn't. Are you excited? Yes, but that's not... But you know? Yeah. Hmm. But enough about... How are you feeling about... I know you grew... Cl yeah. But? I think so. You'll always... Get back to finding... Yeah. Do you think we... I'm not sure. True. Have you said goodbye to... Not really. Well, saying goodbye only... And so... Say yeah. And Harold... Yeah? You'll miss Wii U. You'll be bit... It'll feel like a hope. I know. Okay, so the main quest says to say goodbye to Wii U, uh, but just before we do that, what we're going to do is again, head to the left into the elevator. We're going to go to the Agora Arcades. Go to the right when we are there, and we're going to speak to the four brothers once again. Location nominated. Journey commencing. All water thanking you. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. The thing is, Warren, just... That's not... Now, now. If you look... Then what? Hey, everyone. So... Let... Not... Oh. I just... Typical... What exact... You all just... Yeah. <laughs> it's gone. We know you mean... Then, after speaking to L Brothers, who are about to get into another fist fight... Not... Luckily, it's not a fist fight in the crack, because, uh... <laughs> so many jokes. Uh, but we're going to head to the right and we're going to speak to Eric Ten Onat Hag on stage. Harold! Hey, Onat. Do you want to... I'm just put... Sure. Okay, here we go. Ah, hang on. Okay. Uh... Right. And this will actually get us another notebook entry called Ancient Ten Hag. Oh, Ancient Onat, sorry. Um, but basically, once you've spoken to him, we're going to head back to the left, where you can see three of the brothers have now dispersed, and that Warren is all on his own, and we are actually going to be speaking to Warren Water Wiener again. Hey, Warren. It's my new sh... Just a... Oh, that's exciting. You feel certain? The food truck. So it makes sense. Hey, I could use a peep. Oh, wow. I know. Rancher, you'll get three wieners every. It's a. That. That. But. Okay. And with that one, then, that is going to be the hot dog contest notebook entry done. So now we're going to head all the way to the left into the elevator again, and then this time go down to the social district, where on the right of the social district, you will be able to find Major No Stick Up His Butt. I, I believe the stick has now disintegrated and it has cracked out. So he is now Major No Stick Up His Butt. Um, we're going to have a little conversation with him as well. All water. We get you where you're going. Oh, Major. Caliber. Who's this? This. It. And he's ma- Oh, I'm- Caliber. Okay. So- Oh, you know, he- The real question- Dealt. Is he- Well, it's a rather- We didn't have- but then again, unforceable obstruction of... So, what was the... The trial reached... 
He could be consigned or intended. Oh. Yes. So it appears. Yeah. What? Justice is now. Can I? Little flu flu. I. So again, that is another notebook entry done. Frank Jr. Frank Jr. Jr. And Chandler. Uh, but no, just uh, the Frank Jr. notebook entry. So this time we're going to go to the central station. And no, we're still not going to the flum -lum 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 caves. We are going to the right elevator. We're going to go to the all water district in order to speak to Captain Zoya Butthead. Contact your nearest... And all water will make it up to you. Travel in style with all water. You've arrived. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? Yes. Your hand. Huh. I'll just take over once we. Amazing. Yes. Ah! Oh. Uh, anyway, buckle up, Harold. Good luck, Sawyer. And then for the final of final teas, what we're going to do when we get out after you've spoken to Captain Zoya, we're going to take a right and we're going to speak to CEO Castletrop, a.k.a. Helmet Head. And the achievement, again, providing you have been following along, uh, you should have got all notebook entries out of the way and the achievement will unlock after speaking to Barbara Castletrop or whatever she just said her first name was. What? Yes. How's the rebrand go? Oh, it's going fantastic. We're really com Well, at this. So, what? What is? We're even going. But bringing. All right. Will the tube? I'm afraid. We're still workshopping our. I mean, after all. Okay. And the. Uh... Oh yes. All sorts of action. Like. Well. So to make up for the, we're working on. We'll call it Kit. <sighs> Good luck with all that. Thank you. And Harold. Oh. And hey. And you've proven. Knock on my door if you've. It's good. I'll. Baby. That's my new celebration song, The Bloodhound Gang. Unts, 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 baby. Man, Bloodhound Gang are a cracking band, aren't they? I love them. Anyway, after following that, you should have got the Forsha Geist achievement. Hopefully, you would have got every notebook entry. And you should now only have one achievement left for completing the game. So now we are going to head to the Flumalum Cave. Warning, this next part again takes literally probably around just under to about 10 minutes. Purely because we're going to go to where uh, Kermit slash Wii U lives. And it's going to be a whole lot of unskippable dialogue. And then it's going to be one long, long, long walk back. After day.
were you? Hey, Howell. How's Fedora doing? Yeah, nearly there. Are you excited? I mean, it is exciting, but it's gonna be so hard leaving you behind. And this place, and just... Yeah, maybe we'll find a new home out there, but also, maybe not. At least, not in my lifetime. You know? I don't know. You will, or you won't, but at least you will have the chance. Hmm. And of course, I will miss you. We have true Simbo. We all will. But we're just happy we could help with the energy and everything. Yes, we couldn't have done it without you all. And I couldn't have done it without you, Wii U. And I would probably be a cold non-Wii U if you hadn't helped me get better. Everything has changed since knowing you. It will be hard to remember Tidamo now. Maybe I'll go exploring a new part of the ocean. <sighs> Can you believe how lucky we were to even meet? I always thought this luck you all have is a very strange thing. You do a thing, or you don't. But what if a thing happens to you that has nothing to do with your own actions? I don't understand. Life is like a tide, you know? It's not always obvious where a tide comes from, or is going, or how it connects to other tides. But if you are you, you go with the tide, or you go against it. Sometimes it doesn't matter if you try not to go with it, sometimes it does. Wii U, the fedora is nearly ready to launch. This is going to be the last time we see each other. I know, Howell. I don't know what to say. It's okay. Remember, Simba will always have it. Thanks, Wii U. We will. Hope you have good tides. And you, Wii U. And you.
Wii U. Powell, shouldn't you be back on the ship? You don't want to miss it taking off. Yes, I do. Oh, you mean... I want to stay. I know it sounds crazy, and I'll be the only human here, but... No, it's not crazy. It's just you. I would love it. But are you really sure? Won't you miss everyone else more than you want to stay here? I'm sure. I've always gone with the tide, but now I want to break out of it. Choose a tide for myself. And not the one that leads up into cold, empty space. It's the first time I've ever really been sure of anything. I believe you. You found your blugalugalugal. Yeah. Blugalugal Simbo. Blugalugalugal Simbo. Hey, Professor, there's something I need. Ah, Harold, how did it go? Well, fine, but... Great. We don't have much time. I could do with some help sorting the final, final preparations. Jeanne, I'm not coming. Okay. It's only natural you're emotional. I suppose I can finish things up by myself. No. Professor, I mean, I'm staying with Wii U. Oh. I'm sorry. Can you understand? Harold, I've grown terribly fond of you. But if I've learned anything about you, it's that you always defy expectations one way or another. So, you're not angry? Angry? Dear boy, I'm delighted. I will miss you like I miss my left hand. But if you finally found something you feel strongly enough to shout Jeanne at me, then I'm happy for you. Thank you. I'm going to miss you too, Moreau. You've always been there for me. I wouldn't be making this decision if it wasn't for you. In a nice way, I mean. Ha! <laughs> I know what you mean. Have you thought it all through? Do you need any help with the, uh, practicalities? Not really, but what is there? I'll just take a few of my things. The Fluorlim have all the materials I'll need there. I'll get settled in no time, I'm sure. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Yeah, guess it is. Be safe, Harold. Wish us luck. I'll do one better. I'll wish you good times. <laughs> Very funny.
So, Harold, then, after all that, after finally being able to reach the end of the year, at uh, the end, so we can get back into civilization, he's decided to live in an underwater cave with frogfish people. Because apparently he's fallen in love with a frogfish psychiatrist or whatever. Um, so, yeah, a bit of a weird way to end the game there, but end the game we have. The achievement should unlock after the credits roll, so I will leave it here. So you should, again, after all this, have 27 out of 27 achievements. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I really do hope you enjoyed the game. And if you did enjoy the game and that the guide helped, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share with a friend, of course, as usual. Big shout out, as always, to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members, uh, and everyone who interacts with me on the daily as well. So thank you so, so much. Don't forget to check out my new true crime podcast, Gaming's Darker Side, as well, on Spotify, Apple Music, and wherever you get your podcast. Thank you so much again, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next Game Path game. Big Love Butts. Or Love Hallie Butts.